All right, hello Rex. Uh, hello Tyranno Titan. How are you guys doing? Let's see, what should we use here? Should we use the Zix right away? Forgot I had some of these. It's been a while since I played on this one. Uh, let's use uh, something that could have some good amount of fuel. Maybe this. Let's change this. All right. First order of business is let's go get the fem. Okay. Oops. So this is literally the first time that I've even moved. Hello, G Wolf. So usually for the last uh, for the last three um, updates, I woke up about five hours earlier. Oh, hang on, I gotta turn this the engine sound down on this thing. I forget this thing is obnoxiously loud. But uh, yeah, this time I slept in. I, I I came home late the day before, and then I was tired. Usually I, I stay up all night, but I was already tired, so I went to sleep a little bit early instead of staying up late. Uh, but my sleep schedule is like... I sleep very late, so to wake up very early to do this is, just wasn't in the cards this time. But, uh, the last three times I was about six hours into it already. So we're a little behind today. But, uh, so what's up everybody? How's the season so far? Or, how's everybody enjoying the season so far? This is my uh, first two, three minutes in, so I haven't done anything to Iron and Titan, but Maybe, uh, looks like Rex is not either. And, uh, G Wolf is here. I don't know if G Wolf's played it at all. Rex is at work. Gonna download it when you get home. That's right, Rex said he's gonna stream later tonight. And it's funny how the Dino Brothers are the first ones here. That's funny, yeah. Uh, yeah, hello, G Wolf. Sorry I missed the last live stream. Busy with homework? Yeah, it's understandable. I've always told people, like, if you're going to have a list of priorities watching somebody play SnowRunner, it should be on the bottom. You know, you got lots of other things to do, so... I definitely wouldn't worry about it. But I appreciate the support. It's always nice to hear. Uh, so far, I'm really liking the season, and some good news for any Xbox players out there. The crashing issue issues and all other issues have actually been fixed. Wow. So, Tyranitite, how long have you been playing so far today? Hey, Lessons, how's it going? We are on our way to go get the Fem truck. Hello, Gnome Power. Hello, TJ. Are you going for the Fem? Yeah, that's right. You gotta go get the Fem first thing. It's not. It's not terribly hard to get. You just gotta drive there and pull it back somewhere. So, yeah. Hello, Anthony King, Saki. How are you guys doing? I haven't logged in it yet, but hopefully, er, haven't logged in yet. But hopefully Xbox is good to go. Well, uh, Tyranno Titan said it's good to go for him. It's been working. So he says I've been playing on the new maps for maybe five to six hours now, and it's gone really well. It hasn't crashed once. That's what I was going to ask you next, was how many times has it crashed in that time. So that's good. Sounds very good. I just came from Tellu Stream, and he just unlocked it. Okay. Yeah, I saw he was live, I just haven't, uh, like I said, the last couple of them, I woke up 
about six hours earlier from now and started playing it pretty much right away as soon as it came out. But this time I got home late the other night and then I didn't I didn't throw off my sleep schedule on purpose. That's basically what I have to do to be able to wake up on time. But oh actually I was gonna I was gonna check this anyways, but um there was a, a Western Star 49X truck that they gave you on this update, and I was going to see what, what truck it was, what they changed it to. Does anybody have any guesses? Somebody might already know. If anybody else has unlocked the Femme, you probably know what truck it is. Uh, this isn't hard mode, right? Yeah, this is not hard mode. I thought about doing a hard mode, but I thought it would probably be too boring to watch. Uh, just as a level 1, everything would take too long. Season 12 came out? Yeah, Season 12 came out uh, about six hours ago now. It's been out for a little bit. Alright, reactive zone. The new scout is very good, fully upgraded, really. I, I thought it was pretty average, but I'm glad that you like it. It, it does have the, uh, the crawler suspension, which is really cool. It's a little bit more stable that way than the uh, raised. I've already unlocked the Femme, and instead of there being a different truck, there's actually no truck. So all you get is the Femme. Oh, really? They took out... Oh, no. Well, that means they'll probably add one in a later update, which is kind of a bummer for everybody who jumped in right now, because then you're missing out on that truck. But, yeah, whatever. I mean, for most players, I guess it doesn't really matter anyways. You can get some money pretty easily. Do you like the fine-tuned gearbox? No, not really. I used to, but I like to run high range now. I like to go fast. Get moving and get stuff done. I think this used to be the best gearbox for this. I'm not sure if it still is. It used to kind of have power issues. Like when you put it in high, all of a sudden it would stall out which maybe it still does, but uh, the, the high range or uh, fine tune was the, the best to keep it going. So that's probably why I have that one in here. Uh, oh, you found the thick Neo Falcon? Thick, or new thick Neo, Neo Falcon when I can't speak. Ugh. Uh, uh, do some else have problem get the year 4 pass in Steam? Um, I didn't know the year 4 pass was on Steam to be honest. I checked the other day and I didn't see it there. Every time I hit reverse it takes so long. Yeah, I usually do high range or off road. Yeah, that's, that's what I would do lessons. Off road or high range. So you used to be able to get, I think there's a CK-1500 down there. Well, I can't see it. Morning, Dabs. How are you doing? Sorry, just had a, a sneeze, mini sneeze attack. Um, hello, SG Spoon, how are you doing? Um, I don't know if you got into it right away or if you have played it yet, but how's uh, Season 12 going for you? So here's a question for everyone. What's your first thing that you're going to do and try when you're into Season 12? I think for most people, this is just my guess. Let's go get the fin. The big, strong truck. I saw a YouTuber using the fin, and this gave me some ideas of using the Azov Antarctic. Okay. It's a... Uh, I mean, they're, they're fairly close. Oh, well, they gave you some new skins? Okay. Nice. I haven't seen the uh, year four. Is 
It's hard to drive at first, but it's actually fun to drive. Yeah, it is. It's definitely hard to drive. It seems like it just goes left and right all over the place on you. Alright, let's pick this up and we're going through here, I guess. Uh, get all watchtower and upgrades and all tasks. Yeah, that's a fairly good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what we're going to be doing, Chuck. We're going to go get the fem. I don't know if I'll unlock the rock grinder right away. I don't really use the scouts, and especially not ones that are not really powerful. Which, that one seems pretty average to me. So I probably won't use it very much. Maybe I'll use it for a task or two later, but... Um, yeah, I don't think I'll use it too much. Actually, let's just go here. Pick this one up. Turn 14. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, probably get the Femme, and then unlock both bridges, and the ferry, and then start working on the garage on the next map. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh. I don't think I'll get, oh, I probably should get the upgrades though, shouldn't I? Dang it. I should have remembered where the upgrades were. That I need. Well, there's seven upgrades. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know where they all are, but I don't know which ones are which. Actually, I think the top engine's on Orville Hills. Which one's the diff lock? I don't remember. I'm just gonna go in here to exp exp or, uh, find the garage. So let's make a quick hit stop. Here we go. Hello, Bryce. How are you doing? Hey, Cools. How are you doing as well? Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, Spoon, he's been playing since 8 o'clock. 12% done. You're finishing. Oops. Uh, finishing the tower at 10:16. I have no idea what you mean with 1016 in the tower. <coughs> uh, I got the fem already because it was easy. Yeah, it's very easy. And unlock the garage on the second map, which is what I just did. Nice. We have new tires. Really? Well, the new scout is powerful with all the upgrades and new tires. Gotcha. Gotta go for a few minutes, you'll be right back. Sounds good, G-Wolf. You're doing good, Bryce. That's good to hear. Yeah, we're just headed for the Femme, and then we'll uh, probably bring that all the way back to the first map and start doing some stuff. Oh, he might have 10 of the 16 watchtowers. Oh, I'm at 10 out of 16. Gotcha. Thanks for uh, clearing that up, Cools. I have 10 out of 16. Yeah, it's my uh, my ability to read and play at the same time isn't great. So I, I was confused. I'm like, 10, 16, what? But here, yeah. Cool, cools and you cleared it back up for me, so thank you. Yeah, I'm just thinking, there's no trailer store on this map. I should have grabbed a trailer from the other map, but oh well, I guess. We gotta bring back some fuel and metal beams. That way we can open up the bridges. We gotta grab the CAT 770G trailer. I don't remember exactly what else we need. I think the rest of it is on the first map. Yeah, the first few orders of business, business are opening up the two bridges and the ferry.
Are you on hard mode? Uh, no, I'm not, Bryce. I thought about starting it, but I feel like it would just be too boring if I if I started as a level one here right now. Although, if you guys, <laughs> I'm I'm serious on this. If you guys actually want me to start hard, like I'll delete this, not this save, but I'll delete a different save and start it right now. If you guys actually want to see me start as a level one on hard mode here, if you think that would be more interesting, I'm down. I just I feel like it would be not as fun. Just because, as a level 1, you have absolutely nothing, you know? So, most of it would be a struggle, although I'd probably do the same thing. I'd just go right for the Femme, and then I'd probably go get the Rock Grinder, and probably go get the Dawn 71, just because we could use all the vehicles we can get. Uh, just to help JJ, the big engine for the Femme is on Orvo Hills, and the Diff Lock is on Flatline. Okay. I think I know where they both are, then. Because I know on Flatland, on the island, that is... Uh, a rock grinder upgrade, if I remember right. So that means that the other one on the bottom right corner would be, oops, I gotta turn here, would be the diff lock, which is what I thought, but I wasn't sure. So yeah, I know where they both are. The the, uh, the top engine's in that town area in the top left on Orville Hills, right? Or not top left, but kind of top left, I guess. On Orville Hills, if I remember right. So those are the only two upgrades that I really gotta go get. Because the other ones are uh, a raised, a crawler, uh, I think a bigger engine for the, uh, the rock grinder, and then uh, what was the last one? Um, no, uh, the diff lock or all-wheel drive. I can't remember. I think it might be diff lock. But yeah, guys, here's the fem. This is where you'll find it. And I'll just show you the map quick for anybody who's uh, just starting out. So out of your garage right to the tunnel or gateway then we went through a reactive zone and if you want you can actually just follow this road and then go into here and cut through here it'll save you a little bit of time instead of traveling through all this dirt but uh we went through here and then instead of just following this road i just cut through the fields a little bit uh and then over to the garage then follow that all the way down to the other gateway and pretty much as soon as you come through this gateway the fem is sitting right here so not too bad so let's, uh, actually, do I got a, is there a task for this? Oh my goodness, there's a ton of these unlocked. Um, what was this thing called? I know Jumbo Bridge and Bridging the Gap are the two bridges we got to do. Dude, where's my trailers? The trailer store, Fix My Ride and Pimp My Ride are garage things. Abandoned giant? There we go. Alright. Actually, does that thing have fuel? It does not. Perfect. Yeah, when I did this on PTS, um, the one time I used the, uh, I think Chuck Abandoned Giant. Yeah, it it's already been so long, I couldn't remember. I used the, uh, the Kenworth 963, and I had a, uh, basically a, a three-slot super heavy trailer on it. Oh gosh, no. Don't tip over on me. Oh, early stream. Yeah, on the uh, the day of the update, McDonald's Worker, I've actually streamed as soon as the updates dropped, but this time around we're about six hours late. So, it's still earlier than normal, but yeah, it's uh, we're definitely behind. That could be nice if you start a hard mode at level two. Yeah, if you guys, if you, like, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. If you want to see me restart this right now and go to hard mode, I would do it. I just didn't think it'd be fun for you guys to watch, so if you guys do think that it would be more enjoyable, we could we could restart it as a level 2. I uh, love the changes to the W990. Uh, where'd the rest of that go? It's making it a powerful or overpowering truck. Yeah, the, if you guys haven't tried the W990 yet on the most, well, today's update, you should try it if you have it. 
it's it's far better than it was before. The tires are got a huge buff, and uh, it went from um, diff lock switchable to diff lock always on. So, and yes, it also switched like Bryce said from a high or uh, from a, a heavy truck to highway truck. Ross says nah. You did a video with the Fem, really easy task. You pulled it with the F750, wow. That must have been pretty tough. Oh, thank you, Foster, as well. I didn't see you guys both said that, you and Chuck. I saw his and then I looked away and then now I'm seeing yours, so. I have flipped, flipped too much, you can't keep count on them. You played season 12 for like one to two hours, Bryce? Okay. The diff lock will help a lot, yeah. And the tires, the tires got a huge boost. Like, it's hard to even state they're, they're so much better. Insane Dragon says, does anybody know if Xbox crashing is fixed? Um, we have one person in here who said it was fixed. They've been playing for about six hours and haven't crashed yet. So hopefully Xbox issues are fixed. Oh, wait. It sounds like they're fixed, but that's just one person so if, if there's more people in here playing on Xbox and you guys would wouldn't mind giving some feedback that would be great then we could uh, tell everybody else so yeah Tyranna Titan was the one who said it was working for him earlier so that's good so yes insane dragon Xbox crashing issues have been fixed today that's so cool because everybody's been complaining about Xbox crashing for months and months and months now. Like, even if it's drastically improved, that's that's good. Because the amount of crashes I was hearing people were having was absolutely ridiculous. And I would I probably couldn't even play it then. Like, it would just bother me too much to, to probably even play the game at that point. No crash for five hours. Okay, Mr. Spoon's in the same boat. Um, but when you quit or close your Xbox, still have to load the new season in the store. Huh. I'm upload or updating my Xbox currently, so I'll get back to you in the Discord. Okay. Well, five hours and six hours in for the two people who have re responded, so... That's 11 hours without any crashes. I'd say that's pretty good. Before I was hearing people would like literally crash within five minutes. So, I mean, sometimes you could get like an hour, but for a lot of people you're getting five minutes or something. So somebody already said that there's no truck up here. Oh snap, you have the fem? Uh, not yet, we gotta go, we gotta drag it. It's not ours quite yet. But the drop point is just up there, and then it'll be ours. So probably in like five minutes, because it's a little bit slow, but soon. You For you, it was about 30 minutes each, and then crash. So you're already at 10 times higher than it was before. Yeah, this is like a little uh, racing area. I don't know, a little... I know there's a contest here, there's a little rally place or whatever. Hmm. I'm thinking I should go run and get the top engine and diff lock right away, even though it's going to take us longer to go through all four maps. It might end up saving us a little bit of time. I think that's the contest, is it not? No, it's not. I'm gonna go grab... Well, actually, no, I won't. Mm. Yeah, we'll leave it. I gotta drag that truck somewhere else. I, don't, I can't drag it there now with this one anyways, so... We'll keep going. I was gonna just start it and... That way I could you know, know where I gotta go or what I gotta bring somewhere, but, eh, we'll do it later.
But uh, how's everybody liking Season 12 so far? Is there, uh, I know there's quite a few people in here who've already played it, but is there anybody who has not touched it? Looks like McDonald's worker hasn't yet. Anybody else? Haven't played it yet, just... Or maybe even, uh, just checking out the videos to see if they want to get it if they don't own the year pass. So yeah, you can see we got the drop point now, Rex, if you're still in here. Cool, so you? You haven't played it yet, you're kind of just checking it out? I know you usually work pretty late, Cool, so are you at work now, or are you... you just Oh, you're working right now. Okay, well, or working on it right now, okay. You like it? That's good, Bryce. It's a little bit more on the easier side, with uh, oh, quite a bit of tar road. And, I mean, there's no, uh, uh, where can I find the diff lock for the fem? Can you show us on the map? I can't quite yet because I'm, I don't have that map unlocked, but, uh, it's on, it's on flatland and it's in the bottom right corner. Uh, basically when you go through the tunnel, the road splits off left and goes, goes across a bridge, or you can stay to the right. You're going to want to stay to the right and basically stay to the right as far as you can on all those roads. And it's off in a swamp on your right. <coughs> I'll make, I'll make that the next thing we do. So as soon as we get this fem, I'll, I'll go get, excuse me, I'll go get that. So I'll show you here in like 10 minutes. JJ, I just saw Telly showing off the new skins. I'd show them off, but I don't have them yet. I, uh, I didn't know there was uh, the year four, because I checked the other day and year four wasn't, uh, wasn't available. So I haven't bought it. So I do not have any new skins, but I'll buy them soon. Do you know what trucks they're for? I haven't seen or heard about them at all. This is, you know, basically the first that I've heard. And yeah, you guys are right. There's no vehicle here. Whoever said it earlier, I don't remember, but interesting. So there was a vehicle here that I thought you'd get for free, but apparently they took it away. There we go. Okay, thanks. Let's jump to Reactive Zone Garage. Let's pull out the Tuz so we can get there quickly. Where is it? Do I not? There we go. It's like, do I not have one? Alright, we're good to go. Um, I believe the season we believe that farming is more logging I think um, it's possible I guess because I mean technically if you if you're planting trees and then harvesting the trees it, it's kind of the same thing right you're planting and harvesting so it, it could be a logging you know I mean like even on farming simulator they have they have uh, they have logging because, you know, you're planting the trees, which is basically like planting anything else. And then you take care of the trees and they grow and then cut them down and you harvest them. Like big trees? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. It could certainly be that. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I like it so far. was trying to come up with a game plan, what contracts and tasks to do first. Well, I'll give it to you, Chuck. You go get the fem, and then you do... Here, let me stop quick. Um, you're going to do... Um, bridging the gap, then you're going to do Jumbo Bridge, then you're going to do, um, I can't remember what the third one's called. Maybe it was one of these ones. I think, nope, not that. Um, the one that you get the ferry. Oh, here we go. Then you're gonna do complete eastbound ferry first. Okay, then you're gonna do eastbound ferry, then westbound ferry. That'll unlock the, the three main areas you want on the first map. It'll it'll fix two bridges and the ferry system. So I would say do that first. Which for that, you're gonna need to come to the second map to get some fuel, which is actually just off to our right. Um, basically straight behind this farm. Actually this, it's it's like right over here somewhere. But yeah, you'll grab four fuel, and you can actually grab some metal beams from just over there as well. 
and that way you don't have to that'll save you some time you, you can get metal beams on the first map but if I were you because you're gonna need to get a generator and to get the generator you got to go all the way to the right side of the map and then to bring it to where you need it you got to go all the way up and back around to the left side of the map so it's gonna take you way more time um, to, to do it that way because you don't have the ferry system and you need to do some other stuff to get the ferry system so um, and there's also there's a, a rock blockage in your way to get to that point so yeah I would I would strongly suggest uh, getting the metal beams and the fuel from the second map there's also a generator trailer for the jumbo bridge it's in the bottom right corner on the first map so if you're out like when you when you come back through the gateway if I were you, I'd just go down south for a little bit and get that generator trailer. Otherwise, you're going to have to go all the way back and then all the way back to the spot. So it'll save you some time. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm talking a little bit much here. Um, so I like the season. Probably the maps are my favorite part. They're not only really easy, but they're probably the most stunning, beautiful maps I've seen in SnowRunner, really. I think season 10 has the best uh, best looking maps, but this one... They, they do look very good, I'll give you that. And there is, like I said, lots of highway, so you can use a good part of your, your highway trucks or maybe less capable vehicles. You got the fuel delivered earlier, nice, okay. Hello JJ in chat, popped in to leave a like. Thank you, Farming Company. I'm sure you're uh, busy if you're just popping in. Uh, it looked like a lot of other map, I don't really feel in a new phase, really. Really, I think the, the bushes are, are a new uh, new asset that they haven't had before, so it does give it a little different feel, if you, if you ask me. Those bushes aren't normally there. Who needs parts? Location. Map Runner is a perfect app. You can find everywhere. Everything very easy to use. That's true. Also, I have, um, I have it up on my channel. There's a YouTube short of exactly where to find all of the upgrades for both the Rock Grinder and the Femme. They both have their own YouTube short, so shows you exactly where all of the upgrades are for the truck within 60 seconds. Some of them, I, I start from the top basically. If you were to customize a vehicle, I start with the engine, then I go to the gearbox, then I go to the tires and, you know, down that way, so. Uh, the engine will be on there pretty quickly, but the diff lock and all-wheel drive are usually at the bottom, so that's where those ones will be. Um, yeah, I realized I should have got the generator when I came back with the fuel. Yeah, sorry. I, if I was, if you were, if I started streaming earlier and you came in here earlier, I would have been able to give you the details. But if there's anybody else in here who hasn't done it yet, uh, I guess a little probably save you about I don't know a half hour or something, 15, 20 minutes driving over there, and then 15, 20 driving back. Yeah, we'll go get the uh, the upgrades for the Fem quick, and then we'll uh, outfit that thing. Then we'll start working on the bridges. We got a couple metal beams to bring back. Um, I think it's I think it's cement. I think it's cement because there's four of them on a trailer that we could have done and we didn't want to do. Uh, speaking of videos, I actually watched your videos on how to get the Fem, the Rock Grinder, as well as the upgrades, the bridges, and so it's helped a lot. Yeah, I basically made videos on how to do all those first couple of things that I would recommend doing. And, like, that that's basically exactly what I'm going to do right after the start is, you know, go get the upgrades and then fix both the bridges, fix the ferry, kind of all of the... Uh, the major things to start it and then you can start doing some random stuff but actually now that I think about it I don't this this phase might have the least amount of bridge fixing of any any phase we've played in like blockages in total there's there's one blockage I can think of on the first map and then two bridges out there is two or three blockages I guess on the other maps but Seems like there's a lot less than other ones, so that's good. I'm glad they were helpful for you. Alright, let's uh, skip the time. 
Oh, I just realized I missed my I missed my chance to get back on the highway. Not that it really matters. In other words, JJ, thank you for your very helpful, informal videos. It was really it really helped my season 12, so thank you. You're welcome. Glad they're helpful. Like I said, it's it'd be a shame if they weren't. But I try to make them really like precise and to the point. Not waste your time, also not waste my own. I don't want to spend seven minutes on a two-minute video. Like that's just like I said, wasting your time and wasting mine, so try to get right to the point, get you exactly what you want to know, where to pick it up, where to drop it off, and what it does. Or, you know, in the case of upgrades, just exactly where they are and how to get there, maybe which which roads to follow to go through the tunnels and stuff. The, the YouTube Shorts videos are not enough time to show you exactly which routes to go, but, you know, if you can get from one map to the other, then you can at least figure it out, but... Uh, hello, Tommy, how are you doing? We are currently going to get some uh, upgrades. There's actually one upgrade just up right by that. Uh, just a little bit north and east of the, that thing up there, wherever it went. But we're going to pass. That's one of the uh, upgrades we don't really need right now for the rock grinder. We'll go get it later. I'm trying to get the Fem fully equipped so it's the strongest it can be and then you know, start showing you guys some Femme gameplay. Hopefully we can really start to make some progress on this. I don't know why, I, I just really dislike driving empty. Like, this just seems like such a waste. And I know for some of you people, like, you're like, oh, just, just get all the watchtowers and whatever, but... When I've, I've played this game quite a bit on PTS, so for the most part I know exactly where I'm going. Like, we're headed south, then we're gonna go across. There's there's a, a really crappy, not a, not a really crappy crossing, but a, a mud crossing, or you can go a little further north and there's bridges. Have you got the year four pass? I have not. I didn't know it was out. Um, I tried checking yesterday or the day before. I already forget which one. When the year four pass was confirmed, I checked that day, so I think it was... How long ago was that? It must have been, was that last week even? I don't even remember. I think it was two days ago. I, I literally lost track of all the days, so... Anyways, uh, no, I don't have it yet. It wasn't there when I checked, and then now this morning I didn't check, and I guess it's there, so... This is Rubber Duck. What's your 20? Gaming with JJ over? What do you mean 20? Is that like a location? It's out now? Yeah, I heard that earlier. I don't have it, though. I mean, I guess I could get it. Alright, we're by the, uh... Do you guys want to see us go across the lower? You got it for PS4? Nice. We'll go across the lower crossing. If you follow that highway, there's a really nice view on the bridge. The bridges up there look really, really nice. I guess we'll go this way, we'll hit up the watchtower, because we're going this way anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going this way anyways. Trucker saying JJ, okay. <laughs> I was like, is that like my location or something? But there's a Hummer H2 off to our left. I don't see it, but it's by that watchtower. I don't know where we even got to bring it or what we got to do, but if we have to fix it or something, we can do that. Uh, Zaten, I saw you were streaming, how's that going? I saw you and Telemenis were both streaming, but... Got to stream myself, you know. Oh, there's a trailer out here. You're on the second map? Did you just start playing Satana or have you been playing all morning? Alright, here we go. Let's. Oops. Accept. Start tracking. So, where does it gotta go? Oh, well, that's. Not really on the way, but we can drag it part of the way back. Why not? Yeah, I'm not going to stream until later. Yeah, that makes sense, Schools, You're at work. Busy. Pretty good. 11 likes so far. How many, uh... How much percentage did you get, uh, Satana? How, how many hours have you played it, put in? 
I know, uh, what was it, season 9, you and I were both up at at 5 a.m. playing it. All of you streaming would not help my viewing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is that is true. You can only watch, well, I mean, I guess technically you could pull up like 10 tabs and watch everybody, but you can only really watch one of them. But yeah. I hear what you're saying there, Cools. Uh, I know Rex said he's going to be streaming later. Uh, I don't know who else in here would be streaming. Uh, JJ, by the way, the skin is for the ANK civilian. No way, that's cool. Hello, Isaiah, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. You started streaming at 10 a.m.? Okay. How many... Uh, Saki, since you're talking about it, how many other vehicles got skins? Is it four vehicles, or... You'll look? Okay. I think I'm probably at 1%, because I haven't done anything yet. Just get the fem, that's it. Finally back in my truck was a very big delivery, going to stream at 9 p.m. Eastern. So that is 8 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock, er, 7 o'clock Mountain, 6 o'clock Pacific. And actually I missed my turn, I think. I don't think I want to go in here. I don't know if there's a way out of here. But I guess we'll start this. Fuel carrier semi-trailer, huh? Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, I definitely missed my turn to turn, to turn the wrong way. I'm also doing good. I'm gonna go get the upgrades for the Femme. So if anybody wants to know where those are, that's where we're headed. And then we're going to start using the Femme. Isaiah, have you played uh, Season 12 yet? Well, in that case, if you're going to be streaming at 9pm, you already know I'm going to be there. Nice. You're on Twitch too? Are you going to be streaming on Twitch later, Spoon? Uh, like nine, 8, 9 o'clock? Your time? Holy cow, my Xbox states that it will be done updating in 11 hours and 25 minutes. Yikes. I guess McDonald's worker won't be playing Season 12 today. That puts you at like midnight. <laughs> or at least my time, midnight. Alright, got a little, uh... A little bit of a sketchy crossing there. Is that a train? I didn't see that before. Alright. Not yet? Okay, fair enough. See you there, Tyranotitan. Oh, it's a trial there, huh? For contest. 42 viewers, 20 likes. Let's keep those numbers rising, boys. I like the sound of that. I know if I keep going straight, that goes to the tunnel or gateway, but that's not where I want to go. So I think I think I might have missed my uh, my turn again. I think I'm going to have to do some off-roading. SG Spoon, what do you play? Uh, Spoon plays SnowRunner. He plays F1. Uh, I'm not really sure what else. Uh, Zatanna also plays SnowRunner. Telemenis plays SnowRunner. Friday plays SnowRunner. Wild Fox plays SnowRunner. <laughs> uh, Bryson Furrow plays SnowRunner. Be careful with the towing. Are you saying that you're going to come back and try and re repo your own vehicle from me? I am the repo man. Actually, that looks like a road up there.
I just know I need to go north, so that's all I'm doing. Alright, let me turn. Yeah, I'm excited to go get that big engine. That's what we're headed towards. The big engine. I'll try my best. Uh, yeah, and when you, when you stream, remember not to be a Nubosaurus Rex. Don't want one of those. Yep, I'm using Starbucks Wi-Fi. Don't have internet in my house. Oh, that's a bummer. Ouch. Okay, so we got us. Actually, I think we. The part. Okay, that's definitely on the island, so we want to leave that here. All right, off to go get the upgrade now. Hey JJ, how are you doing? I'm playing season 12 right now on your PS4 Pro. Very nice, Brandon. How's it going? The save from lessons. If only they had an H1, way better. Yeah, I agree. Like when I was playing uh, Mud Runner, what was it a week or two ago? And we were using the, the Hummer H1. I was like, man, this is so much better. Uh, you play Farming Simulator too, but mostly F1 and SnowRunner. The rest of the games I don't stream. Uh, can't do that if the car is underwater, JJ. You can't repo your car if I, if I drowned it. Yeah, last time I tried to I tried to go really far to the left, and there's a rock blockage out there. So, definitely don't want to go that far left. You, uh, I mean, you guys can't see it, but it's a uh, it's very mountainous, and it's it's sort of in a valley uh, where you where you would be uh, trying to cross, and so you have to like climb up these really steep hills. Doing good, thanks for asking. You're welcome, Brandon. Glad to hear you're doing well. What is this? Another task. Okay, wide. What did it say? Wide semi flatbed, something like that? Alright. I'm kind of hoping we have enough fuel. Maybe I'll have to steal the fuel from the Hummer over there. It looks like we got another blockage here on the tr uh, railroad tracks. Yeah, once we get just a little bit north of here, we want to turn and go left. Not sure if we can survive this. I know this is actually pretty deep in here. So I'm hoping to keep the engine up a little bit from the rocks. That wasn't too bad. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of damage. A little bit more. Yeah, we dodged most of the deeper stuff. It wasn't too bad. Alright, here's the town. This is where the biggest engine is located, guys. For the Femme. If you guys haven't found that, it's right over here. This is the R2 engine. There's an R1, but I didn't bother getting that yet. So it's going to be at this person's house, just off to the left, right here. There you can see it. There it is. So there we go, SBR6 250R2. Only for the Femme. So we got the top engine. Now we'll go get the diff lock, so we can have the diff lock always, or not always on, but uh, switchable. Let's refuel quickly. Go. All right, now we got to go back where we came from, most of the way back down to the road, and then we got to go into the other gateway to the fourth map, and then we can get that upgrade, and then we can start making some real good progress. I think we'll uh. 
We'll probably start using the FEM and maybe like a twin steer right off the bat because I know we need four fuel. We also got to get the uh, Cat 770G trailer and a generator trailer. Again, trying to stay on the rocks a little bit just so I don't take engine damage. That's the only reason I'm really riding the left side here. If I go off to the right, it's kind of deeper by the rocks, so be careful if you guys go the same path. Like I said, you can go off to the right, but there's a very narrow path, and in order to get up, you'll have to climb up one of the sides of the mountain, and it's pretty tough. I did it on PTS, so it's doable. I did the right side, but it's it's pretty, pretty hard, to be honest. Not like difficult, like you're gonna flip over, but there's a lot of trees and a lot of rocks to the point where like, there's not really many good paths. All right. Yeah, we should have, we should have enough fuel, I think. And if not, there is fuel on the next map, but I don't, I'd have to go out of our way to go get it. So it might be kind of close. I think we should be okay, but we'll see, I guess. All right. Or like I said, maybe I can grab some from the Hummer. You're having issues? What are you having issues with, Satana? So yeah, that's the nice bridge over there. The bridge crossing that I said was good. Very nice. There's also another bridge behind it. That's a little island out there. And there, there's another bridge going back to the mainland the other side. Truck sounds aren't acting right. Huh. I've had that before. Where basically you get in the truck and... It's like, uh, delayed or like completely quiet, like only the brakes work or something like that. Like it's, it's some weird sounds. Let's see if we can steal some fuel here. Nice, we can. Okay, now we should be good for sure. The engine sound. Does it only work when you like brake or something? I've had that before. Just had to restart the uh, the game and it worked fine, but yeah, I've had I've had two different like engine bugs where it's like there's just no sound at all, and then well I shouldn't say no sound. There's no sound for the engine, and then all when you when you hit the brakes is when it it makes a sound. That's about it. <coughs> and the other one I've had is um, where it's like delayed. Uh, you, you turn the truck on, and like two seconds later it turns on. Or you hit the brakes, and two seconds later the brake sound will happen. Like, it's it's weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for the lift bridge on the first map, what contract is it? And... <coughs> ah. I got something in my throat. Excuse me, guys. Um... And what contract to open the gateway? There is no no locked gateways on this one, Rex. Other than the ferry, if you count that as a gateway. Oops. Actually, I probably could steal a fuel out of this thing, too. Um, but the first, first bridge... Well, the lift bridge is called Jumbo Bridge. Now I gotta think about it. Yeah, the first one's called Jumbo Bridge. Or Lift Lift Bridge is called Jumbo Bridge, excuse me. And I think the other one's called like Bridging the Gap. That's uh that's that's to the island in the middle on the first map. Yeah, if you do jumbo bridge, that'll unlock the fourth or that will unlock the uh the tunnel. Not the tunnel, I can't talk. Uh that will fix the bridge so that you can use that gateway. And that gateway will come out um, just out here. I'm about to go through the, the 
tunnel. We're on the third map, we're heading to the fourth map. So this this will be the same map that you'll come through. And you'll you'll be pretty close to the garage. Actually, I probably should just run up to the garage just to have that unlocked so we can use that. I'm gonna do that. Wasn't planning on it, but now I got enough fuel, I should be able to, should go out there. Um I think they make a patch for that issue, okay. I had that happen to me just uh last was it last week? I think it was last it was it, within the last two weeks because I beat uh Wisconsin. And it happened to me when I was moving the P12. Specifically the P12. It it don't like all the other trucks worked normal. The P12 or P512 PF I should say. Um for some reason whenever I switched to that truck the sound was delayed. And yeah, like I said, I beat Wisconsin like two weeks ago. I started on a mirror last week, so it still it still happens. It's very very recent. All right, here is the tunnel. We're going to the fourth map to go get the uh, diff lock for the fem, and then we're going to unlock the garage, and then we'll start working on jumbo bridge, bridging the gap, uh, eastbound ferry, and westbound ferry. My snorter is updating so long on Xbox, really. Somebody else said they have 11 and a half hours to wait, so hopefully yours is less than that. But, uh, Rex, for you, I would say... Then we have to tell them. Yeah, it's still, it's still doing it. It's very rare that it happens, but, yeah, mine happened about two weeks ago. Um... Your sound seems different. Maybe it's, uh, I, I, I gotta get a drink of water. <laughs> but, um, uh, for you, Rex, I, I said this to, I think it was Chuck who was in here earlier, saying he, he forgot to grab the generator on his way back. But to get the jumbo bridge, you're gonna wanna go to the second map. The voice sounds different, yeah. You wanna go to the second map to go get fuel for a jumbo bridge. I would also suggest grabbing the metal beams for Jumbo Bridge because it's just going to be easier. It's going to be it's going to be faster as well. Because otherwise you're going to have to go all the way to the right side to grab a, tra a generator trailer. And then you're going to have to go all the way back to the left side to use that generator trailer. And you're going to have to run all the way to the second map for the fuel anyways. So you're probably better off just getting the garage there and then going back and getting the metal beams. It's just, it's much easier. You're gonna have to go back and forth, kinda. Um, but yeah, like I said for you guys, uh, as soon as you come through the gateway, stick to your right. Follow that around. There's gonna be a swamp. I mean, there's there's kind of a few swamps, I guess, but there's a swamp just up around this corner and the, the upgrade is off on our right. This is for the, uh, the diff lock for the fem. Is there crafting? Yes, there is crafting. There's cabin crafting. Uh, there's uh, metal beam crafting. What else? I haven't, to be honest, I haven't done too much of it, but I think there's a couple other crafting spots. Hello, Gabriel. I don't know if I said that. I saw your comment, but I don't know if I said it. So there's the upgrade. You guys can see the yellow line right above our truck now. The FEM is not in the third map. Uh, close to the gateway... Wait, the FEM is not in the third map? Alright, so here we go. Engageable for the FEM. So, like I said guys, as soon as you come through the gateway, stick to your right and just stay with that. Here's the swamp I was saying it's just after. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically as soon as... Here, I'll show you again, Rex. Um, so here's the second map. You'll come in up here, just follow this all the way across, and then down. There's your garage, keep following that. There's the gateway. As soon as you get into the third map, it's right here. So you come through the gateway, you'll take a right, you'll take a left, and then follow that to here. That's where the fem's at. Pretty easy. Alright, now let's go get... Let's go unlock the garage here so that if there is something closer to this side, we can go that way. And then we'll start working on Jumbo Bridge, Bridging the Gap, 
Eastbound and westbound ferry. So that is really what we want to be getting done, is those uh, other random things. There's also a, a rock blockage on the first map. I don't remember what it's called, but you just need one metal beam for it. Actually, there's another one up the hill as well that I didn't think about, but that one's totally out of the way. Not worth uh, blo unblocking right off the bat anyways. You can go right around it as well. I did get around. Uh, believe it or not, I got around the one that we're going to unblock with a... I think it was a Femme. Might have been the Kenworth. I think it was a Kenworth, actually. Uh, we got around it with a Kenworth. And... I'm trying to think. It was Kenworth and uh, as of 73210 with the Cat 770G uh, trailer. The one with the cat, like, broken and the wheels on it or whatever. Okay, so you travel clockwise through the maps. Yes, that's exactly correct. You start on the top left. Second map is top right. Third map is bottom right. Fourth map, bottom left. Oh, that's right. Zing is here, and Zing is also going to be streaming Season 12. I was saying some people who will probably be streaming either today or tomorrow. We had Cools. I don't know if Cools is still in here. Oh, sorry, Sawyer. I saw your comments, too. Let me get to that quickly. Um, are you doing normal or hard mode? This is normal mode. I thought about doing hard mode, but I feel like it would just be too boring. So, yeah, I just went to went to normal mode. It would be too boring, probably just because I'm only a level one, and so we would we would have a CK fifteen hundred and zero money, like literally nothing. We'd have absolutely nothing. Uh, what we could do is start a hard mode and like pick up the CK, pick up the Fleet Star, pick up you know all the Michigan trucks quickly, and then jump over here. That might not be too bad. But, um, yeah, what I was thinking is just coming here right away, just starting up Michigan, or starting up a hard mode in Michigan and then just immediately jumping here. I think it'd be kind of fun. Oh, no stream, banking on some support, some, uh, some recordings. Uh, and we'll go up tomorrow, probably, okay. Well, that's good news. Get some uh, recording time in. That's how I used to do it before I was able to stream. I would always just uh, start the phase as early as I can, start recording, post a couple of videos. So, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. The uh, When you're streaming, you do get a lot more viewers while the stream is live, but as soon as you're not live, the streams get a lot less views than a video would. Uh, just off to my right here, guys, I will show you this. There is a Scout Fuel trailer right here. So if anybody wants that. And then this place has metal beams and metal rolls, which you'll use to unlock your garage later. So that'll be a nice, uh, nice thing to find. I just gotta get a little closer here. Okay, there's no prompt that we unlock the trailer. Uh, it's definitely doable, I think, so far. Scouting with the Chevy is working. Even did a little trip in the Don. Zing, are you... Did you unlock a lot of trucks in Michigan first, or did, are you just going here with zero trucks? That's what I'm wondering. We're headed up to unlock the third... Well, fourth map garage, but the third map... Or er, I said that wrong. Fourth map garage, but the third garage total, because there's only three three maps with garages. The third map does not have a garage. So we're going to go up there, unlock the garage, and then we'll start working. I know I've said that a few times, but for anybody who's just tuning in, we're basically just headed for the, the uh, garage on the fourth map. There is an upgrade at that house right up in front of us. I believe it is the raised suspension. It might be the crawler. Um... Might have it mixed up. Actually, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to talk. It's it's an upgrade for the rock grinder. That's all I'll say. It's right at that house. There's a car just, just off behind it from where we're looking. A little bit more to the left. 
No, I took your 100% Michigan hard mode save to season 12. Yeah, I think it's doable in that way. I'm not sure if it's doable starting off with uh, absolutely nothing though. Like just brand new hard, hard mode save at level two, no money, no fuel, no other trucks. Like I don't know if that would be... I feel like it probably would be because you do have a big semi-trailer of fuel here. The only problem is you'd have to somehow somehow get the fem back with the CK. Oh man. Because that fuel trailer is behind the jumbo bridge, if you know what I mean. You have to do the jumbo bridge task to get over to that fuel trailer. You can't even transfer vehicles. Let's see. I got a picture for my profile. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, because it's so small. But it kind of looks like the femme from the front. For anybody who got the year 4 pass, is there just one vehicle skin or is there multiple? Somebody said there was one, I think it was Saki said there was one for the A and K, the civilian. Two vehicles and you're out of money on a fresh save? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you, well, yeah, you would get the Fleet Star. You could. <coughs> uh, probably can't even put tires on the Chevy if you transfer the Fleet Star and the Chevy over. Yeah, you, yeah, I mean... Because you start off with, what is it, $8,000? So you would be... you, Yeah, you're pretty much stuck. Alright, we're almost to the garage, guys. It's just up through the trees here. Basically up around this corner, it weaves up through the hills, and then we're we're getting there. I think we got to go through one one more little swampy but swampy bit, but we're, then we're there. So yeah, here's the last little bit. All right. Oops. Looked over at the chat. All right. Yeah, once you get there, you can actually see it through the trees. So this garage is broken, if you guys didn't know that. By broken, I mean the only thing you can do here is store vehicles. So you got to fix the trailer store, you got to fix the customization, the truck shop, all that stuff needs uh, fixing. <coughs> Excuse me. And actually, the trailer store isn't even here. It's uh, kind of by those cooling towers and then to the left, to the north a little bit. All right, nice, we got the fourth, well, third garage, fourth map garage unlocked. Okay, let's go back to the FEM. Oops, wrong map. Go here. Okay. I did, however, confirm that you can get jet tires immediately on the Fleet Star as of season 12. Yeah, you can get them at level one. <laughs> you can sell a fleet in GMC and get the Kenny, but no room for mistake. All right. Honestly, I think it'd be faster for me to just recover this thing. Let's just do that. Okay, lost our cargo. Let's go to the upgrades here. Actually, we'll leave the four slot on it for now. Let's grab a higher snorkel. Let me sell that. Got the diff lock found, so that's good. Grab a heavy winch. We'll use the MS3 tires. I don't know why I have a set of twos. And we got the advanced special gearbox and the biggest engine. So we didn't find the SR1, but we didn't really care about it. Where is the gar garage and reactive zone? Right here. So fastest way to it would be follow this main road until you get to here. There's a nice little trail right through these trees. And then just cross here. You can go up, up through this uh, lumber mill here if you want, but yeah, either way. And then you can go down and around this way into town as well. <coughs> but basically you just gotta cross the river and get to this road, tar road on the other map, and then it's right there. There is a trailer back here as well. It must be right about here. 
a semi sideboard trailer. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna go grab four fuel, two metal beams. Actually, I need three metal beams. Shoot. I definitely should have kept that metal beam now that I think about it. Oh well. That just means we'll have to craft one. Where's the gas station? We're actually headed right to it. The gas station's right across the road here to our left. We'll come out right next to it. So the gas station is just off to the side here and then there's a warehouse. So there's the gas station. And then just to the left of that is the warehouse we want. So here it is, here's the fuel station, gas station. What's up, JJ? How have you, or how long have you been streaming for? Uh, we've been up for an hour and 11 minutes, so much later than normal. And uh, cargo management, let's go fuel station, fuel it up. Oh shoot, I forgot to grab a roof rack. Dang it. We definitely need that in here too. Too much of a hurry. Open the map, please. Here you go. I just went from the garage straight through the fields to the gas station. Here's the warehouse that has the metal beams. Gotta go for now. You'll be back later. Sounds good, Rex. Hello, ATO. How are you doing? Uh, okay, I've got some meetings to do. Have a good one, JJ. Thank you, Zing. See you later. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Oh, man. This stinks. Mm. I'm trying to think, because... Would it be worth it for me to get... I think... I feel like it would be worth it to go grab that... The, uh, roof rack, but... I don't know. I guess as long as we have it on one of our trucks, probably, we'd be fine. We got a task over there. Or something. Maybe a warehouse. Alright. Yeah, the mountains are kind of blocking the sun for us, but... If you're trying to figure out how to open that big drawbridge, you need four fuel from the gas station. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get four fuel. You also gotta grab a generator. Um... The generator is in the bottom right corner on the first map. So yeah, the fuel is just where I showed you at the gas station there, right across in the garage. That's going to help you open up Jumbo Bridge. You also need some metal beams. Which is why I'm kind of upset that I accidentally deleted the cargo, because I think I need that metal beams. I don't, well, I shouldn't say need it because there is a place to craft them on the first map. It just means it's going to be a longer, uh, longer way around, I guess. Yeah, because to, in order to open up the ferry, you guys have to complete um, bridging the gap. And I think you also need to complete bridging the gap for getting the rock grinder. The generator is at the garage. Oh, you already grabbed that? Okay. Jumbo bridge needed to get the fourth watchtower. Um, not necessarily. You could drive all the way around like I did. I'll quickly show you because we are on we are on flatland if we go from here I mean you can see the tunnel actually right here if you follow this road it goes out and around and then goes up and through the through the tunnel there so you could actually go up and around that way and uh, go through it and get it so you don't 
need that bridge, but yeah, obviously that's going to be a much quicker path from the first garage, just going right through there. Uh, can I join, for, says Remy. Uh, this is just our solo uh, playthrough, Remy. We don't have a... Well, I do have one co-op one, but we're not playing on that one right now. Uh, nice, you got the Femme. How does it feel? How does it drive? Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's... It's steering can be a little bit weird if you're going into a hill. If you're, like, driving into a hill on the right, but you're trying to turn left. Or maybe I said that wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to kind of force you to go downhill sometimes. It gets kind of locked in because it doesn't have enough power to articulate over some of that stuff sometimes. But, yeah, this is just our solo on Remy. Sorry, so we're, uh... Thanks. Got to get it done. There you go. Yeah, so we're just uh, trying to work as fast as we can. Get the Jumbo Bridge. First time driving the Femme? Uh, no, I've drove the Femme quite a lot. Um, G-Wolf, I know you're, you're new to the channel, or fairly new anyways. Um, but I have on PTS, so I probably drove this truck for like maybe 12 hours or something total. Maybe even longer. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Like, it, that's, I mean, that's exactly why I know how to do these things. How, like, where to get the fuel and where's the garage and where the upgrades are and all that kind of stuff. I just ran straight for it because I've played it for a bit. I know where the warehouses are and that kind of stuff. Warehouses, garages. So yeah, we've, we've, we've drove this truck for a good 10, 12, 15 hours probably. Here we're at the crossing, almost back to the first map. Actually, now that I think about it, when I go through the first map, I think I'm going to take these this fuel out, and uh, I'm going to put it into a new truck. I'm going to get that roof rack on here. So here, off to our left, is where I was saying, yeah, you're new to the channel. How can you tell? Oh, I just remember you said like a, a week ago it was the first time you'd ever tuned into the stream, so... That's, that's the only reason I knew. <laughs> just from what you told me last week. I think it was, or maybe it was even a couple of days ago, I don't remember what video it was, but I think it was either the year 4 confirmation video, or maybe it was the season 12 release date video but one of the two you said you clicked on those and you saw I was live and then you you hopped in so but yeah that was that's the route that I would take for you guys to stick to the road oh I forgot about it yeah yeah, you told me, I forget which one, it, I think it was the uh, the Season 12 release date video, because it was about a week ago, and that was, it came out, that announcement was a week ago, so that's probably when it was. But we're glad to have you. Alright, back to the gateway here. I'm using the controller for now, just trying to get some, some stuff done. I'm a little bit more uh, accustomed to the, the controller. There we go. Now I'm just thinking, because I don't have... Because I don't have the roof rack, I probably shouldn't go down and go get, uh... Go get that trailer right now. Uh, we could use... I already used the Tuz. Where's the Tuz? Maybe I should just get that. 
Yeah, we'll just use that one. Hello, Artem. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Artem. So we're going to go get the generator trailer, which we need for Jumbo Bridge now. But it's all the way in the south part. Let's recover. So here you guys can see Pimp My Ride and Pimp My Ride and Fix My Ride are how are you going to get the refuel repair, the truck store, the customization, and then there's also um, this one, Dude, Where's My Trailer, to get the trailer store back. So you got all your garage functions, but like as of right now, if you see I leave, we're still damaged, we're still half fuel, we don't have um, all that kind of stuff. So let's jump back to the first map here. Oops. Jump back to the first map. How did you go to the garage so quickly? Oh, uh, you push X. I'll show you again here. I'll, I'll bring it back up. So if you're on the map, like in a truck, for, for an Xbox controller, you push the, uh, I guess it's like the share button or whatever, but you bring up the button to, go, to get the map. Then you push, you know, push X on here. If you see at the bottom, it says global map, push X. And then if you see again in the bottom right corner, it says X to move to garage. So you just push X. Oops, and let's go back to the garage here. And let's go get that trailer. Uh, what is the main contract in Season 12? Like, the finale, let's say. Um, I'm not really sure, because you have to build the cooling towers. I'm guessing it would be one of those ones. Because I think you have to build, or rebuild, or whatever, fix both cooling towers on the fourth map. There's a lot of stuff you have to do in reactive zone with the the plant over there. So I'm not I'm not actually sure which one is the last one. I didn't beat uh, season 12 on PTS. I usually don't. Well, actually, I never have. But yeah, um, that would be my guess. One of those ones. One of the one of the power plant ones, I guess. There is a Dawn 71 that you can get all the way in the south here. There's also a Hummer we can pick up. Well, the Hummer you can't get, but there's a task for it. Uh, something we got to do up here. Did I, did I just teach you something there, G-Wolf, with the garage? Did you not know that before? Also, for anybody who's wondering, we play vanilla, so these are all just vanilla vehicles. Got the 15 and 6 combo, nice. Alright, where, where do we gotta bring this Hummer? We'll bring it, if it's on the way, we'll go with it. I've never done this one, so no idea. Way the opposite direction. Okay, not doing that. But I'll accept it so we can find it later. I got home from school early because we have finals. Only two periods today, and I left after first because I had study next. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, no, I did, but on your screen, you didn't have the loading screen. You did it twice when you were on the map. Not the F. Um, I guess I'm not really sure what I did. <laughs> Maybe you can rewind it and, and see? I, I don't... I mean, because you can jump to any garage from that screen. Oh, lessons, you got a 9 gigabyte update for Xbox. Well, hopefully that means they're patching more stuff on Xbox than the PlayStation, right? Um, hello, Smoke. Long time no see, Smoke. I was talking about you the other day because someone came in and said... Um... what they say? Mutter truckers? No, some, something... What do you always say when you come in? I can't remember what you say. What's up, mother truckers or something? Any free vehicles on the new maps? Yes. Uh, for sure, there is one right up in front of us, the Don 71. Uh, the other one that there was is gone. 
So I'm guessing anybody who starts season 12 now won't get it, but if they start it in like a month from now, I'm guessing they would add it back in because it was a Western Star 49X, which I know they don't want to be giving that away for free. So I was saying during my PTS videos that it would get changed to some base game vehicle and it didn't, it, it's not a base game, it's just not there. It's totally gone. But here's the trailer store, guys. You can see one trailer right there. Good morning, Redneck. Good morning as well. So yeah, here's the trailer store. There's one trailer here. Uh, the ferry is just off over there. Uh, there's a little driving course up here. So we'll, I can see the Don over there, actually. I'll go get the driving course quickly. Or go get the Don, I guess. Mutter Truckers. Yeah, they, somebody joined the chat the other day and said, What's up, Mutter Truckers? And I was like, You're not smoke. What are you doing here? <laughs> so yeah, here's a little driving course, guys. Oh, they... Oh, wait. No, no, they didn't. Never mind. I was like, they changed it, but no, it's the same. So yeah, here you go. Here's a Don 71. Apparently it doesn't tell you that you get it, but you can switch to it and it's yours. Alright, we gotta go get that generator trailer now. So we can fix up that bridge. So we're gonna tow it back to the FEM. We're gonna drop the fuel into the FEM. And then we'll probably leave our truck there because we'll have to go get some metal beams from the other map as well. But yeah, basically we want to get this ferry system in both bridges up as quickly as we can so that we can bring a generator trailer across for the, the crafting of metal beams because we're going to need more metal beams from the other side. But yeah, I guess I'll throw it up to you guys. Is there anything else you guys want to see us do? Because it's probably going to take us a while to do... Uh, Jumbo Bridge, Bridging the Gap, Eastbound Ferry, Westbound Ferry. Is that it? I feel like I missed one. Anyways, yeah, it's probably going to take us a while to do those ones, but... I mean, we could start on the garage features on the fourth map. That's Those are actually really easy. Like, those are probably some of the easiest missions here, because the warehouse, there's two, well, I guess three. Three-ish warehouses that you gotta grab from. Oh, uh, Artem, you didn't get Ontario finished before Season 12? That's a bummer. Hello, Richard. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Richard. Also, I think uh, I didn't say that for Smoke and Artem and probably a bunch of others, but welcome to the stream, everyone. Alright, so the generator trailer is, well, there's a log trailer here, medium logs. There's another log trailer over there for medium logs. There's a generator trailer. There's a bunch of trailers in this area. This generator trailer is kind of hidden if you come in from the other side. There's also a scout fuel trailer over here, off on the right. I don't know if you guys can see it quite yet, but yeah, this generator trailer is kind of hidden back here. So they want you to drive past it and not see it, and then start the task and be like, ah, dang it. You know, it's like behind the building and stuff. So they definitely wanted you to miss it. But yeah, you got two medium log trailers. Did you even sleep? Yeah, I slept. I, I just started streaming Redneck. Uh, normally I sleep at like 3 or so, maybe AM. So there's the gen or, uh, scout fuel trailer. Oh, now we're going to hit that for sure. Oh, nice. Not too bad. And then there's the uh, the other log trailer. So, yeah, the last the last three updates, so season 11, 10, and 9, uh, I woke up, well, actually, going all the way back to season 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I woke up early for. Uh, but this one, I didn't. <coughs> So, five, six, seven, or no, five, six, seven, 
8, I was waking up trying to find out what time these updates went live. I woke up earlier and earlier, you know, for each of those four. And then finally I got it on 9. I nailed it. Like, I woke up, went to my computer at 5.30 in the morning, and the update had just started. It was like 10 seconds in. So I was like, all right, 5.30 it is. So I woke up again at 5.30 for season 10 and 11, and that's exactly when they were updating. So 5.30 central time is the time for uh, the updates. Uh, but I have to, like I said, I go to sleep at like 3 in the morning. So I had to stay up really late uh, just to, to be able to wake up on time. So I had to stay up the, the night before, if that makes sense. So... Um, yeah, I, this, this time around I didn't stay up really late uh, the previous night, so I just woke up at my normal time. Well, not normal, I did wake up a little bit earlier. Normally I'm up at like 11, but today I started streaming about 11. Let's see, we've been going for an hour and a half. Yeah, 11.15. So I woke up at like 9.30 and did some adulting things, you know. Fed the dogs, ate some food, took a shower, all that good stuff. Are you enjoying the phase so far? Yeah, it's been pretty good. I feel like... I feel like it's been kind of boring to watch, though, because... I mean... The first... I don't know, 20 minutes, all we did was pull the fem back, and then the next hour now, we, we went and got an upgrade, and then... Now we're pulling a generator with the Tuz. Like, we've been driving this Tuz for like an hour in a row. But... I think once we get this Tuz up to the road up here... Uh, we should be good. We can attach it to our tr our FEM trailer, tow that. We can get the 770G trailer, we can go get our metal beams, so then we can really start moving once we get this trailer up there. So we're almost there, but yeah, it's been fun. I, I just feel like it wouldn't be fun to watch. <laughs> oh no, we got the 15 and 6 combo meal. Alright, flip back, flip back over. Dang it. All right, well, here's a little shortcut for you guys. When you get into this swampy area, there's a little trail here. Although, pulling a generator on its side probably isn't the quickest way up this trail, but... Oh, come on. You're really gonna do me like that? So yeah, it'll, it'll dodge you uh, some of this crap. Oh, there's a rock right in front of it too, nice. You can kind of follow it all the way around. Actually, maybe it'll fall off here. Let's see. Let's hope. And yes, sir. We got... Oh, no, too far. Oh. Dang it. Oh, flip back over, maybe. Maybe. All right, I'm going to flip back over here. In just a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, you darn trailer. Oh, there we go. We got it. Hello, JJ. Welcome back, Bryce. Um, I lost a tire today on my MH9500. Uh, I have some someone bringing me a tire, so I'm not working today. Oh, you got the day off because you had some, uh, some issues, huh? I mean, that's kind of nice, but... To be honest, it's probably more of a bummer than it is nice. You know what I mean? Like, sure, it's a good day for it because season 12 came out and you can kind of get to watch, but it's never, never fun when you got something like that going on. Um, I've rewinded the video and I'm still confused because you were on the map, on the global map, but basically teleported to the garage without loading screen. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know which, I was on, I was on Flatlands, and then I recovered the Tuz into the Flatlands garage, and then I switched, I, I retained the vehicle, and then I switched garages to the different map, so maybe, 
some I don't know exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's throw the rest of the fuel in here. Uh, 30 to the fem. It's fine, forget about it. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know... what exactly I did either. But that would be my guess. Still too far. There we go. Um, that's funny, I'm using the same scout right now. Yeah, it's the best scout. It's the way to go. Skip the time. Well, I have now a big problem. I got all my big trucks flipped. Oh my goodness, Saki, how did you do that? How on earth? And I probably should start tracking the, the contract that I'm actually doing, huh? Because right now I have nothing tracking. It's kind of funny. But yeah, off to the right here is a crafting zone. This is a cabin crafting zone. And uh, there's the Cat 770G trailer. We're going to have to grab that in about half an hour probably. We need some metal beams for Jumbo Bridge, and then we gotta bring that trailer and some other stuff. Uh, we're gonna stop this part of the way there, this truck, just because we're gonna get to... Actually, you know what? Let's try and go around it. There's a rock blockage. Looking at your stream... Oh, I'm sorry, Saki. I'm always doing that, but I'm looking at your guys' chats, so maybe that's revenge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is a bummer, Saki. I hope you can get them all flipped back over. Maybe you can pull up behind a tree or something, get a little leverage. Are you playing on hard mode, Saki? You must be, otherwise you could just recover them, right? But yeah, I think we'll try and go around the rock blockage, and that way we can save one of the metal beams. We don't... I don't remember if there's a limited number uh, at the Metal Beams place on the second map, the warehouse there. I suppose we could bring him up from the fourth, fourth map, though. That would work. Yeah, let's actually let's do that. That'd probably work better. So I can probably use the metal beam from this map, from, or from the second map to clear the rock blockage and then use metal beams from the fourth map to fix the tunnel. That would make sense, or fix the uh, bridge, that would make sense. No, but uh, in my map doesn't have a garage unlocked yet. Oh, which map are you on, Saki? Orvo Hills is the only one that doesn't have a garage, but if you don't... If you don't have the uh, other two garages yet, yeah, that would not be fun. You'd be recovering all the way back to the first map. I think we'll probably just use this fem like the entire time. How much money do I even have on here? Does anybody know? I feel like I don't have very much, but I always... Like, no matter how much money I get on this, I just spend it. Like, I might have, like, three 605Rs and then four Mastodons and six Kenworths. Like, I just keep buying more and more of the same vehicles. Oh, reactive zone. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that's... Garages are usually the first thing that I like to try and get. Um, maybe not first, but like, if you're driving into the map, you really want to get those, because if you do happen to do exactly what you did, where you flip over, at least you're not too far away. It's still a bummer, but 
you know. Um, what truck do you guys think we should use? Carry the rock or the not rock trailer, the uh, Cat 770G on a trailer. It's got to be a low saddle, but I want something strong. Maybe the Mastodon again. Mastodon's probably the strongest truck with the low saddle. Oh, and if anybody's wondering, the rock grinder is. Up there somewhere, up the hills to our right. Dairy? The dairy? What, the 4520 or Longhorn long 3194? Yeah, you always try to unlock it. Alright, I'm gonna stop quickly because we're gonna throw some fuel in our truck. Let's go to the garage. I mean, we can use whatever, any truck. At least you have the Tuz to get the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer on its wheels. Yeah, that's good. Tuz is definitely one of the better scouts to help you out with that if you got all... Oh my god, I think we just went flying. 4520? throw all that in there. Actually, let me just do this quick. Um, I'm just going to switch trucks, unpack, and I'm going to quickly take these out. Actually, I'm going to detach the trailer as well. Because I want to put that roof rack on, and if I don't do it now, the truck's going to be really far away. And it's going to be... Uh, more annoying to try and do. So we'll just do it now. We're right next to the garage. Oops. Bro, you did it again. Well, yeah, you, like I said, you you push the button to open the map and you push global map and then X to move to garage. See in the bottom right corner it says move to garage. I'm moving to the garage on the same map, so there shouldn't be a loading screen. Oops, why did I do that? Alright, let's recover. Customize uh, rooftop. Wait. Did they? They must have put it in this. Oh, there it is. Actually, that's where it was before. I'm just an idiot. Now I remember. You mean the garage thing? Yeah. Let's see if we can get through here. Basically, you open up the map, you push X, and X again, and it'll go, go to the, the garage. So you can open it up and, and go to the garage in like two seconds. It's just basically a faster way to get to the garage. That's really all it is. Um, the best part is I got a Cat 745C. Flipped and the Kenny 9632. Wow, those are some big trucks. Like, those are going to be hard to, to get flipped back over. I found another local guy that has a 9500. See if he wants to sell it so I can have two. That's funny.
So we're gonna stop it uh, at the rock blockage. We're gonna go to the other map, grab another truck, grab some metal beams, bring those back, and then we're gonna go to the fourth map, grab more metal beams. Whoop. Wait, so there won't be a loading screen as long as you're moving to the garage on the same map you're on? Yeah, as long as you're on the same map, you don't have a loading screen. Yeah, Saki, Saki, there's nothing to load. If you're on the same map, there's nothing to load. If you're going to a different map, that's when you'll have a loading screen. Like, if I went from this map to the garage on the second map or the fourth map, then we would have a loading screen. But since we're on the same map, it's not, it, there's nothing to load. Nice, I got, I just got it started. Start to stutter there. All right, so we're coming up here to a warehouse. You guys can see it right off in front of us, right off the top of the truck there. Uh, this warehouse has cement and some slabs and other things. Thanks for teaching me anything, you're welcome. Uh, we do need this for the uh, bridging the gap mission. This region is B E A U T F U L, says Lessons. Like I said, I'm happy to just leave my truck at a good job site with honest people so they don't steal my tools. Right? Just started scouting. Nice lessons. Enjoy. Are you uh, are you on the first map or are you gonna go right for the fem? How many missions are there on this phase, please, JJ? Um, it was 107. Wait. No, 108. No, 107. 107. Final guess. Alright, ready? Let's see. 108. Oh no. The mic is cutting out. Yes, sir. Just leaving the garage. Very nice. All right. So here's the rock blockage that we got to clear. There is a road that goes right up here and then right back down. But let's go back to a reactive zone. So this time we have a loading screen because we're changing maps. Bro, I can't believe I give you tips and you're like, oh yeah, I know that. And you give me tips and I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much money do we have? 391. We can buy another one. Let's do that. Um, heavy. Where is the fem? Did I pass it already? It's not available in North America. Ah, come on. You're really going to make me load into a new region just for that? Fine. I'll go to Glades, or, yeah, Glades Quick and buy another Fem. Jeez. So we're going to grab some metal beams. Oops, not trucks. There we go. And let's get out of here. Reactive zone. What do you drive IRL? Uh, I have a Ford Fusion. That's what I drive. So nothing special. Okay, let's customize this. 30 grand, oops. Let me sell these quick. We'll go through here real quick, guys. Just maxing it out, basically. And then for frame add-ons, let's do... Maybe we'll do a crane in a three slot, just to have it a little bit different. And we'll change the color. We'll do the green. Yeah, this one looks alright. Uh, Snowrunner log logics are a bit annoying. Yeah, it, yeah, having to jump back to that map just to buy a new one. I don't know. I don't really understand why they put, like, 
the wrong truck in the wrong region. You know, because if you want to buy a new one, you had to jump to a different region just to buy it. Like, meh. Reliable car to have? Yeah, it's been pretty good for me. It's uh, 2010, so it's getting pretty old now. Uh, by the way, how do you load into maps very quickly? Because when I play on my map, my friends, or my friends, uh, I take more than a minute. You do less than 20 seconds. Um, I, I have a pretty strong PC, that's why. I don't know if you're playing on PC or Xbox or PlayStation, but... Um, yeah, my, my computer's pretty strong, so... If you guys know anything about computers, some of you guys will probably know, but... Um, yeah, I have, I have 64 gigs of GDDR4 RAM, so a lot of RAM. You know, my old computer, uh, which is decent, had 16. Oh, wait, I don't need fuel this time, I need the metal beams. Um, and then we have a 16 core Ryzen 9 5950X for CPU, and I have a RTX 3090 for my GPU, so... Um, overall, just the, the main components are like very, uh, very good. Let's see, I won't use the new truck until the modder version. I don't like the articulation. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair, Smoke. It, I mean, when it first came out on PTS, man, this thing was awful. I was telling everybody all stream how bad it was. They've at least fixed it, so it's a little better, but I got used to it. Alright, we need metal beams. Okay, let's see here quickly. How many do we need? We need um, jumbo bridge. Oh, that's just fuel on a generator. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we need bridging the gap. Oh, we need all three of them. Okay. And then four cement. Okay, I thought it was two, but I guess it's a good thing we threw the, uh, threw the crane on here. No flickering? Um, so he says he does use mods, but don't use it as much. Yeah, the mods probably do add some time. I didn't really think about that, but makes sense. I think we'll just try to do, uh, two here. No flickering. Even if you turn the mods off, you can't load any quicker. What are you? What system are you on? Right, let's grab that. When was medium plank a thing? Uh, season six, medium planks became a, a thing. Medium and long planks. So main. Ah, oh, it's all the way around. I hate that. There we go. All right. What system? What do you mean? I mean, do you play on a computer? Do you play on Switch? Do you play on Xbox? For PlayStation Series X or S, <coughs> excuse me. Well, PS4, PS5, or even Xbox One, I guess. Yeah, are you PC or console? Is that the best truck in the game now? It says Bloody Wolf. Um, I think it's arguably the best truck. It's just so strong. But... I don't know, it's... it's it, the add-ons aren't super great. It does have a good amount, but other trucks have more. So if you're looking for versatility, you're not quite going to get it as much with this truck. 
Um, it has a water tank, fuel tank, uh, well, fire tank, I guess. Fire tank, fuel tank. You got a three slot um, flatbed. You got a three slot sideboard bed. You got the small crane, which we have. You have the LK2NY, which is the large uh, new crane that came in season 10. And then you also have a uh, roof rack and a saddle high. I think that might be it for the add-ons. It doesn't have any, any logging add-ons. Oh wait, no, it, it does have a maintenance add-on as well. The large maintenance add-on, which is kind of cool. It's uh, one of only four trucks that has that, so that's cool. But I... I wouldn't give it the crown, but I would say it's extremely, extremely powerful. Very good truck. Uh, we were able to take this truck with four metal beams. So we had two on the truck and two on a trailer and pull it up the steepest hill in season 10. That big snow, uh, or not snow, but the big ski slopes. We were able to haul four metal beams up that hill with a trailer, the, dolly, the red dolly trailer behind us. So that is extremely impressive. You just finished the jump bridge and I delivered the generator and the bridge is now broken. What? Ooh, oh my god. We got the we got a triple 15 and 6 combo there, guys. That's the best combo I've ever had. Well that's a bummer spoon. I don't know why it would why would it be broken? You mean the generator is broken? Like the Well the at the bridge. He is now broken. So you're talking about the generator, right? The generator is broken. That makes sense. That the generator is supposed to disappear. That's just the game being weird. If that's if that's what you mean. If the bridge is working, then you're good. But if the generator is not working, you're also good because that's how it's supposed to. The generator is supposed to disappear, actually. But if it's not working, that's just uh, the devs didn't quite get it exactly how they wanted. So. JJ the Stacking King. Uh, Redneck, you play on PC? Okay. The generator's now broken. Yeah, you're good then, Spoon. The generator's... It's not supposed to work after that. It's just for the contract. It's supposed to disappear when you bring it there, but apparently it doesn't. So... It's a good thing you told me that, so now I can push it more off to the side, so when I get there... Hopefully it's not in my way. Because last time I brought it there, I brought it right in the middle, and then it was just, like, right in the middle of the way. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Alright. Three metal beams, and we're on our way. So next up, we gotta go get the Cat 770G trailer. And then we gotta go get four cement. On PTS, I used the generator for the bridge, and... I used it for the metal factory. Really? It worked for you? For mine, it froze there on BTS as well. That might be the reason why it takes so long. Sorry, I didn't... Uh... Yeah, I think the consoles... I mean, you get a good... I was saying this yesterday. You get a good, good amount of uh, bang for your buck with consoles. They're definitely a good way to go if you, if you want to maximize your money, right? But... Uh, they are a little bit slower, well, they can be slower than most PCs, because obviously with a PC you can upgrade it as much as you want, but... Um, yeah, you could have a, a weaker PC or a stronger PC than the Xbox, but most of them I would guess would probably be stronger, just because you're probably paying more for it. You thought the metal beams were going to be knocked off the truck? Huh. Joke's on you. Metal beams can clip through trees. Well, actually, all cargo can. All cargo can clip through trees. So, let's see here. I'll show you, try and show you here on a different tree if I can. But they're getting really far off to the, to the left side, so we'll have to readjust here, I'm sure. But if I can get close to a tree on the left, I might be able to... Here we go, this one should work up here. 
We should be able to go right through this tree. There you go. Got a two for one, double tree. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about cargo clipping through trees. Although it'll it'll hit all of this other stuff. Anything else like these? It will hit. It'll hit these. Don't hit those. Oh no, we're losing it. It's still there though. Although this is probably uh. I was gonna say this is probably a good place to readjust anyways, so we'll do that. The plane body was a pain packed hit everything yeah if it's packed if it's not packed the plane body can go through the trees too you're exactly right snake that was how I did it I basically didn't pack the plane because I did not want to have to hit all the trees so I guess uh, yeah it's a pro tip if you're gonna be within a lot of trees just don't pack you know what I'm just gonna leave that for now I think this one doesn't really want to turn very well. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's clamp. Sorry about the view there, guys. Clamp back down. And let's skip some time here. So this will... These things, like anything that's not trees, they'll hit. So you don't want to hit any of this crap. This will no all knock them off. So sometimes I'll... I mean, this this is going to sound really stupid, but sometimes I'll go through a heavily wooded area that's, like, all tippy because I know my truck will tip and it'll hit those trees and it'll kind of hold me upright. But the cargo won't get hit at all. The cargo will stay on there just fine. So you can kind of use the trees to hold you upright and then not lose your cargo. Whereas if you were just in the open area, you know, you're dodging the trees so your cargo doesn't fall off, well, then you might tip over because there's nothing to hold you up as well, so... Kind of a little cheat that I use sometimes. If it's in a really bad spot, I might just use the trees to kind of balance my truck a little bit. And not worry about the cargo because they can go right through it. So, another tip you gave me. Thanks, JJ. You're welcome. I like to ram my trucks in SnowRunner when I don't need them into something and... What is that? Ab. Oh, obviously. I was like, what? So you just ram them into something like, alright, I'm done with this truck now. Let me hit this tree. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh my goodness. That's a rip. Let's go get the Zix. I can't believe I just did that. Literally looking over at chat. I was driving up that hill too and I was like, I probably shouldn't go this far over. Oh wait, you know what? Hang on. We left the tu- oh no, it's empty though. Right? The tus is completely empty. Zero fuel. Oh, right at the gateway too. They're both at the gateway. You gotta be kidding me. Every time I'm going over the load, I use the Paystar 5600TS to load six metal beams. That's a lot, G-Wolf. Um... You can really roleplay on some of these trails. Yeah, that, yeah, that you sure could. Yeah. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my goodness. Sending trucks off a cliff is fun. Oh, we got the 15 and 6 combo again. Well, you should try it if you haven't already. 
You got the Femme and you're really disappointed with it? That's fair. I was pretty disappointed at the start as well. The articulation is really annoying. But, I mean, once you get used to it, it's a really good truck, it's just... It's kind of annoying at the same time. Especially when you take into consideration the length of the truck. Like, the truck is so long. Like, when you, when you do the articulation, you know, like... So... Like, say, for example, you have a, a saddle high truck. Or a saddle high trailer on there. That thing is like 30 yards behind you, you know? It's forever behind you. I see YouTubers that load 9. I mean, I overload too much sometimes, yeah. 9 is uh, quite excessive. I know there's a there's a guy who's uh, who's in my Discord and he often does that. He'll do like seven, eight, nine. I think uh, just the other day he posted one with 10 metal beams that he was doing in Wisconsin. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. I think I did six, six or seven, I don't know. Maybe it was eight, I don't know. But I flipped over right away and then I, I took some off. I made it into two trucks and did like five and three or something. But yeah, that guy overloads all the time. He, like, there's a couple of videos on my Discord of him, excuse me. Like, one of them was him with the 5600TS climbing up the, the snowy hill in Yukon on the bottom right corner on the first map. And he had, like, he had to have, like, 10 metal beams, four wood, or, uh, four concrete blocks, and, like, two slabs or something crazy. He had, like, just a crazy amount of cargo. It's probably like 35 cargo on his truck. I was like, my goodness. I usually don't excessively overload. I overload, but usually not excessive. Oh crap, I forgot that was there. I'd say mine's like, you know, fairly decent. Most of the time it's just what I need for that that specific contractor task. I don't normally go like, you know, 20, 20 metal beams just because I know I need a bunch or something. 35 cargo on one truck, yeah. I'm just guessing, it was like, I think I counted nine metal beams and at least four uh, concrete blocks. And then I think he had some small pipes on there as well. I'd have to go look at it again, but it was crazy. Because just the, what is it, nine? Nine metal beams would be like 18. Maybe maybe I'm high, maybe it's like 30. But 18, that would be 22. I think he had 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, I think he had about 30. I think he had about two small pipes, four concrete blocks, two concrete slabs, and nine metal beams. Something like that. I'm like, in like, you're watching it like most of the time I think when people do that they don't really get very far you know because stuff just falls over but for him he managed to make it all the way to the plant which is crazy and like you didn't see the you didn't see him make it all the way to the plant but he showed like a good one minute video of him and he was already almost there the time you take to overload 10 or 12 cargo you're wasting so much time um, oops, hit some there. You have to make two trips the time you are loading. Yeah, I would, I would sort of agree with that, Spoon. It depends on how far of a drive. If it's a really long drive, I mean, the more you could put on there, the more time you're going to save. But yeah, if you could just auto load and take off, like you're going to save a little bit of time. But when you go, when you get crazy excessive overloads, you have to load it better, you know? If you're just hauling one extra slot or two extra slots, like you can just clamp down on it and not worry about it. But if you're, if you're loading like 10 metal beams, 
like you, you gotta you gotta play Tetris with those things, you know. You gotta stack them upright and put stuff on top of them to hold them together, and like it's kind of an art to it. So it definitely takes more time to load them up the way that you're talking about to make it work to drive all the way there. But I do think in the end you're saving time if you can get it there. But yeah, it's. It's sort of dependent on if it falls off a bunch, or maybe even falls off once. Might Just once might even make it not worth it, but... I don't know, the way I see it is even if it falls off, you got there closer, so... You get better traction when you're overloaded. Yeah, a lot more weight. Okay, let's pull this back. Turn back up here now. Actually, let's straighten out this first one. Oh wait, we gotta pack first. Okay. Gabriel, you changed your picture again. You gonna go though? Sounds good, Gabriel. Sorry? Oh, no worries. I mean, not everybody's got all day, right? Finally, I got all my big trucks on their wheels. Nice job, Saki. There's no CHP in SnowRunner. Overload that truck. Yeah, no Department of Transportation or whatever coming after you, right? No violations. Actually... Oh, that road sign's right in the way. Alright, let's pull this one. Back there. Grab this one. There we go. Give it a turn. And drop it down. There we go. All right, I think I'm actually going to grab this Zix as well. Simply just to go through the gateway and have one loading screen, but we're going to throw fuel into the Tuz on the other side over here. I don't know if I'll need it or not, but I figure why not. It's only going to take me an extra 10 seconds, so probably worth my time. There we go. Um, JJ, do you speak any other languages? No. I mean, I know a couple of words here and there of other other languages but definitely don't speak anything like at all <laughs> I wish I did but I don't do you speak any other languages Artem? Gate field attaching, roof rack, roof rack, and Zix. English and bad English. That's funny. Nope, nothing else for me, just English. Uh, my parents both only know English. My one sister can speak Spanish, but uh, yeah, the rest of my family is all 
just English. She took a few years of Spanish classes in school and then worked with a bunch of Spanish people, or Spanish-speaking people, I should say. I think most of them were, like, Mexican or Guatemalan or, like, South American, Peruvian. A lot of Spanish, so... Uh, you speak Russian and Ukrainian too? Yes, I do. If you remember the time when I wrote something in Russian... I remember, but I also forget because... <laughs> I forgot who, who, who said it, you know? Like, I remember somebody said something in Russian, but I didn't know it was you. Sometimes I forget who says what, so that's one of those times. You think the Zix 612H is the best truck for you? Yeah, I think, uh, oh gosh. Almost tipped it over again. I think the King battle is becoming more and more, uh, like, close, I guess, if that's the, the word to use. You know, for a long time, it was just the 605R. That was the only truck, right? And then the Mastodon came in Season 9, at the end of Season 9. And some people were like, oh, the Mastodon has overtaken it. And then there was kind of a debate between two trucks. And uh, then the Kenworth came in Season 10. And I think a lot of people would say that the Kenworth is. It's, uh, it's got a lot of add-ons and it's really versatile. Or I guess that's the same thing. But um, yeah, so some might say the Kenworth. And then now I think some people might even say this one, the Femme, which is based off, uh, I think, a Yamal something or other, some Russian truck. Um, I know Marhaba, which is hello in Arabic to Wild Fox. Uh, I know Hallo, it's like German hello. I speak Finn, native, English, Swedish, and a little Spanish. Very nice, Saki. Hello, everyone from Wild Fox. Uh, I could speak country folk. You speak some redneck. <laughs> I mean, your name's Redneck Panda. You speak some, some South Hillbilly redneck stuff. Oof. The off-road portions here are really really bad uh, wait I didn't fuel up my truck are you kidding me I swear I fueled up I must have taken it out of the truck didn't I I see you all talk about language yeah we're talking about languages right now I usually prefer Russian trucks with their IRL name because it's easier to remember yeah it would be nice if they were all uh, named you know what they what they actually are, you mall, but at the same time, I mean, I know Grand Theft Auto is like the the easiest one to say, right? Like, oh, they have a, a cheetah and an Infernus and like certain vehicles that they've never used name brands, but everybody knows kind of what most of them are. I speak English and Arabic and understand some Spanish. Nice. You're using the new Femme 37AT on your Season 12 plays. You're a nice job, Brandon. How's that going for you? Let's bring the time back a little bit. So we're we're still working on getting the bridge up and going here. We got to clear one roadblock. I used to speak spent French, Spanish, <laughs> French and Italian, but don't practice, you forget it all. Oh, that's a bummer.
All right, we're getting close to the garage, but we're also getting close to running out of fuel. So we're gonna have to fuel up here. We have the Zik still sitting out here. Finally got the second map garage unlocked, very nice. Oh, and the fam, also very nice. How do you open the bridge to the island in Pipeline Bay? Um, you have to complete the Jumbo Bridge, which for that you need four fuel and a generator. The fuel is on the second map, and the generator is in the bottom right corner. Yeah, it's called Jumbo Bridge. Uh, there we go. J U M B O B R I D G E. Jumbo Bridge. Season 4 pass is available now. I love the, th the Fem 37AT. It's doing great. That's good. I kind of messed up. I deleted the metal beams because I didn't want to drive uh, back with the Fem, so that was a mistake. Because I need one more metal beam. <laughs> well, I guess I don't need it, but we're going to want to clear this as soon as possible up here, but I think for now I'm going to go around it. Yeah, you're welcome, Artem. You're welcome. Wild Fox, it's already been like two hours out already. Does anybody in here own the Year 4 Pass? Anybody bought it yet? I think Saki was the one saying that it had a ANK MK38 civilian uh, um, paint job or skin. Wild Fox says, yeah, I know. I just didn't know if anybody else didn't know. Yeah, I'm sure there is some people who didn't know Wild Fox. People are coming and going in here all day, so I'm sure there's going to be some people who did not know that. So good news. Thank you for that, Wild Fox. You did? Alright, let me turn a little bit. Oh no. There we go. These metal beams are being a pain, aren't they, though? Oh no. Come on. It's because we're on a little bit of a hill, so it doesn't want to quite... It wants to roll a little bit more than normal. Okay, we'll try this. I have two of them, one PC and second PS5. Wait, what? Oh, you bought two year f year four passes? Is that what you're saying? Wild Fox, you did buy it? That's good. What cargo would you like to see in SnowRunner? I've said this before and I don't think it'll happen, but I think loose cargo would be fun. So sort of like a construction simulator or something where, you know, you could pick up dirt and like your truck is like full of dirt, like you can pour it out and stuff. I think if you had loose cargo it would be pretty cool. It'd be weird for some certain things like the logs, like if you had loose cargo of logs, like you know, you have normally three logs is like a full trailer of logs, so if you had like 30 logs, you'd have like 10 trailers, but I don't know. Is 
So this was my mistake, guys. I should have kept that one metal beam that I accidentally deleted. So now we gotta go up the hill here, if possible. We gotta go the hard way around. I was gonna wait here and... Uh, what am I gonna say? I was gonna wait here, fix it from the other side, but I forgot I can't do that because I don't have the other bridge fixed yet either. So I kind of really screwed myself with that. There are four trucks that has paints for your four pass. Would you mind telling me what they are, Brandon? I asked earlier and did not get a reply. So the only one that I know is the ANK MK38. Would you mind telling me what other trucks they have that has it? Military cargo stuff would be good. Knowing is half the battle, yeah. Dude, this seems like a, a, a rollover waiting to happen right here. Go, J. Joe! <laughs> Military cargo, yeah, if you could transport like some tanks or even even some military vehicles like some Humvees or something like that would be cool. Maybe some military helicopters. Like it doesn't have to be much, but it would be that would be some really cool cargo. Especially you could use like the dairy longhorn trucks, you know, some some stuff that are actually military. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh Saki, I think you might have said that earlier. I think I did see that. You had, let me know, did you answer me earlier and I just missed it? I think I saw that comment now that, I, now that you posted it again. Um, trucks that got skins, the Twin Steer, Western Star 6900, the Paystar 5070, the Cat CT681, and the ANK Civilian. So, the Paystar, the Twin Steer, and the Cat are all base game, or wait, CT681 or is it CT680? The 681 was a DLC truck. Only the civilian. The civilian came in season 6, but it came for everybody. So you don't need to own season 6 to get that truck. So that one, understandable. Yeah, you said it earlier. I, I thought so. As soon as you said it the second time, I was like, oh, wait, I think I read that. So thank you, Saki. Um, what else do we got? But it's free. Yep, that's the other one. I was going to say that. So you can get the CT681 as a DLC truck as well, but it is free. It's one of the two free trucks you can get. The uh, International HX520 being the other one. Cat CT681 is free. Yep. Thank you, Brandon. The ANK MK38, International Base Star 5070, Caterpillar CT681 and a Western Star 1600 Twin Steer. Which skin do you guys think is the coolest of the group? Which skin did you guys like the best? Anybody? I want to know which one which one looks the coolest. You guys got to let me know. Actually, if I don't own it, does it show up in the shop? Like, it should be in the shop, right? Uh, content library. Here we go. Year four pass. So you can see the cat there, the CT681. Can't really tell what's on there. The one to the left of that is... So the twin steer is on the far right. You got the cat. A and K looks like it's the far left. Oh no, it's the, it's the third one. And then the pay star is on the end. Okay. Oh, actually you can kind of see him down here in the bottom. That's pretty cool.
Alright, free trailer here for anybody who doesn't have it. Oh no. Sixty nine hundred is the best. Brandon, Wild Fox, what are you guys' thoughts? Alright, so these three metal beams we need for with this one, bridging the gap. And bridging the gap is something we need to complete to get the fairies fixed, so that is why we're doing this one. Let's do this. Actually, we might be able to pack that right away. I don't think so. Yeah, impossible. Okay. I never use the skin. They are so unrealistic and ugly. Yeah, I think there's some of them that are, but uh, other ones are good. They're, all, they're kind of fun to mess around with right away anyways. Uh, let's pack. Really? Impossible to pack? Are you kidding? Oh, because it was that one was in the way for some reason? <coughs> hey, there's two. Oh, Brandon, you think the Western Star as well, huh? So the Western Star has got the, the best looking skin. Hello. Uh, I don't know how you say your name. V X I C E S, Vixies. I don't know. I probably probably said it wrong. Sorry. I'm very bad with the uh, pronunciation of names, so forgive me. I'm not trying to <laughs> offend you or butcher your name. Okay. Now we've got one down. Do you guys think I can go up and over this? I did it with, uh... I did it with the Kenworth before. I don't know if it's a good idea with this one or not, but maybe we can find out. Oh, seems to be climbing pretty good, actually. This tree was not here before because I remember struggling so hard to having no attachment points on the left, so... I'm guessing that was something that somebody must have said. Darn. Oh, nice. I mean, we're not out of it yet, but hey, look at that. You can actually climb over that one pretty easily. Awesome. What truck is this? This is the new Season 12 truck. This is called the FEMM 37-AT. Uh, the Azov Antarctica, I find it easy to reverse and attach trailers. I don't really like the Antarctic, it's... I don't dislike it, but it's not, it's not a truck that I usually would pick. It's a little bit on the flippy side for me. I think it's part of it's the articulation, sort of like this truck. It, it can be a little flippy if you're turning on a hill. Yeah, this thing is uh, quite the monster through the mud. I mean, before I was loaded down with, uh, what was it, eight metal beams and a generator trailer, and I was pulling the Azov 73210 with a Cat 770 trailer. And it was pulling it just fine. I was like, oh my god, that thing's a monster. This thing on flat ground is a beast. JJ, what was the first truck you liked in SnowRunner? The Fleet Star. Has to be the Fleet Star. I mean, you get that right away and it's got all-wheel drive, like... When you're just starting out in the game and you have nothing, but you can get all-wheel drive in the Fleet Star, that's a huge, huge boost. So probably the Fleet Star was my first, like, favorite truck. And then it went to the White Western Star when I got that. P16 and Twin Steer were helpful, but I wouldn't say that I switched my favorite truck. It probably stayed as the White Western Star. The ANK was kind of nice, but it didn't have a crane, so I never really switched 
to liking that one the most. I like the dairy, but I don't use it as much as I should. Um, and Cat, Cat 745C is a really nice truck as well. I don't think that ever became my favorite just because of the, uh, the add-ons. It's very limited. And then the Taiga's pretty good, 6436. That, I wouldn't say it... Yeah, I guess it probably did. I was going to say I wouldn't say it ever became my favorite, but yeah, it probably did way back when. Because once I unlocked it, I used it a ton. So yeah, probably the Taiga after that. And then I didn't play... I did play Season 1 a little bit, and I didn't play until Season 5 came out, so... Or, excuse me, Season 4. Hello, Luke. Oh, I have it in low plus. That's why I was like, why am I not backing up? Alright, I guess we're turning this trailer around, huh? And don't forget the Taiga got nerfed. It was a beast in the beginning. I didn't use it in the beginning, so I guess I wouldn't wouldn't know that. Uh oh, how's it going? Um, so far so good, Luke. We uh, got some of the stuff delivered to that bridge. Obviously, we got the Fem truck here. Can't be going too bad, right? Um. Yeah, we got all four garages unlocked. We got all the upgrades that we wanted for the FEM. So basically the top engine and the diff lock, we just ran straight for those. We're about to fix the jumbo bridge, which is just off to our side right there. We'll probably grab some fuel. We'll go back and grab some cement. Then we'll fix that other bridge over there. We still need the CAT 770G trailer, but not too much to worry. Okay, let's grab fuel. Roof rack's full. We're good to go. So, yeah, as you guys can see, the lift bridge is actually, like, lifted. It's up right now. Once we deliver this, this should bring it down so we can actually cross. So this is exactly what we want to see. Oops. So... I've heard that this generator freezes from Mr. Spoon. So I'm going to try to get it a little bit more out of the way. Okay, let's track it now. Oops, not bridging the gap. We need Jumbo Bridge. Okay, let's detach the trailer. Yeah, that should be good. Oops. You love the Navistar with the high range? <laughs> yeah, that thing is so powerful. Although it's, uh, it consumes an absolute boatload of fuel. I should have thought about this a little bit better. I didn't know it was a, uh, a stage mission. All right, so let's push this back into the corner over here. Get it out of the way as much as we can. There we go. Now let's deliver this. And bridge is fixed, guys. So, let's see. Refuel. Yes, we can take fuel, but I think this trailer's frozen here, right? Yeah, can't 
can't do anything with the trailer anymore. It's it's just frozen. Yep, won't move. Okay, good. Good to know. So I got it as far back as I can. It's as much out of the way as possible. Alright, let's just park this here for now. Let's go to the other femme here. We gotta go back and get four cement. Oh, you can still move it, but it's broken. Can't use it again. Yeah, you can't use it, but you can take the fuel from it. At least on PTS you could. You can refuel the roof racks at the or from the gas station? Yeah, you can. Yep. I think the Voron trucks are great too, especially the Voron D. Voron D 53233, that is. Yeah, the Voron are good trucks. Actually, I probably should go get fuel. It's just down the road here. Yours still moves? Okay. I mean, maybe it does. Mine doesn't... I tried to move it. It didn't look like it did. But it, it doesn't matter. Move or not, it doesn't work, right? So... Yeah, we'll grab fuel, then we'll go get some cement, then we'll go get the 770G trailer. And then we'll work on the ferry. You didn't see that option when you played? We got the 15 and 6 combo again. Nice. trying to think what you need to do for the ferry. I remember you get four cargo containers for one of the things. But what was the other one? Oh wait. I think I'm... I think they might have metal beams. One metal beam over in this place. I think so. If I remember right, you can craft metal beams from this place, but they also have, um, they have like one or two or maybe, maybe three or something, uh, metal beams that you can just get without crafting. So I think we can go back over here and grab some metal beams to clear that rock slide. Another 15 and 6 combo. And if you guys don't know why I say that, it's just because that's the most common combination that we get when we take damage. It's 15 and 6 most of the time. So it's just annoying. It's like, why do I take this random damage and why is it always the same stupid numbers? <laughs> but yeah, there is a, uh, a crafting place back over here for metal beams. They do have some, I think, metal rolls or something? Can't remember. But like, you have to bring some stuff up to a solar solar thing up over here to the right somewhere. Maybe a solar array, I don't remember what they're called exactly. But yeah, you'll turn off this road, go up there. But yeah, I never really played with the Voron trucks um, when I first played it. So, I mean, now that I've played it a lot more, obviously I've played with them much more, but when I first played the game, I didn't play with the Voron, so I didn't know how good those trucks were, but those are good trucks. So the crafting area is over there. This is just the first warehouse, which I think we have metal beams. Yes, we do. Nice. Okay. I think we only need one. There's a bunch of different stuff here. Let's just take one and go. Actually, let's just check the task. We should have Rebel Trouble. Just one. Okay. That was all I really wanted was the one little beam. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab two. I don't know if I need to. I think there might be a rubble trouble number two up the hill. I don't know if that needs a metal beam or not, but if it does, we'll just use this.
Not enough space in the truck. Okay, I guess we'll throw it out then. Here we go. Hopefully you guys are getting a good look at the face anyway, if you have it and are playing it, or if you don't have it and are on the fence. Um, actually that goes right with this question. What would you say this DLC is good by, or would you recommend another one over this? Um, don't hit it, please. Okay, good. I mean, I think this is a DLC that many people would like. I personally would like to see harder regions. Uh, Amir 2.0 or version 2, I think would be fun. But I think most people wouldn't like that. I think this is more right up people's alleys. More casual players would like this. Not too hard, but it's not too easy either. It's got a, a pretty good amount of uh, mud and rocks and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have a crazy amount of blockages, but I don't know. It, it like the ones that it does have are pretty big ones, I would say, for the most part. Like this jumbo bridge, which is blocking you from going to that island, is a pretty big blockage. Um, the other one is needed for the ferry. So another, it's not the the blockage itself isn't super useful, but. Being able to unlock the ferry is. Oh, oh no. Almost bad. Hello, Smitty. Welcome to the stream. I believe uh, first time seeing you here. How's it going, Smitty? You live in North Carolina, so naturally this will be a hit for me. Yeah, also does uh, Brandon here. Brandon, a few, few uh, messages up. He lives in North Carolina as well. Uh, Voron AE is the strongest. I use it in Amir. Uh, a lot of not wide, good shortcuts and fast. Yeah, the, the Voron trucks are super useful. I can't wait to play Season 11 on my hard mode because the way I have the rules set up is we can only use what we find, so that'll be the first Voron truck we get. Alright, I think we are good on this now. Um, hey JJ, uh, I'm coming home to play the new season. Greetings from Poland. Well, hello. How do you say your name? S B. -E oh gosh, I don't even want to say it. We'll just call you MC. MCMK. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Uh, in the mountains, no less. Nice. Uh, when you find the metal store, do you need a generator to access the store? Mm, um, the one that I was just at? No. There's... There's... There's a... Let me see if I can show you. So there's a generator area, which you put the generator here, and then you'll craft your metal. Just It just takes fuel. Or at least it did on PTS. So if you have a generator with fuel, you can just turn it on and craft metal beams. But they do have a spot here that does have two. So you can get two for free. After that, you gotta start using fuel to craft them. Apparently Japan players have to wait a month for season 12. What? Why is that? MC is good, all right. MC. Okay, thanks, I'm... I think I'm just gonna keep struggling to mirror. The Zix is... Whoops, I'm gonna crash. Don't fall off, please. There we go. Um, the Zix is a really tough one to get. Yeah, I just... I just got to uh, Season 4 on our hard mode. And I ran straight for the Zix in our first episode. I got all the way to it. And got it repaired. But I... I was 18 points short on my with my Tuz. So... I had to bring in another vehicle, so I, I did that the next stream, but yeah, we were basically we got all the way to it and got it fixed uh, on the first episode of Amir in our hard mode. 
And we also took a Scout Fuel trailer with us. We had enough fuel to refuel it all the way up. But I also didn't refuel it all the way up that episode because I was like, well, I gotta go get more parts anyways, so there's no point in me dragging the fuel back in here, so... Yeah, but... Zix is a great truck. Uh, I think this Femme would actually work out great in a mirror. Um, I, I did a live stream last Wednesday, I think, or last Tuesday, I think it was, something like that. Maybe it was Wednesday. But, um... Yeah, I basically showed off this truck and how it can climb out of breakable ice, how it can climb over the rocks. Um, it has uh, some some really good power. It can climb all the way up the Season 10 hill, the big snow hill, the really steep one. Carrying four metal beams. So, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Four metal beams is a lot. It had two in the truck, and then we had a red dolly trailer behind us, and we were able to pull that all the way up the hill. And we couldn't do that with the Zix 605R or the Kenworth. Probably many other trucks either, but this thing is really strong. Really good truck. I think it would... Oh, oh no. <laughs> I think it would be very useful for uh, Season 4. It's funny, because as I was going off the road here, I was like, I hope that's not deep. I don't think it is. It's pretty, pretty close to shore, right? And then it's pretty deep. <laughs> Some of this mud is no joke. Yeah, there's a few spots where it's really deep mud. And like, your trucks and trailers just sink. Not giving me access to that? Maybe you already use them? Because I haven't done anything to unlock it, it's just it's there. For some reason, that's odd. Huh. Is the top engine the only upgrade for the FEM? No, there's there's two engines, and then there's a diff lock that you can find. So there's three, three for the FEM, four for the rock grinder. The rock grinder has a raised, a crawler suspension, a engine upgrade, I think it is, and then a diff lock upgrade. It's either diff lock or all wheel drive, I can't remember. I think it has always on all wheel drive, so I'm pretty sure it's diff lock, but I'm not sure. Scouting with 35s. Oof. The second box is showing me, but it's not letting me get anything out of it. Um, I think the second box you're talking about, you have to put a generator there, and then you have to make sure you turn the generator on and that it has fuel, and then you can go to the other box. One box is just for the generator, and the other one is for crafting. So you have to, you have, to have a trailer in one, turned on with fuel, and then you have to go to the other one. So I hope that makes sense. It is diff lock? Okay, that's what I thought. Because I'm pretty sure it has always on all wheel drive. Alright, in this pack. Nope, okay. This doesn't matter super a super amount, I guess, but let's drop that. Okay. Back on our way. Uh, for Amir, the Azov 7 is also very good. Very good mud chains. And that have maybe two to three trucks. You have to have a generator there? Yes, you do. You have to bring a generator into the generator zone and turn it on. And it has to have fuel in it. So, um, that's the reason why I'm actually doing this, this current mission. Because I'm trying to unlock this bridge to unlock the ferry to then be able to bring a generator over there much faster. So, well, I mean, also use the, use the ferry, but the main thing is to get that generator from one side all the way to the other as quickly as possible. What is the most common pay in SnowRunner? I don't think there is really a common pay. It's kind of all over the place. Hello, South Fang. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you here before, so... Hopefully uh, attracting some new viewers. Um, I tried it out in the Dawn map, doing that before I try Amir. I want to have the Tatra trucks for that map. Yeah, the Tatra trucks are awesome. 
It's very strong, but a little easy to tip. Um, and I don't have the diff lock yet. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the diff lock is on the fourth map. Actually, here, I'll show you where the, the two... The two biggest upgrades for the FEM are. So, one is on Orovo Hills. And here's... I'll show you. So this is where you come in the gateway. Here's where you get the FEM, right? Right here. If you follow this, or I mean, you can... You can go back up to the road here and follow the actual tar road, but uh, if you follow the road all the way down, you can either cross here or you can go up here a little bit. There's a bridge and then there's another bridge right here that'll take you across. And then over here is a gateway, but if you follow this up here, this is where you're going to get the top engine for the FEM. It's right here. But this road, which goes down through here, uh, there's a blockage and it's really tough. You're going to have to climb up the mountains on the right or up the mountains on the left. So I would recommend going this way. You can follow the train tracks as well, but I think there's a blockage somewhere along that, if I remember right. Oh, right here. Here's one of them. And I think there's another one down here. Yeah, right here. This one's really hard to get by. I tried going down and around before. It's, I mean, you're better off going through the trees. Just driving through the trees kind of like I did. Or even, like going up here and then up and around and then back down so that is the top engine the all-wheel drive is on flatland or excuse me not all-wheel drive diff lock as soon as you come in you're gonna go up and just follow this main road and it's right in the back of the swamp right here or if you're coming in from the other map you're gonna come down it kind of goes out and around a little bit and then follow this all the way back down there actually is another path I guess that you could go down this way across the dam and then across through the uh like the the cooling towers and then get over here but there's uh two big bodies of water out here all right so let's start the engine let's throw this out i need to get this unpacked long time viewer first time chatter okay welcome welcome south fang all right, let's do three cement. And then let's see if we can get, unpack it, get one of them out. So we can fit a fourth one in here. There we go. Okay, thanks. I'll scout them out and get them. There you go. Yeah, that's the two the two upgrades you're going to want to find for the FEM. The rest of them, well, there's only one other one for the FEM, which is a, a smaller engine, so I wouldn't worry about it. Hello, Average Pumpkin. Howdy from Michigan. My uh, Great Lake neighbor, then. I'm from Minnesota, so a couple Great Lakes away, but... I mean, I guess if you go to the UP, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, not too far away... Um, I agree with that. Where's the diff lock? I showed you that. Zin, you have to buy them? The only one there is for a contract. I'm, I'm a little... Uh, yeah, you have to buy a generator after that. Yep. The one for the contract is for Jumbo Bridge, and then you have to buy your own generator. Oh, oh, we're almost tipping. That was bad. So yeah, you have to buy one generator to bring over there to craft more. There is metal beams on the fourth map. Here, let me show you quick again. Um, if you go to Flatland, you go all the way down through here. Follow this all the way along. There's uh, infinite metal beams right from here. So you can take those and, and like a good part of it's tar road. You know, all this part is tar. And then once you get up here, it turns to tar again here and it's tar all the way up to the gateway. So that would be an easier way to do it if you already have the Jumbo Bridge completed. If you don't want to spend money on a trailer, you could just take them up from the other map. That's not too hard. Thanks for the info. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, JJ doesn't like normal sodas. He likes mini sodas. Huh? Get it? Because I'm from Minnesota. No, I like big gulps. I like the big boys. Uh, my dog is broken. She won't let me play the game. What? How do you break a dog? I don't like how I can move the generator out of out of the road after I use it for the first task. 
Oh, I don't like, I can't move it. Yeah, it's supposed to delete. That's some of the, you know, when you're a game developer, they're supposed to flush these things out when they, you know, do PTS. But apparently that one got missed. They, the trailer's supposed to delete when, when you deliver it there. So, you know how early on in the game when you deliver a trailer and then all of a sudden it's gone, it looks like it just disappears? That one is supposed to disappear. But yeah, it's a pain, it's just right in your way. And you can't move it like you said, or at least I couldn't move mine. Uh, SG Spoon said he can move his. I'm surprised that there's not many rock music type main menu themes in Wisconsin. And she's trying to jump up on my computer desk and will not let me play. She wants attention. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the themes are kind of, uh, the theme songs or whatever, the background music is kind of, uh, for the most part, it's kind of tame. Nothing crazy. Be right back. Need to eat. Leaving the stream on in the background. Okay, South Bank. We'll see you again soon. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So yeah, there's no more use. I mean, actually, it's kind of nice that it does stay there because you can get fuel, but at the same time, there's a fuel station right, like, literally right there. So it's more of a pain than it is a help, but I mean, it's, it's there, I guess. There's also a big fuel trailer right across the river or lake or whatever you want to call it. There's a semi-fuel trailer right in the port there. Alright, after this, we gotta go get... Um, the Cat 770G trailer. I think we're gonna use the Mastodon. Because it's a saddle low. I know normally those trailers are saddle high. That trailer type anyways. The, the red um, gooseneck trailer. But this one is a saddle low. So we'll have to use a truck with a saddle low. I thought the Mastodon's probably the strongest of the group. Somebody wants me to use the 4520. I don't know if they're still in here, but I could do that. I just feel like that might be a little bit slower. I don't know, what, what truck would you guys want to see me use for the Dairy Longhorn, or not for the Dairy Longhorn, for the Cat 770G trailer, something that has a saddle low. Any truck. Stackmaster Monroe. Wait a minute, where am I going? I passed my drop off. Lessons you, you made me think for a second, I'm like, wait, why am I stacking this? I gotta go the other way. Oh. Ninety five hundred. <laughs> I mean I guess it does have a saddle low. We'll see what we'll see what gets the most uh most most votes, I guess. So one vote for the GMC ninety five hundred. One person wanted the Dairy Longhorn forty five twenty. My vote goes to Mastodon. Just because it's like the strongest one. <laughs> Um, any, any truck with a saddle low. Somebody give me a truck with a saddle low that you want to see me carry the Cat 770G with. Either Taiga or... Let me, uh, pack this. There we go. It wants to tip. Uh, yeah, it definitely wants to tip. The Mac. Ooh, I like the Mac, actually. Let's do that. You got me. Let's do the Mac. Do we have a Mac? Should have one somewhere. There we go. Okay. If you guys don't know, this is actually the top engine, this middle one. This one is just better on fuel consumption. It has a little less power, a little bit of... Ugh. A little less power, a little better fuel consumption. So, this middle engine's actually the, the strongest engine of the group. We'll go with an off-road because we might need it. Um, we'll go with raised... Return of the Mac. The Transtar. Oof. Let's go with the fours here. 
if I have a better uh, winch. Got the set a low. We can still have the crane. I don't know if that'll interfere with it or not, so I'm going to take it off just to be safe. Okay, we got our roof rack. Let's maybe... I like this color right here. I don't know why. It's kind of like a dark gray. I really like that color. Oh, yeah. Return of the Mac. Mac defense would be good, in my opinion. Mac. Yeah, we got a couple people saying the Mac. The Warthog? You know what would be funny? If you use the, uh... The Acteon. Um... The Acteon has a... Well, not, not for this one, but... The Acteon has... What am I trying to say? It has a long... The front... Long log carrier? What's the name of it? The, uh... I think it's called a logging front. But, uh... Man, imagine... Imagine the Acteon trying to carry a set of long logs. Dude, the... I mean, actually... It, it might be decent, because it'd be so much more weight on the tires, but I feel like it would just absolutely sink that thing. <laughs> Alright. Hang on, let me... Let's see what we're doing next. It's the ferry, but which one is it? Eastbound, I believe? Eastbound ferry. Okay, two concrete slabs. What truck should we use for this, guys? we got to take two slabs from up here and bring them all the way down here. What truck should we use? I'll leave that up for you guys now. This will be the next next vote. We need four slots or a two-slot truck with a crane or even a three-slot truck with a crane. So we could use the twin steer. We could use the Fem again. We could use the Kenworth. We could use, I mean, basically any truck with a two-slot and a crane. Two slots. Excuse me, two slot in a crane or bigger. Look at her go. I'm hoping there will be a southwest state region in year four. Yeah, like someone said, like Utah. Well, yeah, that would be southwest. I had to think about that for a second. Like, wait, is that though? Yeah, like Utah or something? Like a sort of a desert kind of a, you know, Utah, Arizona, maybe California, something like that. California would be pretty cool. California's got deserts, but it also has mountains. It'd be cool for like a, a fourth map, because you could have a little bit of everything in there. You know, you could have Death Valley, like super, super scorching hot desert. And then you could have mountains with snow on them, like two maps over or something. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, we could use the uh, W990. You wish it had all-wheel drive and no drop axle. Yeah. This map is very weird to scout. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta get the ferries, ferry open. But, yeah, you guys, somebody... We're gonna do the ferry next after this, so... Which truck would you guys want to see? I mean, maybe we could just keep going with the same list. Well, no, the Dairy Longhorn can't can't carry it. Hmm. I guess we'll start this task here as well. Uh, if they put California in the game, they have to make the fuel five times the cost. Yeah, because isn't that where you're from, Redneck? Aren't you uh, from California, if I remember right? All right, let's hope this baby can pull. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because the, the highest price in the game so far for fuel has been eight, but it would be pretty funny if all of a sudden they have like a, a, a fuel set at like 12 or something. Like, you know, every other place is like super cheap and you're like $12 a liter, what the heck is this? Like, I'm definitely not buying fuel here. Everything is expensive there. 
I, I know quite a few of the longer time viewers here probably know, but my sister lives in Hawaii and everything is crazy expensive there. This is exactly what I was worried about. Getting stuck with this trailer, it's super heavy. But yeah, my sister lives in Hawaii and so everything there is like crazy expensive too. But for them it's, it's more that they have to import everything, right? There's like nothing that's made on the island, you know? Everything's... Like even if, even if you're just shipping something there, it's, it's really expensive. So if they like order anything like on Amazon or anything like that, you know, like it's really expensive. But I guess, yeah, if you have to import everything, it makes sense. It's got to go a long ways. California is just expensive just because the, the uh, taxes and all that crap is so high there. Go, Mac, go. So yeah, we're definitely having to winch our way through this. Otherwise, we're just dragging. Look at this is this is us not winching. I mean, it's it's moving, but really, really slow. You have cousins who live in California. Nice. I think it'd be kind of cool to live there, but I'd probably have to live in the northern part where it's just less less populated. But I think it'd be kind of cool to, like, be by the ocean, but then at the same time you can, like, like I said earlier, you know, go up in the mountains and all of a sudden there's snow. Okay, we are... we are stuck, guys. Alright, let's winch to the back. This trailer's so heavy. They hate it there? Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Oof, this is this is a rough one, isn't it guys? Like the Mac is one of the more capable vehicles. Imagine using like what what some of you guys said, like the trans star for this? Oh my goodness. Like we are totally stuck now. I think we're stuck on the hill. It kind of goes up a little bit. There we go. Don't move to Oregon. It's an absolute mess here. Yeah. Didn't Oregon like get rid of the uh, get rid of the police or whatever? Something like that, like a lot of drugs are legal and stuff. Every time I hear something about Oregon, it's it's all about how crazy the people are because there's everything's legal. Lawlessness and everything is legal. There we go. All right. I love it here, hate the people. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, this is super duper heavy, dude. Utah is pretty nice, but so many California people moving in. Yeah, I think a lot of people are moving out of California. I remember seeing something about California was losing people for the first time in like 50 years or 100 years or something crazy. Like, they've, they've been gaining people. People and people and people for like 
Oh god, we're stuck again. For like years and years and years, and I think last year or two years ago, or maybe it was this year, but uh, recently they started losing people. And that's like the first time in forever that that's happened. People are starting to move out. And no, I don't have six wives, that's funny. Most people are crazy... Peep, er, most people, most of the crazy people that couldn't have their way in Cali moved to Oregon. That makes sense, yeah. It's pretty close. And like you said, they couldn't have their way, so they couldn't get the, the stuff that they wanted. Or live the way that they wanted with the, uh, the lawlessness. So move up there. Dude, we've already used half of our fuel. Just going, going to there and then back to this point, which is like halfway back. Back to the garage, maybe. If even that far. This is a winching mess here, isn't it? There we go. Got something way up in front of us. That should help. So how many states do we got here? We got California, we got Utah, uh, Minnesota, we got Michigan. Who else do we got? Do we have anybody from Washington here? West Coast still. Uh, I can't wait to finish Michigan. I'm SN at 90% now. What is SN? I'm sitting at? I don't know what SN stands for. Okay, Chuck's from Illinois. Oh, North Carolina. Yep, yeah, Brandon's from North Carolina as well. I don't know. I haven't seen Friday yet. Friday's from Wisconsin if he's here. Oh, we got Oregon. Pardon. Yep. BC, British Columbia. We got Rex. Rex is from Ontario. Rex, we're finding out where, where everyone's from, so. Trying to see what we all got. So, BC, that's just north of Washington. Oh no, we're stuck again. Slowly moving. Oh, Michigan Snowrunner. Okay, I was like, I don't know what that stands for. <laughs> I should have known that. Come on. JJ doesn't know what SN stands for. Our trucks isn't like this at all, does it? There we go. Let me try and grab that tree or something. I think it's stuck in the ground a little bit. That's the way it looks to me. Nice, got the Mac defense out. Yeah, we took a vote and uh, it was like five different trucks nominated and all of a sudden someone said the Mac defense and then all of a sudden that had like five votes so like half of the votes half of the ten votes went to this so it's like all right Mac defense it is oh spoons from Quebec spoon you're still here so we got British Columbia Ontario Quebec got some Canadian provinces in there as well I know we had someone from Poland in here earlier I don't know if they're still here as well uh, I think it was MC was the abbreviation we came up with. The real question is, do we have anybody from like Wyoming or something where it's a very sparse... Oh, we got some India. Someone from India here. Yeah, we got Illinois. We got, uh, well, myself, Minnesota, California, Oregon. Oh no, oh, that's over there. North Carolina. Michigan. Oh 
Oh man. This mud is no joke in here. Tell you guys what. The 770 trailer is just super heavy. Oh, we got Ukraine. Nice. So we got India and Ukraine, some Canada, United States. So that's four different countries. Well, in Poland, if they're still here, I don't think so. Well, welcome, Vitaly. I don't. I think I saw you, you chat in here earlier, if I remember right. But maybe I'm wrong. Gordon's from the UK. I think. I kind of forgot you're from the UK, Gordon, so you're the first one I think that's from there that we've seen here. We're almost back to the tar. You guys, it took us, what, 270, no, 280 liters to get this far. That's crazy. There we go. Now we should, oh, dang it. Now we should start flying, though. Once we get onto the tower, this thing's gonna go fine. But the trailer's super heavy still. This is like leaves falling off the tree. I know I do have a few viewers from Minnesota, which is where I'm from, but I don't think any of them are here right now. From GOA India. I do not know where that is. Goa India? I would say I'm fairly decent. Oh, geez, that thing's out of fuel. Fairly decent with geography. Uh, restore crane and recover. Let's just throw a tank on here quick. Oops. Just to get some fuel back out to the truck. Yeah, I'm pretty decent, I would say, with countries, but uh, with with where where in the country, not not so much. No. Oops, not recover. Six, the Mac defense. Oh, you voted for the Mac as well. Okay, GOA is on the coast, I believe. Uh, what truck do I prefer, the Zix 605R or the Kenworth 963? Um, it depends what it's for, but, um, probably in most cases I would choose the Kenworth just because it's, it can have a crane and the bed, and it's got big tires and stuff, so it's, it's probably more useful, but, uh, yeah, the Zig 605R is, I don't know, I think it's still one of the best, in my opinion it's probably the best truck, but it's, it's kind of, it's just so stable, and, like it's got good tires and it's it's got a little bit of everything you know it's got good range good fuel use it's strong it's got a decent amount of add-ons but it's got a ton of repair points got a decent amount of fuel i think it's like 380 plus 200 in the roof rack where are you from cb snake i think snake said earlier he's from what was it oregon i already forget no, that's Artem from Oregon. Snake's from Utah. Was it Utah? I think it was Utah. That looks pretty, doesn't it? The Mac and the cat. 
some American muscle right there. Mac Defense. Caterpillar. Uh, I just saw a test. Kenworth versus Zix 605 hour power test, and I'm impressed that the Kenworth actually won the Zix towing. Uh, the big bottle trailer. Oh, the, uh, the oil tank thing. I don't even know what that first one is, but I've heard of Hindi and Punjabi. Yeah, I'm in Utah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Hindi. Snake, are you, are you, uh, Indian? Do you know, uh, the language there, or did you study it or something? Yeah, I just think this looks really nice. Mac Defense pulling the trailer. Great choice of trucks, you guys. I can speak, read, and write Punjabi, but not Hindi. Oh, bummer. Did you, like, study it? You are a Gora? I think that's what that... How you say that? Um, does that mean you are from India? Is that what... Like, that's your uh, religion or something? I'm not really sure. I don't know. Anyways. Max doing pretty good on this part. Let's hope we can keep it up. Trying to stick on the high ground here, stay out of the mud. Oh no. Right as I say that. Oh, perfect. We can barely reach that one. You are white. I think. I'm guessing that's what the white's for. Utah is where the Diesel Brothers stay, no? I don't know about that. Oh, that's too far. That's the one I just did. Okay, let's go there. So I feel like we got very few things done so far, but we've actually got very big things done, which is good. Big progress. Building some uh, some important stuff here. What do you guys think? After this, should we uh, once we open the ferry, maybe fix the garage? Fix all the garage function functions on the other map. I think that'd be a good uh, good good idea. Solid winch point? Sure. How about a nice two inch thick bush? Yeah. Actually, some of those little bushes hold better than some of the small trees. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. Some of the really, really small bushes, like these off on my left, those probably hold better than... Well, I don't have any smaller... Oh, like these trees off over here. Like this one and this one. These will just bend and break pretty quick. But some of these little bushes like this... Some of them just absolutely stick. They're just solid. I mean, sometimes they break off, but some of them are super, super good. But I just realized I used SN instead of SR. Oh! Yeah, maybe that's why I was confused. I just, now that you say that, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe that's why I was confused, because if you said SR, I think I would have got that. Alright, Max doing pretty good again. To be honest, guys, I used the, the Azov 73210 last time. The Mac Defense is doing better than the Azov 7. Like, not even close. The Mac Defense is better than the Azov 7 pull in this trailer, for sure.
But also, this thing just looks awesome. I, I just... I don't know why. It just, just looks good. <laughs> Lessons is oddly correct. Lessons, are you still playing? I know you said you were exploring earlier. You still on, or did you hop off? I think we'll we'll get the ferry, we'll get all the garage functions back. That'll be uh, kind of the goal. We'll do those two, depending on how much time we got left. The ferry should be pretty easy. Oh shoot, I don't have a crane though. Well... Is that the Mac Defense? Yep, Mac Defense it is. Oh gosh, nothing around. Okay, we'll go to the right, I guess. You don't know Sparks Motors from Utah, named by Diesel Brothers? I do not. The Mac is in my Dope 5 for sure. That's funny. You got a Dope 5 list? There's only five that make the list. How can you open the ferry? They are blocked on my list. I need to do other stuff. Yeah, that's that's why we're doing other stuff, Mr. Spoon. So you have to do... Um, it's the bridge. What's the name of it? Uh, bridging the Gap, which is what we're doing right now. And then you have to do Eastbound Ferry and Westbound Ferry, and then it's unlocked. So for Eastbound Ferry, you need to bring two slabs to the east side. And then for Westbound Ferry, you have take four cargo containers to the port. So that's why I was just like, ah oh, crap, I don't have a crane, because I can't pick up those cargo containers with this truck. I meant to say top five favorite truck fail. Well, it's in your dope five for sure, so we're good. I'm using the 69R Twin Steer for four fuel cargoes for Jumbo Bridge. Uh, Artem, I would say don't forget that there's a, a generator trailer you gotta get for that. So, that way you don't have to drive back again to go get it. Oh, we're, we're quite stuck right there, aren't we? This isn't good. Wait, actually, can we go to the left? Sorry, didn't know where you was. Okay, yeah, we're on the first map, Mr. Spoon. Uh, this trailer, you can pick it up way over here. Top right corner. And you gotta bring it back to this bridge. So we're almost there. Got a little bit left to go. And then we've completed the task and we can start working on the ferries. Or contract, actually. This part is rough in here, wow. Definitely top five, the dope is fact list. <laughs> this trailer's having a rough time getting those wheels up over that first little bump on the hill, I can see it. There we go. Finally got it to go. It's kind of funny how you can be so stuck and all of a sudden you just get a little bump and then you're like, oh, yep, we're free, we're good. Hey, JJ, sorry I'm late. I've been enjoying season 12. Well, I wouldn't apologize for that. If you're enjoying season 12, that's, that's good news. I said this earlier and I'll say it again and I'll probably say it many more times, but you guys don't have to feel bad if you can't make the stream. I mean, 
if, if I had a list of priorities, watching someone play SnowRunner, or watching any YouTube really for that matter, should be on the bottom of the list. So I appreciate the support, Saber. Glad to have you back. Uh, how far are you now? What percentage are you at? We, I've been playing now for about three and a half hours. Just slammed into a fuel pump, had a GT5 flashback. Oh yeah, where you just burn, blow up the, blow up the tank. Alright guys, you got like three minutes. What truck should we use to grab the two concrete slabs? Or cement slabs. Concrete? Cement. Cement slabs. We gotta bring two of them to the other side, other gateway. Anybody anybody have a specific truck they'd like to, to use? We can use the uh, the Fem again if you guys want to use that or really any other truck that has two slots in a crane would be good. Two slots in a crane or three slots in a crane or four slots total. Alright, let's try and attach back further again. That's too far. Okay, we'll go with this one. You say the fem and you say the twin steer. Okay, well, let's see. We could use the twin steer for the first one and maybe the fem for the second because the fem can have a crane on it and we gotta pick up cargo containers. So for half the ferry, we could use the twin steer and the other half we could use the fem, if that works for you guys. Or the W990, W990 would be good. The W990 we would be able to use for either one because it has a crane and bed or, you know, so it can, it can, it can haul the, the four slots or it can do the eight slots, either one. CTL9000. Please, nobody vote for the CTL. This is already bad enough. <laughs> Hello, Hunter. Welcome to the stream. Um, just arrived home. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, Hunter. Thank you. Have you... Uh, I know you said you just arrived home, but... Have you uh, updated the game yet? Or... You literally, like, just got home. <laughs> Rex is saying that's fine. Okay, that's good. Transtar? Please, nobody vote for Transtar. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> like I said, I'd, I would probably do a, a hard mode all highway trucks playthrough. I just got other stuff we're doing, you know, so. But I would be down with doing that one time. I think it'd be... I know, uh... Actually, what's his name? Uh, Deck Plays has a an all highway playthrough. All right, finally we made it. Almost running out of fuel. Oh shoot, I gotta keep going a little bit. Uh, idiot. There we go. JJ cannot believe how you remember all of that. What did I remember? So that was 13,000 for that bridge. Nice. Uh, that's what we were doing, Hunter. Fixing this bridge. Dude, the modded fem is insane. Somebody's already got a modded version? That's crazy. Uh, what what did I remember, Snake? Uh, I use the CLT 9000 and Transtar as mobile fuel and repair stations are on the map. Put add-ons on and park them at the intersections. Yeah, I use the... The... Oh, the trucks and what they use? Gotcha. Yeah, that's thousands of hours of snow runner for you. Actually, I should go back and get more fuel. Um, 
Yeah, I used the Transtar as my fuel tanker every every map now. Um, I used it in Michigan, I used it in Alaska. Every um, North American map, I should say. Um, we used it in Yukon and we used it in Wisconsin. So we didn't use it in Tamir or Kola, because they're Russian. And then we didn't use it in season five so far. So, or four, excuse me, four. But yeah, the Transstar has been our fuel truck. Uh, the GMC, I put the, I put the, um, the repair add-on on there and I want to take it off, but I haven't just because I have to, um, well, I don't have to, but I want to use all the parts, and every time I use all the parts, I go back and fill it up. Oh, that thing went flying. Okay, wait, wait, we want this one to stay here. Hang on. I, can't, I don't want to screw that up. We'll use the twin steer for the other one, so we need this one to stay here. Yeah, the Russian maps are rough on them. It's not that they're rough, it's just uh, the way I'm playing my hard mode, we're using Russian trucks on Russian maps, and then North American trucks on North American maps, so... It's just part of the way we're playing playing through it. I think it's, it's a little different. I know there's probably some people who've done it, but I just randomly thought of it one day and was like, that'd be kind of a cool way to play it, so that's what we've been doing. Okay, we gotta go to... Uh, where is it? Wait, eastbound ferry. Did that pop up? Oh, the the white one. Huh. Duh. Okay. Let's go back and get the twin steer. That's what you guys said. Sadly, I do not have the DLC paint colors. I don't have the year four yet, so I'll have to get that. We'll have that next episode. Let's do mm, green, I think, I guess. I don't know. Just make sure we got all the top stuff here. Oops. Oh, we got tires. Do we have the best ones? No, DMHS, definitely not. JJ, is it available now? Season 12 to buy? Yes, it is out, Hunter. Today, it is out. We want the fours. Get rid of those. Uh, yep, good, 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 and good. So let's go. Uh, he is Master JJ, Master Level 10 Billion. Ah, oh, that's right. 10th Prestige SnowRunner now. Yeah, I've, I've played a lot of hours of SnowRunner, so... Um, you're a SnowRunner wiki. Trucks and what they use, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some trucks that I can't remember if, if they can have certain things, but... I mean... I'm pretty good at remembering upgrades and uh, locations for stuff. Look at the mud that got all messed up from the trailer where it, where it was grabbing the ground, kind of. But yeah, I'm pretty good at remembering uh, a lot of different things, but... Like, sometimes people ask me where a specific upgrade is, and I'm like... Um, I don't exactly remember where that one is, but there's other upgrades where it's like, oh yeah, that, that one's right here. Like, I was just randomly thinking now of my uh, hard mode playthrough in Season 4, and I was like, wait, did I get the upgrade on the first map? I was like, yeah, I do remember going down there. Did I get the one on the second one? Yeah, I did go down there. <laughs> So I got one on the third, well, northern, and one on the fourth. I think that might be it. All right, here we got to collect our two concrete slabs. Oop, I'm not watching where I was going. I was reading hunters here. So yeah, JJ is top master, but most wanted to snow runner makers. Because he's a maps destroyer. Yeah, definitely. We we are pretty rough on the maps. Destroying trucks, trees, rocks. Everything gets pushed out of the way.
Okay, let's grab the slabs. Got two of them. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. I just remembered that I have to go get my nephews off the school bus here in about 10 minutes. So I just got to run upstairs for a minute. And I just looked at the clock and I'm like, oh, crap. I got to turn on an alarm so I don't forget. So that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, in like seven minutes, I'm going to run upstairs quick and uh, be back in like one minute. I just got to run up, unlock and open the door and then my nephews can take care of themselves. But I will be gone for about one minute. Uh, is the year four pass available yet? Yes, it is Saber Spade. The year four pass is out as of about four hours ago is what I heard. They have four new trucks. Which, oops, um, if we go to content library here, here it is. So we got the ANK MK38, which is this truck here, the orange colored one. We have the International Paystar 5070, which is this one here on the end, this truck. Then we have the Caterpillar CT681, which is this one here, or this one. And then we have the Western Star Twinsters, the truck we're actually using right now. And that's this one. Uh, I like the twin steer strong engine. A uh, bit flip easily. Yeah, it can flip easily. These tires make it much more stable, though. They're a little wider. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Saber. No problem. Uh, debating on getting this game for PC. I have played several playthroughs on Xbox, but I was thinking of getting a PC too. Okay. If you do get it on PC, I would suggest getting on Epic Games because you can get access to PTS. I, I own it on Steam and Epic, but I stopped buying stuff on Steam because I rebought it all on Epic, and if you have it on Epic, you can play it on the Epic Game Store and play the public test server, so you can kind of test stuff out and get early access to it. So if you do buy it, I would suggest doing that. It's the same price, so... Well, I mean, maybe there's a, a sale or something when you buy it, but... Uh, last I checked, it was on sale right now on Steam. I'm not sure about Epic. Nick, if you like mods and a stable game, PC is way better. Yeah, I've heard you can have way more mods because the, the the space is limited if you have it on uh, Xbox or PlayStation. Hello, Mata. Long time no see. How are you doing? Let's throw in... There we go. Found it. Rock on, bro. You doing good, Mata? We're just uh, working on opening up the ferry. So we went and got the uh, went and got the fem truck. Went and got the upgrades for the fem. You're alive. That's good. We got the upgrades, the the strongest engine and the diff lock. And we unlocked the garage on the second and fourth maps. Um, then we fixed the jumbo bridge, we fixed the bridging the gap bridge. Now we're going to unlock the ferry, so we're doing eastbound ferry. Then we gotta do westbound ferry. Then we'll probably uh, jump to Dude Where's My Trailer, do the trailer store for the fourth map. Then we'll probably do Pimp My Ride, which is uh, being able to customize your your vehicles at your, uh, at your garage on the fourth map. And then we'll probably do the last one, which I can't remember the name of right now, but uh, it's the other one to get the customization and trailer store and stuff back there. Still ain't done nothing on Season 11. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Season 11 isn't that appealing, I think, for a lot of people, just because it doesn't have any big trucks. Like, you're getting two scouts, so it's kind of like a meh, you know, meh, whatever season. I thought it... Oh, no. Oh, no. That was close. I thought it was pretty fun. But, I mean... It's not... It wasn't super challenging. There's a lot of highway. And then it makes, like, a big figure eight, basically. Like, it loops all the way back around. Sorry, JJ. I meant butt, not bit. Wrong typing. Yeah, I figured it out after I said it. 
I said bit because it was a word, and then I'm, after I read it, I'm like, oh, he meant butt. But yeah, I gotcha. I just got very lucky, barely ninja winched. Nice. Ninja winches are the best. JJ, how much season 12 costs to buy? I'm not sure, because I own the season pass, but they're usually $12. 12 US dollars. All the seasons, season like uh, all the two map or one map seasons were uh, $7 US, and then the, the big four map ones are 12 and I heard from someone yesterday, I think it might have been Saki, that they were... Um, or maybe it was earlier today. I think it might have been earlier today, I don't remember. Um, but... They said it's 7 euros for the... Uh, for the two, one or two map regions and 12, so it's the same euros and dollars, I guess, right now. Those scouts in the Kenworth 990 were dog water. Well, if you haven't tried the 990 uh, recently, Meta, it's gotten a lot better. The tires got much better. They got a huge boost. I mean, they're debatably the best tires in the game other than the Tuz. They, in my opinion, they probably have the second best stats in the game for tires. And uh, it also got its diff lock changed from switchable to always on. So now the diff lock's on 24-7. So it's a much improved truck from uh, what it was in Season 11. So if you haven't tried it since Season 12 came out, I would suggest trying it. It might be, uh, I don't know, more more in tune, more, that's not a good word, more, more impressed? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um... Like in my current game, I'm almost home to download Season 12. Very nice, Rex. W990 is a beast of a truck and doesn't have all-wheel drive. Yeah, it doesn't have all-wheel drive any- or I shouldn't say anymore. It never had it, but it doesn't have all-wheel drive, but the diff lock always on and the, the boost to the tires were huge. <laughs> I saw that, Saki. I saw part of it and then it was like all gibberish. It must have been Finnish or something. <laughs> I started reading it, and then I was like, I look at the end of that, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, alright. So hang on guys, I have to run for about one minute, and I'll be right back. So actually, I'm gonna just get to the gateway, and then I'll run up on the loading screen to save you a little bit of time. JJ, go get your nephew. Yeah, you got me, Spoon. You got it right on time. It should be here in three minutes, the bus, so... I will uh, run up there real quick. It's kind of fun. I got like a little party over here. I'm happy they made the 990 usable. Yeah, it's definitely. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I am back. Wait, what on earth am I doing, guys? Why'd I go through the gateway? I don't know where... I got distracted as soon as I had to go upstairs. I was like, wait, what? Gotta get back to work? Sounds good, Mata. 990 went to the gym and got buff. Yeah. Yeah, JJ, I said it yesterday, that price. Okay. Couldn't remember. Hello, Tamiri Tube. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Let's fuel this thing up. And I think I'll fix it just in case. There we go. Boo! <laughs> yeah. He skipped uh, seasons seven, 
8 and 11. Okay, so racing, farming, and then season 11. I know a lot of people didn't like the racing, and I myself didn't like it. I didn't like the vehicles. I mean, the the, uh, the Gore by 4 is fine, because it's like a scout truck, like they're all kind of not worth really using very much anyways, but... Um, I've used the Gore by 4 for a few contests, it's not bad. I've tried using the Sprinter a few times. It's, I would say, I guess it's decent for contests, but I mean, it's pretty much worthless other than that, like... Actually, should I just go straight through this mud, do you think? Probably not. Um... I kind of forgot. Oh, we're slipping. Oh, but yeah, it, it only has like 50 repair points, no fuel, and it can't attach trailers. So it's like, if you're not using it for a contest, then it's not worth using at all, pretty much. Other than maybe scouting, I guess I'll give it that. But, uh, yeah. Then, Season 8, I would say that those trucks are a lot more worth it. Uh, the Pike is an awesome truck. Season 8 also has, like, a, you get a Tuz 166, you get a Don 71, you get the Step 39331 Pike, you get the Kirovitz K7M and the Kirovitz K700. And... You also get, I don't know if I already said a Chevy CK1500, I don't think I did. And you get a Taiga 6436, so you get a good amount of trucks in there. That's, uh, Season 8's a pretty good one. I know a lot of people don't like the farming in there either, which uh, I would agree with, it's a little bit too much. I said, like, Season 7 was too much racing for me, Season 8 was too much farming for me, and then Season 9 was a little bit too much water, so I think if they toned it down... If they had less racing, more deliveries in Season 7, I, I would like it a lot more. You know, basically, like, you can have it racing-themed, but just have your normal 4 or 5 whatever contests, not like 20. And then same thing with farming. Have it farming-themed, farming tractors and stuff like that, but you don't have to do 17 fields three times each. You know, 51 or whatever times through is not, not fun. So... And then, yeah, the water, again, seemed a little bit excessive. A little bit too much water. Uh, sorry, Daz for Dummy, what map is the Femme? Yes, yeah, so the Femme is on Orvo Hills. It's right here. Basically, as soon as you come into Oroville Hills from Reactive Zone, it's right there. And if you're going through Reactive Zone, you can go this way and then cross through here. And then go across here. And however you want to get to this tar road, follow this. Here's your garage and go all the way down to the gateway. And then you're right, right there where I just showed you came out right here. So that's where the FEM's at. Um, let's see which way did I have to go though. I needed to go right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry I was gone for a little bit, so I missed some of your guys' uh, stuff here. Um, hello, Will. How are you doing? So Will says, yo. Can I play with you live on SnowRunner or live multiplayer? I'm not playing with anybody right now. Uh, this is just my, my solo series. I have played with people before, but my connection's not very good, so I don't think I really can. Um, dabs for dummies, yep, it's on the third third map. Thank you, Rex, for answering that. Um, dabs for dummies says, Flatland, you have to deliver it. Yeah, you have to deliver it back to the second map. So you go through the gateway, you'll take a left, and you'll just follow that basically all the way to where you need to go. Um, 20% done now. Nice work, Mr. Spoon. 15 out of 16 watchtowers, 6 out of 7 upgrades found. That's very good. I'm not sure what we're at, but we're definitely behind that. I've only got 2 upgrades. I don't even think I've got a single watchtower yet. 
I tried to float. Or wait, how do we fix the bridge for the first island uh, at the back of the first garage? Wait. How do we fix the bridge for the first island at the... Oh, um, that's called bridging the gap. You have to bring the Cat 770G trailer from the top right corner. And you have to bring four cement, which you can get in the top left warehouse. And you also need three metal beams, which the metal beams can be got from the fourth map if you drive them all the way up. But I should say all the way around, not up. Well, actually, if you've, you've already fixed the jumbo bridge, so you could drive them up, Mr. Spoon. So that would probably be the easiest route for you. But there is a crafting area where you can craft some, or you can get two. I'll show you quick, Mr. Spoon, one second. So here we go. We got east eastbound ferry fixed. The cat and cement are already done. Okay, so you just need this the uh You just need the metal beams. So there is two metal beams over here. And after you use those two, you can bring a generator here and craft more. So that's fine. And then if you do have the the tunnel over here unlocked, you can go from flatlands. Right here, there's infinite metal beams. You can grab those, get on this main road, kind of go all the way up and up through here and around to the gateway. Bring those there, that would be pretty easy for you. Or if you go to the first or second map here, again, you go all the way across and then down towards the garage. I just went straight through, but there's fuel here and right at this warehouse, there's some metal beams, three metal beams. Okay, that one's done. Let's go back to the FEM. Over here, let's start up the next ferry one. This one should be really quick, guys. Let's do westbound ferry. So the runner season 12 is downloading. Nice, Rex. Hello, JJ. How are you doing today? Doing good, Lightning Ninja. How are you doing? One second. Uh... All right, I guess I gotta run back upstairs here for just a minute. I'll be gone for like another one minute. But I gotta grab these four. And then we gotta bring them over there. So we gotta bring them right here. Pretty easy. Just gotta drop them off. That will fix the ferry. We can use the ferry after that. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll be right back. I gotta run upstairs for one minute. So hang on. All right, sorry, I am back. Still don't know about the last watchtower. Um, I think there might be one you have to build, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure. I thought I remember seeing something like that, but maybe I'm wrong.
All right, let's grab two of these. Hello, Rex. Hello, Ronnie. Uh, okay, thanks, JJ. Next. Actually, let's just leave it like that. We'll just go. Um, I have to call it a night. Thanks for the tips. I'll catch the rest of the stream when you post the video. Sounds good. Thank you, South Fang. Okay, what else did I miss here? Thanks, JJ. Next project after Eat Smoke Bathroom, you should try that too. Not sure what's that, what that's in regards to. I kind of uh, ran away for a bit, so. Um, is that price US dollars? No, that's Canadian dollars for Rex's. C A D. So $34 for the year 4 pass in Canadian. Alright. Taking a left here. Nice, just made it. Oh, I didn't even notice we have the other Femme over here still. I could have thrown two of them in that. Well, I still will throw two of them in. Actually, let me just throw these two in there and go back. That way, because this one has the crane on it. Imagine lifting that container and seeing that in real life. Yeah, someone's just driving down the road swinging it around. Rex, did you get the year four pass? Yeah, let's just turn it like this. Oh, it's it's literally as turned as far as it can. I hate when I do that. Let me hop over quick. And pack. Because sometimes you transport containers on your truck. Yeah. Well, I suggest not transporting them the way I do, Hunter. It's probably not a good idea. It might get you in trouble. There we go. Okay, let's restore a crane. Go back and get the other two. Hello, Rui. No, sadly, broke, can't afford it. Ouch. I think, uh... S Saki did it yesterday, did the math, and said, even if you if you skip one phase, like, say you, you bought the year four pass and you skipped one, it would still be worth it by, like, a dollar or two to buy the pass rather than buying individually because you'd save like if you were to buy just those three you'd spend two dollars more than you would if you bought the whole pass so just uh throwing it out there rex but yeah i hear you uh hi i've just started the game ready to play season 12 and downloading zero out of 41.9 gigabytes no <laughs> JJ, I don't know what you're saying. I see pe or I, sorry, I screwed that up. I don't know what you're saying. I see nothing wrong with the way you're transporting cargo containers. Well, I mean, if you're talking Snow Runner, but yeah, I like how the highway over there is like half built. I think that looks pretty cool. There's like mix missing sections of it over there. Okay, there we go. Oops, go down. We're gonna ju just try and push this back. Perfect. 
It took you two minutes, Mr. Spoon? Wow. The Vim has some cool colors, you like them? I like the green, this one, and the orange one we have. The other one's not so much, so... Actually, that might work. Let's, uh... It doesn't have to go very far, so let's just push on, push down on it. Yeah, exactly, JJ. That's why I've always just bought the passes, but have barely had any hours at work, and there's more important things to spend money on instead of Vigi games. Yeah, I hear you, Rex. All right, let's go back around. We're gonna take two two fems over there. Funnily enough, all I know is I bought the most expensive uh, Snowrunner when it came out. So it come come with like everything. So you must have bought like the uh, year four uh, or excuse me, year three edition. The I figured it's called like year three expansion or something. I don't remember what it was. Basically, it came with year one, two, and three, and the uh, Snowrunner, the base game. Hello, JJ and Chet. Hello, Patrick. Same here. I kind of like the purple, but not as much. Yeah. That is overload, JJ. Uh-oh. My birthday's only a few days, so I'm sure I'll get birthday money and spend it on the year four new skin DLC. Yeah, you get a few skins, but you get the year, or er, season 13, 14, 15, 16. That's the main thing, I think. The skins would be cool, but... I don't know, the, the new regions are probably the coolest part. Alright, there is a big fuel tanker just off to the side here. So if you guys need some fuel, there's some right there. Or if you're on hard mode. Wait, I forgot where I gotta bring these exactly. Oh, it's right up in front of us, just to the left. Okay. Well, because they're not packed, that's why it's not showing me. Makes sense. Yep, I remember now. You guys wanna see the, uh, the trailer that we used for the uh, thumbnail for this? The generator trailer deal. Does anybody want to see that? It's right next to here. Pack. Deliver. Hello, JJ. Hello, Ricardo. Oh no, it's falling out. And there we go. That should stay. Okay, done. If I remember correct from yesterday, says uh, Saki from his math, yeah. So if you buy, if the pass is $25, which that was uh, euros or US dollars, I think it is. Uh, two maps are $7 and the last one is 12. Yep. So you pay 777, which is 21 plus the 12, 33 total, or you can save $8 or whatever it would be and get uh, all four of them with the year pass. The maps are awesome. How was your day? Uh, it's going pretty good, Ricardo. How are you doing? Uh, hey, I found the Femme and it has cargo. Yeah. Where do I deliver the cargo? Uh, you can use one of them for the ferry and you can use one for clearing a blockage if you want i'm not really sure where you could where else you would use them for but that's what i use well that's what i've used so far both of them i actually didn't use mine i just deleted it but it made it a little bit more uh challenging i guess all right here we go oh never mind there we go guys we have the uh ferry open now so great cutscene I'm sure but here it is so now we can take the ferry right across to here and that's gonna save us from going all around this big open water area 
But yeah, if you guys want to see the uh, the trailer I use for the thumbnail, I'll quickly drive you over. It's right over here. It's just behind these big tanks. It's actually a new trailer. Oh wait, that's a task. I gotta grab that. Literally on a timer. Oh, it's a contest. Never mind. You doing okay? Thanks for asking. You have two fem trucks? Yes, we have two. We need all the fem we can get. Oh, they moved it. It's not here anymore. It was right down here. That's funny. Apparently it's gone now. It was right here. So I guess that's something that's changed for PTS. That's not no longer here. Just finished playing myself exactly the same mission done. Thanks, Patrick. Warehouse, fish market, trailers only. What does the end say? Trailers only, okay. It's $67 in my currency for the year four pass. Bang, Lonnie. Is it at the garage? No, it's uh, it's a, it's got a, it's kind of like the fishing boat trailer in season uh, ten, like a unique trailer. So it's not something you can buy in the trailer store. Although the the trailer itself is a new trailer, so you could you could buy it in the store. I'll quickly jump to the ch uh, garage and show you. Let's just grab uh, Pike, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Oh wait, the trailer store is not here. I forgot, it's way down here. Oh wait, I have this truck here. Here we go. Uh, where was it? Twin steer. Yeah, we can back up to the trailer store over here. So I will show you guys the new trailer, or one of them. If somebody knows where the last watchtower is, let me know, says Spoon. Well, we don't know which ones you've got, Mr. Spoon. That was all your plan for the day. Get back, Average Pumpkin. Welcome back. So, here we go. Wait, gotta back up. Oh, since this truck can't attach trailers, I can't even show you. Nice. Should have known. Oh, Don 71, maybe. Don for the win. Wait, does this thing have some off-road tires? Nice. Actually, I'm not sure if those are off-road or not, but they're not stock, I'll tell you that much. That's pretty cool. Oh shoot, this is only a scout, so I can only look at the scout ones, I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, one, two, three, four on this map. Let's see what we got here. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we got nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we got one, so that's twelve. Thirteen. 14? How many does it say? 16 total. So, yeah, I don't know where the other two are. We might have to uh, build them. Oh, you have 14 and you built one. Okay, so... There must be another one you have to build, I guess. Alright, let's go do... Let's do uh, fix my ride. Let's do that. Okay, fem, where are you? Uh, yeah, let's do the fem. All right, recover. And let's get the other fem as well. Then let's go to flatlands, go to... Well, actually, let me quickly do this. Okay, good, it's full. Go to the Flatlands Garage. Looks like the maps are pretty big. Yeah, they are two square kilometers by two square kilometers. Only saw one you need to build. 
You might be right, Mr. Spoon. I'm just, I'm, I only counted 14, I just counted, but I certainly could be wrong. Year 4 pass is 24.99 euros in Portugal. Yeah, I think it's 25 US dollars as well. I think the euro and the dollar are probably pretty close. Um, it's a high saddle brownish oil field trailer, but it's blue. More slim and has three rear axles instead of two. Yeah, that's right, Adrian. It's basically the 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 five slot high saddle, but it's uh it's bluish and it has three axles instead of two, so it's a little different. Do you have to find the garage in Flatlands? You have to find the garage in every map, except for the first one, yeah. Are you looking for the three axle trailers with the cargo right by the garage on the first map? I was looking for a the trailer that I used for the thumbnail, if you guys look at that big trailer, on my thumbnail when you clicked on the video, uh, that trailer is not where it was on on PTS. I, I just moved it last night and now it's gone on, on this version, so it's different. 30 gigs downloaded, 19 missing, huge update. That is the big update. I did all the contracts one by one, okay. Looks like the maps are pretty big, I think I read that one. Um, tax in all US, year 4 is $27 and change. I meant there's no task, right? Yeah, there's no task for it, but uh, if you look in the top right, we are doing Fix My Ride. So there's contracts to, uh, to get all of your garage functions back. So you can, basically all you can do is recover that garage. It doesn't fix your vehicle. It doesn't refuel your vehicle, there's no trailer store, there's no truck store, and you can't customize anything. So the garage barely works on Flatlands. It works, but just barely. <laughs> like you can recover to it and that's about it. 55 likes and 51 people watching, congrats, thank you Redneck. I, oh, I think the highest we've ever had is 59. 59 people watching, that is. Likes, I think we had like 83 last season, so... Still got a ways to go on the likes, but, uh... Six more people pop in and all of a sudden we're at the we're at a new record, but... Um... And it's more slim, makes it easier for driving through smaller maps. Nice. Might be a task, I will check. Yeah. The only problem with tasks is you have to go collect them all. So here's a big, uh, big trailer. One of the big uh, oil trailers you get in season two. Uh, it's just like Maine, where you had to rebuild it. Yeah, basically like Maine or like uh, season nine. Season nine just took one contract, but uh, yeah, it's basically like Maine or season nine. Season ten kind of had to fix as well, but. Not too much. But yeah, Maine is the closest uh, closest way to say it. I don't know what that is over there. The dev moves the three axle saddle high trailer right beside the garage. Really? Let's see. Oh, it's right there. You're right. That was what I was looking for. Yes. That trailer was over here. So I'll have to jump back and show you guys that one later. Thank you for that, Brandon. I didn't know it was there. I was like, no, it was, it was in this spot earlier. I don't know where it went, but I didn't know you were talking about that trailer. So yeah, I hate that mechanic, bro. Just let me fix my truck at least. Yeah, the mechanic says, screw you, go to a different garage. I ain't fixing that. I'm also not giving you any fuel. I'm also not going to allow you to buy any trucks. 
pretty strict guy. But yeah, right up here you can see the pickup point. We have a, uh, a warehouse. This warehouse has four metal rolls. Well, it has infinite metal rolls and infinite metal beams, so very valuable warehouse. I saw it this morning, very cool trailer. Very nice. All right, here we are, we have arrived. We got a scout fuel trailer. We've already been here earlier in the stream, but yeah, we can grab uh, four metal rolls now, bring those up to the garage and get repair back, repair and refuel, I believe. So we got that. We do have to come back here for one of the other ones for fixing the garage or the trailer store. I forget which one. I think we need two metal beams, maybe? Let me check. Just in case I don't drive away, let's see. Pimp my ride, here we go. Four cement, so that you can get way up there. That's weird, they Oh, I was gonna say, you could get it over here earlier. So, okay, you get cement up there, service spare parts down here. And then, what was the last one? Dude, where's my trailer? Here we go. Okay, two metal rolls and a metal beam. Alright, 61 people in the live? Oh, nice, that's a, that's a new record. Last time was 59. That's awesome. Party! Uh, you're welcome, glad to help you out with finding new location for the third axle saddle high trailer. Good afternoon, Clyde, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Clyde. So actually, I probably should overload this, shouldn't I? I gotta look at that again, we need because we can get four cement easy from up there, but the spare parts we need, that'll, that'll be two slots, plus the metal rolls is two slots, that's four metal beams, that, oh no, never mind. We could just bring three trucks back, we should be good. Doing okay, thanks. So we got two more trucks of eight, or er, we got this load of four, and then two more loads of four to bring up. I think. If I did my math right, I might have did it wrong. I don't know. But let's just go get this one fixed and then we'll work on the other ones. I think we're doing pretty good. Got the two main bridges fixed, got the ferry fixed, got the fem. Not too bad of a start, I would say. Also cleared a, a little blockage on the first map. I'm not sure how early you can take that trailer from the garage or not. If it's something you can grab right away or if it's something you gotta unlock a few things for. Year 4 pass is 33.99 Canadian. Uh, yeah, Rex said that earlier. He said 35, but 34... meh. Similar, I guess. 33, 34. Look at all those metal rolls just sitting there. We could use those. But yeah, what do you guys think we should do after this? After we fix the garage and the trailer store with the three contracts, what do you think we should do? Should we go get the rock grinder at that point? Because now we, we did everything that we kind of want to do as far as uh, 
being able to get the rock grinder easy. Because now all we got to do is bring the scout, or uh, the prototype exploration unit trailer. We got to bring that one down south with the truck. And then drop that off on one side, take the ferry across, and drop the other one off. So it'll be super easy. Maybe we'll do that after this. Is that what you guys want to see? Let's go get the rock grinder, maybe? I think that'd be pretty good. Probably go do that. Oh, you'd love to know where it is. Oh, it's just straight north of your garage, Saber Spade. Straight north. The, I mean, you, you can get it right away. The only thing is you have to complete one contract, which is called Bridging the Gap. So, I don't know, it's, Bridging the Gap's kind of a harder one. Uh, it's not hard, but it's kind of harder. <laughs> Wow, you have a light load. What's wrong? It's a good question, Clyde. I was I was doing the math, and I, I think I might have done the math wrong. But basically, we need, like, three trips of four. Or we could have, like, overloaded and done, like, two trips. But I was like, ah, screw it. Let's just keep driving. Let's just keep, keep things moving to keep people entertained. So uh, this one doesn't have a crane on it, which is why I didn't overload it. But then the other one does have a crane. We got two fems, two, uh, two of the big trucks. But I would agree, this is one of the lighter loads. We, This is the second time today we're actually carrying what, what the truck is built for. <laughs> no overload. But I'll show you Saber Spade here. I'll give you a minute and show you. Stop. Yay! Garage functions. Pretty easy one. So yeah, refuel and repair. Oh, you had me wondering? Yeah, basically it was just because I don't have uh, a crane on it. So here's your garage saber on the first map. The truck is like right here. It's like, it's just straight north of it. This, I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, it's, it's like right up here. There's, there's this road, and it splits off a little bit like this and goes a little bit further north, and it's like right here. It's just almost straight north of your garage. If you had $1 for every time you said bridging the gap, you'd be rich already. Oops, let's go back. Have to go, JJ. So tired. Catch you later. Thanks for streaming. Well, thanks for stopping by, Hunter. Have a good rest of your day. Or actually, night. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just... Let's, let's go get the rock grinder. Let's do that quick. Um, pipeline Bay. Yeah, we've said we've said bridging the gap a lot of times, haven't we? All right, let's use this one. All right, let's start. It's called a vice-like grip. Uh, I think it's in this one. Here we go. So yeah, here it is. That was pretty close. I remember we were looking at this, and I was like, it's just a little bit north of here. It's not not too far. Okay, we gotta grab a metal beam. That's right. So we gotta bring a metal beam there and then take the trailer or the truck. One of them goes here, then you hit the gateway, go across to here, deliver the other one right here. Mint. So our problem is we gotta go get a generator trailer. Actually, no. Here, I got it. I got it. Alright, what we'll do 
Okay, let's go back to Flatlands. Sorry about the uh, sorry about the loading screens here. So we need a metal beams. We got to go back to that same warehouse we were just at. The R2 engine is stronger. So we got to go back to this this warehouse right here for for the garage one we were just about to do. The pimp my ride. Well, actually, not pimp my ride. The other one, the uh, trailer store. So for the trailer store, we got two metal rolls and a metal beam to grab from there. So we'll just overload and we'll grab an extra metal beam on our way back. So we'll complete part of this one and also uh, bring what we need back to the other map. So uh, yeah, the R2 engine is the stronger one. That's on Orvo Hills. I can't remember what the uh, the amounts are for the R1, but the R2 has 288,000 torque. And I think the Dairy Special had 285. And the... Or no. I think the Dairy Special was 280 and the Kenworth was 285. But maybe I got that mixed up. I think somebody told me last time I had it incorrect. But yeah, I know it's it's higher than the next the next best truck by 3k. 288 to 285. But yeah, I don't remember what the R1 engine is. Much obliged. You're welcome. I don't know if, if this truck looks like I'm doing a good job driving it or not, but I've kind of gotten used to it. I think if you guys watch a lot of other people probably just starting out getting this truck, they're going to be like all over the road. It's just a little bit hard to get used to. Well, not hard to get used to, but it takes a little bit to get used to it. Oh. So this is where it's kind of annoying sometimes. It was kind of stuck going left and I was trying to turn right the whole time. But uh, how many of you guys have watched other streamers play some uh, season 12 today? I'm curious to see how many of you guys are watching, watching somebody else play as well. Is anybody else watching someone else also play? Like, are you watching my stream and some other streamers and then playing it as well, or...? Because I know when I hopped on, I, I already had two uh, two people that I watched were streaming it. Although I didn't watch because I just started streaming it myself. But only JJ. Well, thank you, Artem. Anybody else? Watching, watching a couple other streamers. You were watching Nate for a while. Was Nate Nate on Twitch today, I'm guessing? Or is he on YouTube? I mean, he usually streams on Twitch and then uploads it on YouTube later. Haven't even bothered picking up the Femme yet. Okay. Yeah, Patrick, it's, uh, it's a little bit... a little bit weird to get used to at first. I know there's someone in here earlier, I forget who it was, they're like, I'm not even going to touch that truck until they make a mod. Something like that. They might still be here, I, I forget who it was. But yeah, hopefully it's a pretty good showing. Uh, I've shown all four of the maps now. Gone around a little bit, not very much, but... For anybody who's on the fence, maybe uh, swayed your opinion one way or the other, based on if you liked it or not. 
Whoa. Uh, just JJ while playing. Fair enough. Uh, he ended about a half hour ago on Twitch. Okay. Not with... But playing Snowrunner. Uh, okay. I have you in Menace split screen with both audios on surround while playing by myself. Well, that's dedication there, lessons. I don't know any other people who stream well on YouTube, at least. I don't watch Twitch. Okay, Artem, fair enough. Okay, let's do Metal Beam, Metal Roll. Then we need another Roll and Beam. Only here, like no nonsense, way of your channel. Well, thank you, Patrick. I'm insane, but we have fun. That's that's all that matters, lessons. As long as you're having fun doing it. And let's try a roll. I don't know how this will go, but we'll try it. I think I'm going to try and shove it right right here in the articulation. I mean, it's pretty flat. Seems like a fairly good spot. Probably not, but we'll see. How many of you guys think this, this metal roll will ride okay? I have a feeling it's going to roll off pretty quickly. Uh, I think part of it's going to be from the articulation. Uh, I should be fine on fuel. Because every time you turn, you know, it kind of flops around a little bit. So we got six slots on a three slot trailer. Or truck, I guess, I don't know. It's actually riding quite well, I would say, but we haven't hit the dirt, or the mud yet. Mud and rocks. Seems fairly stable, though. I've honestly just had my eyes, like, fixated on that, that middle roll. I haven't even really been watching where I'm going. I mean, I, I am sort of, but basically been watching the roll. Yeah, it's kind of weird they reused some of the assets from Season 2. We got the, the Cat 770G trailer, and we also got this... Oh wait. Yeah, that was 2. Those were both in 2. Okay. Had to think about it. Yeah, we got this big uh, oil trailer here. Try not to hit the middle beam on that. We're good. Yeah, this big one over here, the big oil tank. Lessons, how far is Telemenis on his stream? I'm curious to see what percentage he's at. I don't know. Somebody told me he started streaming like an hour before I did. Because he got the fem right when I started, basically. And I was like, oh, cool. 
so I'm kind of curious to see how far he is. He's probably gotten a lot more watchtowers and upgrades than I have. I've, I've been kind of doing some of the bigger stuff. I don't know. Let's see, what is my percentage? I'm at 7%. So pretty, pretty bad percentage-wise, probably after four hours and 45 minutes, we're 7% done. And also, Clyde, do you remember how much uh, Nate got done? I'm curious. I don't know how long he was streaming, if you know that either. I'm just kind of wondering what, uh, what other people have gotten to, basically. I know Spoon was in here earlier. He said he was at like 20%. Which is pretty crazy. He's at six hours? Oh, okay, so yeah, he's about an hour and 15 minutes ahead of me. I'm at four hours 47. Saber Spade's at 4%. Anybody else who's playing? What percentage are you at? Anybody playing right now? Saki, I think you're still here. Oh, there we go. I will go to sleep. It's midnight for me. <laughs> That's funny. Like, on command. Saki, what percentage did you get to before you go, if you don't mind? Snake is also at 4%. Okay. Anyone else? We got two 4%. Uh, actually, that's all I know. Oh, Artem, you got 10%. You're flying. So right now, Mr. Spoon's in first with 20%. Then we got Artem at 10, myself at 7, Snake at 4, Saber at 4, Dabs for Dummies is at 2. Lessons, I know you're playing. Lessons and Saki, I know both of you guys. Or both of you were playing. Finally installed the update, nice. Uh, but there's something wrong with my game. Just started the, or started in the garage in the new map and I can't deploy some truck. Uh, you, Rui, you probably forgot to retain a truck. You probably have no trucks retained. So I would say go back to a different region. Uh, go to one of your trucks and retain it. What's up, bro? I'm at 5% on PC. 96%, Jesus. You must be uh, running co-op with all the mods you can have. Four four person co-op. That'd be insane. Nine or eleven hours in and be ninety-six percent. Ten percent with no mods. Nice. Oh wait, wait, where am I going? Oh a trader shop. Okay, yep, yeah, we're good. Uh, uh like twelve, fifteen percent, don't remember, just close the game. Okay, sounds good, Saki. Well Thanks for stopping in. Have a good night, uh, Saki, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon total game uh yeah just go to a different garage where you know you have vehicles like if you if you have vehicles in michigan go back to michigan and then recover a vehicle and then retain it by pushing x that's my guess you probably didn't retain any vehicles well hello jason welcome to the stream how are you doing hopefully you're doing good so here's the big dam this is on the fourth map. Ooh. Get back on the road, come on. There we go. 96% with work, nice. Uh, he scouted first, first map. Uh, then he set up his fuel trailer and bought bought generators and set them up did one one by the bridge one east of the ferry and got the fem and all-wheel drive upgrade about six hours long day yeah that is a long day you doing good bro eight percent vanilla only patrick is in third no spoon saki yeah spoon saki patrick then myself i think you're 76% total. I have eight regions finished at 100%. Very nice boy for Rui. 
I started reading your last name, Mui. I took the M from your last name and then Rui. Uh, lessons, do you know what percent menace is at? I know he said he's at six hours, but percentage wise, do you know? Also, if you're if you're still watching his stream, would you mind telling him, ask him if you'd like a bump in the back? He'll he'll know what I mean. He'll understand. Oh, four percent now, Dabs. Dang, you just doubled your percentage. Get some watchtowers or upgrades. Those are the those are the easy percentage movers. All right, skip some time here. Now we got a generator in the back of the shop here. I forgot this was here. Or back of the trailer store, my bad. Okay, let's do those two. And... Wow, I just forgot that we even had this metal roll on here, guys. This thing rolled all the way here just fine. I kind of forgot it was even there. About halfway through, I forgot it was there. That's funny. That thing did not move. That thing was solid. Impossible to pack the beam, okay. Okay, that should work, right? There we go. Alright, let's get the, uh other metal rolls. So now we just need two vehicle spare parts, which we can get that here. Oh, you got the giant, the abandoned, or what is it? Abandoned Titan? Abandoned Giant? Something like that? Gonna try now, thanks. You're welcome, Rui. JJ, why the Fem 37AT have material? Uh, I don't know. They just decided to give you a metal beam and a concrete slab. I guess. I don't know. You can use the slab to open the ferry, and you can use the metal beam to to open a rock slide if you want on the first map. I'm sure there's plenty of other things you could use them for, but that's what I would probably do. That's all that I know they're needed for, for sure. I mean, the metal beam you can use for... Uh, the bridge, the the one that Mr. Spoon said I'm going to get paid a lot of money if I was getting paid a dollar for. But bridging the gap, you need three metal beams. Do you have a favorite map in the game? Not really. Um, I mean, I really like Michigan just because that's where you start. It's kind of nostalgic, but... Uh, I thought the Alaskan maps were a lot of fun. You know, the snow was kind of my first experience there, but if I had to say a favorite map, I'd, I'd probably go with a favorite region, but I really like Amir just because it's really difficult, and I'm playing through it right now in my hard mode with, like, trying with, like, no chains, and we're not buying trucks, and trying not to buy trailers, and all this kind of added stuff for difficulty. That's been pretty fun. But, honestly, one of the most fun ones, I think, was probably Season 8. Because it's so flat and open to make the farm tractors drive well. There's a lot less trees, a lot less mountains and rocks. And, like, you can just drive all over those maps. So I would probably say Season 8. It's just so flat and open. So, for region, probably Season 8. Even though it's it's not, uh... It's not really about the tasks or the contracts. It's just the, the like, terrain itself. All right, let's go up here. So we're going through the gateway back towards the first map, guys. We're actually going right here. We're going to go right past this part. We're going to dodge this highway and be right where that, that uh, Dairy Longhorn is, 3194. Amir is cruel. Yeah, it, it really is. It's a difficult region. 
I, uh, I just went to Northern Ages installation for the first time yesterday or two days ago. I forget what one now. But, yeah, it's going to be pretty brutal. I think if we can beat Season 4, Amir, without chains, I think we can beat the rest of the game without it. But it kind of remains to be seen if we can... Uh, or if, there, if there's going to be another snow region. Oh, that... I didn't even know there was a roadblock up here. Okay, let me... It doesn't look like you can fix it, though, either, so let me go back. Funnily enough, I've never gone down this, uh... This area. No, they're still missing. I have no deployed trucks anywhere. Check, for example... I can select the MAC defense, press A to deploy, press B, and the truck doesn't get deployed. Weird. That is very weird. I would say try restarting your, your system, your console or PC, whatever you're on. I've never had or heard of anybody having that problem, so I don't know what that would be, but hopefully a restart would get it to go. Um, hello Vlad, how are you doing Vlad? Still streaming? Uh, yeah, this time it's a lot less than last time. Last time we did a 12-hour stream from like 5 to 5. Uh, today we've been streaming for just about 5 hours, so a little less than last time. But uh, if, if a lot of you guys use Map Runner, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do, um, on Map Runner there's a, there's a list of all kinds of like trucks and tires and all that kind of stuff. Vlad Vulcan, who's in the chat right now, is the one who updates that, so... Yeah, thank you Vlad for your work. Much appreciated. 12 hour stream, that's nuts. Yeah, we did from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. last time. 12 hours? Yeah, and YouTube took off 18 minutes, so now it says it's like 11 hours and 54 minutes. I'm like, what the heck? That's some BS, man. Stealing my time? Now it looks like I chickened out four minutes before, uh, before 12 hours. Like, come on. YouTube did me dirty. Uh, hello Tank Baby, how are you doing today? You cannot deploy other trucks, you'll try and restart your PC and be back soon. Sounds good, Rui. I hope that, hopefully that fixes the problem. Uh, wheels are locking up. Oh, we're out of fuel. Nice. I was like, wow, that's weird. What is Map Runner? Uh, it's a website that shows you lots of SnowRunner stats and... Like, all kinds of SnowRunner stuff, basically. Uh, it, I mean, it, the, there's lots of different uses for it, but you could use it just to find the watchtowers if you wanted. Or you could use it just to find upgrades, or you could use it to find different tasks that you're missing, or, like, they have all kinds of stuff. They have coordinates on there, so you can use it to, like, tell people, like, hey, if you go to this spot, you know, you can tell them exactly the coordinates, and normally people would be so confused, but... If you tell them to go to Map Runner and click somewhere, and then you can see the coordinates, you can figure out like, oh, okay, so if I add 50 here and go 100 this way, that's the spot they're talking about. Um, yeah, the table is updated with Season 12 now. Throw in a post on Reddit. Gotta farm the karma. <laughs> nice, Vlad. Nice. So yeah, like I said, if you guys haven't seen some of uh, Vlad's work, it's on... He updates some of the stuff on the map runner side, so a lot of the information some of you guys use is from Vlad himself, so thank you Vlad for your work. It's uh, much appreciated for the whole community. Alright, JJ, to win the FEM 37AT, you need to repair it? No. No, you don't need to repair it. It's, uh, it's fully repaired when you get it. There's no fuel, but it's repaired. Yes, Amir is hard, but doable. Uh, 
Personally, I didn't like the map, played with friends in co-op. Uh, but friend was host and didn't plan to redo everything from zero. So no. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's fair. It's a lot more enjoyable playing with friends, that's for sure. 67 likes? Wow. 58 watching? Hello, bad boy gamer. How are you doing today? Right, let's stop here at the fuel store. Oh, nice. Got it full. Just just in time. Uh, thanks, Vlad Vulcan. Help me through some tough spots. They should fix uh, the tower location for phase 12. Which tower, Spoon? Which tower are you complaining about now? Is it the one where you have to... The, the one you have to fix that you're talking about? It's great to hear people are appreciating my work, truly heartwarming and motivating me to keep doing what I do. That's good to hear Glad or Vlad, sorry. I was gonna say glad to hear it Vlad, but I messed that up. Good but sick with the light cold? Oh, that's a bummer. Yes, winter's uh, always stuff going around, especially when the kids are in school, you know, so. Tank Baby, do you know, or wait, do I know you or do you mean the table data helped you? The table helped me a lot, oh nice. Yeah, it's got like different, I mean, there's there's tons of data in there, but he's got like, uh, you know, the torque, different torque powers for engines and different which tires they can have and like all all sorts of random like anything you can pretty much think of really is in there. Yes I use that a lot when I don't find something Mr. Spoon. Nice. On map runner did I say only 12 uh 12 uh, watchtowers. Okay. Bitman do you have discord? Says Ricardo. How are you doing? I'm doing good, bad boy gamer. Thanks for asking. We are uh, just over five hours in now. We're headed back to get the rock grinder truck. So we need one metal beam and then we can take the truck. Help me ALSP. What does that mean? Is that an abbreviation I'm supposed to know, or...? Also, thanks, Vlad. Uh, thanks, Vlad Vulcan, for the updates on the spreadsheets. We really appreciate that. Yeah. I'm just glad to be finally able to play SnowRunner for hours instead of minutes. Dude, I can't even... Like I said earlier, I can't even imagine not being able to play it. Like, you play it for five minutes and it crashes, and five minutes more and crashes again. Like, that would drive me absolutely nuts. I don't think I would play the game, honestly. I think I would have quit. You guys are more into it than I am. I would have I would have gave up. The chat loves me. Yeah, they appreciate your work, Vlad. Uh, Vlad Vulcan also has a YouTube channel, guys, if you want to check his out. What else did I miss? Um, so at least it's patched, uh, but I still crash, but nowhere near as often. So that's good to hear. Um, like I said, I would, I probably would have given up. I, for some of you guys that I've heard how often it crashes, I would have given up. There's just, there's no way I'd have been able to put up with that for that long. Okay, I found a way to fix this deploying. I just sold the Mac in Kenworth and bought them back, and now I can deploy. Oh, that's weird. That's such a weird glitch. Okay, it's working now for the tower. <laughs> that's good, Mr. Spoon. I tested the Femina Mirror today. It's a real beast. Towed 10 slots, 4 plus 6, like nothing. Oh my god, that consumption. 
Yeah, Vlad, I I took it up the hill in season 10, you know, the really steep, uh, the ski lift, the, the far, the south side, the, the more steep side. I took the fem, this was, this was PTS fem, uh, up that snow hill, or not snowy in that one, but uh, up the ski slope there. I had two metal beams in the truck, and I had two on the, the red uh, ramped flatbed trailer. And we were able to make it all the way up that hill. It did have to get unpacked, but we made it all the way up the hill with four metal beams in a, a trailer, which is pretty crazy. That hill is so steep. So the fact that it can make it all the way up there is crazy. But yeah, I, I did the same thing as you did. I drove around in a mirror through some mud, some ice, over some rocks, and like, the just, the truck is really, really good. You got the 16th? The game didn't register one. Okay, gotcha. My truck was still parked at it. Oh, that's funny. So it was probably the last one you went to. Thanks again, map runner. All right, I think I got to turn here, right? This is my road. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, the fuel consumption, like Vlad was saying, is uh, definitely an issue with the FEM, though. It's got a 380 liter, or 340, excuse me, 380, I was going to say 480, because I was going to include the roof rack, but 340 for the truck, and then 140. Rank 30? Nice. Top max rank now, finally. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, for the amount of consumption this thing has, that's not really enough fuel. Because the, the Kenworth has 510, and that thing can go quite a ways. I mean, it has really high fuel consumption as well, but it's also got a roof rack, so you can have even more with that. Whereas this one is 480, roughly the same. It's probably a little bit less, but yeah, the, the Kenworth's got more range than this thing. 288k torque is no joke. Uh, but the 18.0 consumption rating means like 32 to 35 a minute under full load. And that's with the advanced special gearbox, which is known for not having all-wheel drive penalty. Most gearboxes have. Oops, going up the hill here. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty crazy high consumption. I mean, like you said, under full load, you get some thick mud or something, you can probably get up into, like, 40s. I remember when I first tried the Kenworth out, I was taking it down a hill and went through some mud, and I got to, like, 42.9 or something. I was like, oh my god. I think this one I've reached, like, 40, 39, somewhere in there. I haven't paid quite enough attention, but, I mean, you can get to mid-20s, mid-30s, pretty easily on this, so. You're noticing there's a lot of mud this season, okay. We should be coming up around this corner to the left, I think, is uh, is where we get the uh, rock grinder. It's coming up here pretty soon. There should be a rock blockage in just a bit. Um, yeah, Portugal represent, nice. Rui and Ricardo. So here it should be, yep, there it is, just up around the corner here. So I'll flip this back, I actually just saw it on the map. So here is the rock grinder, guys, there it is. So we got our metal beams. Wait, why can I not... Uh why am I not able to accept this? Oh, it's because it's, uh, 
from here, right? Um, vice light grip. Here we go. Start tracking. There we go. Stage complete. Uh, the Kimberth 963 also needs that advanced special high range and fine tune increased consumption in all the drive mode, but both special gearboxes don't. I was going to say, it doesn't uh, the advanced special on the Kenworth not use not have an all-wheel drive penalty, if I remember correctly? So yeah, here's where it's at. Again, I know I kind of showed this earlier, but here's your garage. The Rock Grinder is basically just straight north of your garage on the first map. But you need to have a metal beam to bring here. Okay, there we go. I think we'll leave the truck outside for now. We'll just pull it behind for a bit. There we go. I don't think it'll fit in here, but we could try. Greetings all. I just got on and started bridging the gap. Very nice, Ian. I speak Portuguese with Rui JJ. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I mean, I don't understand what you're saying. Neither does a lot of the chat, but you guys are fine. As long as it doesn't get, like, too crazy to where the chat's going super fast and, like, nobody can read, you know, but... Yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it. I see Diflock and Alvage Ive is going to be my best friend because of the mud. You might be right. I'm going to try and push this thing back, actually. And there we go. Yeah, there's there's no way it's gonna fit in there, right? Yeah, that's definitely not happening. Try and get up here a little bit on the flatter area. Why is the stream only in 720p? Because I have a bad connection, Vlad. If I did it in 1080, I would I would probably drop like half my frames. I'm not even kidding. So this is the best that I can really do, sadly. I think you actually told me that last time. Last time I streamed when you stopped in, uh, when we were testing the, the JAT tires out. I think you said the same thing. Alright, I think that should stay for now. Oh, free radar trailer. Actually, I think it deletes, doesn't it? I know on, um... Okay. Um, I know on PTS, when you did this one, the trailer was frozen there, but I think it was supposed to delete if I remember right. 1080p 8-bit stream? <laughs> yeah. Ew, Coke is nasty. I would much rather have a root beer or Dr. Pepper at lessons. I wouldn't say Coke is nasty, but I also would rather have a root beer or Dr. Pepper. Uh, maybe between bed and cab. Oh yeah, that, we actually just did that uh, before you came in. We put a metal roll there. And it rode so well, I forgot it was even there. We drove all the way from uh, the bottom part on the fourth map to the all the way up to the top part on the fourth map. And salted peanuts and a coke. Okay. I'm trying to think that that combo does seem to go pretty well together, actually, Lessons. I'm, I'm not... I don't know. I feel like Coke would probably go better with salted peanuts than a root beer. 
I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. IBC root beer all day long. Nice. All right, so let's get this thing back. <laughs> Lessons is like, oh yeah. Whoops, oh my goodness. Start looking at the chat again. Oh, and about my YouTube channel, not worth following to be honest. It's only storage for gameplay clips and gameplay clips I make. Free to run 30 gigabytes of those today from uploading them to YouTube. That's funny. So if you guys want to see Vlad Vulcan's throwaway snowrunner clips, they're on his YouTube channel. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say throwaway, but like you said, he just he probably used them for something and then cleared the space, so I just threw them up on YouTube. Beverages, beverages people, sodas, mini sodas, ah, using a redneck panda's joke. I'm from Minnesota. Mexican pure sugar cane coke. Yeah, I've heard Mexican coke is actually better than uh, American coke. Same with their Doritos, I guess. They're more cheesy. I don't know. Pretty much. Lessons, you'd probably know better because you're from Texas. You can actually get that kind of stuff. I live way up in Minnesota. It's about the farthest... Uh, farthest north you can go anyways. It's for the bloopers, yeah. There's an old wheelbarrow next to the road in the middle of nowhere. On which map, Snake? My dad called them Pops. That's what we call them up here. We call them Pop. In, in the north, they're called Pop. We don't call them sodas. I know in the south somewhere they call them, they call it just Coke. They're like, what kind of Coke would you want? Oh, I want a Pepsi Coke. Like, Coke, Coke means pop in the south. And, uh, soda also means pop, depending on where you go. But up here we call them pop because when they freeze, they explode. They pop. So they're called pops. In reactive zone? Okay, I'll have to look for it. I'm sure I'll be back there a hundred times more, so... Shoot, why'd I go left here? Oh, man, I made it harder on myself. Oh well, I guess. Okay, let's grab some fuel from the Zix. Where is that? Here we go. You like Minnesota? All right, let's let's solve this. What does everybody call them? So, start start from fresh. So, have you found the hidden cabin yet? No, I haven't. So, Zing, what do you call them? Do you call them sodas, pop, or Coke, or anything else? Fuel tank. Flip them. There we go, we're good. I mean, I know I have the, uh, the radar trailer here which has fuel. Well, actually, does it? It should, right? Yeah, it does, okay. Venom Carnage says soda. Um, somebody, somebody keep track, if you don't mind. I can't. <laughs> Gets a little confusing sometimes. Uh, I call them Cokes no matter what brand. Okay, so Tank Baby says Coke. Venom Carnage says Soda. I'm drifting in a modded burlac. Um, 
I'm from N.O., New Orleans. I call it soda. I think that's right. Oh, N.C., North Carolina. Okay. So we got soda, soda, and Coke. Um, well, someone can mark mine down. I call it pop. In the north, we call it pop. You call them poison? Yeah, fair enough. Sugar bombs? Uh, soda? I'm in Wisconsin. It's weird. Geography matters. Zing, really? You call them, you call them soda? I thought it was like a whole Midwestern thing that we all call them pop. Is it, is it more local? Like, just Minnesota? We got Average Pumpkin from Michigan, I think, right? That they call soda. I live in Ohio, we say pop. Your cousins in Buffalo call it soda. Dabs says Coke. <laughs> Redneck mixers. Uh, I call those beverages by the brand name Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Fanta, Sprite, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that works. In northern Wisconsin, it's pop. Okay. I'm a neighbor to you, JJ, and I call it soda. Venom, where are you from? I thought you were from Oklahoma. Oh, no, that's Lightning Ninja, isn't it? Sorry, I got you mixed up. My wife calls the soda pop. Redneck, good one. Where we start to sound more dioper. I don't know if I said that right. Wisconsin. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought you were from Oklahoma. I think I got you mixed up with Lightning Ninja. Lightning Ninja, if he's here, it doesn't look like he is still. Hey, Cools, what do you call it? You're from Texas too, right? What do you call it? Maybe you already said it. No, you didn't. Old timers call it Soda Pop. That's funny. In my group, the only drink we drink is Mountain Dew. You call it Coke? See, that's so weird to me that people would say, like, Coke, and they're like, what kind of Coke? Oh, I'll take a Sprite. Like, that just, that just seems whack. I don't know why. Like, we call Coke Coke, and then we call, like, everything else, like a pop. Like, what kind of pop do you want? Oh, I'll take a Sprite or a Coke. It's kind of funny. All right, we're getting stuck here. Most of the South say Coke. I think Coke is the weirdest one. Like, soda and pop make sense to me, but calling it Coke and then it's not Coke, like it could be Pepsi or something, seems so weird. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, no. Come on. Venom is from Planet Kleintar? If I said that right. I think he's making a joke about the the Venom Carnage, the uh, superhero or whatever you want to call him, supervillain. I don't know how you say that name though. Yep. Fun fact, Dr. Pepper predates Coke by one year, really. I'm not the most skilled snowrunner player. Wait, it takes more than two years to finish a normal game mode. Oh, wait. A normal game mode region, meanwhile it takes a month for you to finish a hard mode region. Um, well, but I, I'm playing it for like 15 hours a week or so. So, I mean, that is quite a lot of, uh, come on. Touching all the wrong trees here. Quite a lot of time, but yeah, we've, we've been flying through hard mode lately. Do you know Coke used to have cocaine in it? Yes, I did. I did know that. Hot Dr. Pepper. If you were a waitress in the South, how would you know what they want? Yeah, that's... Like, you have to ask them, what kind of Coke do you want? And then you hear, like, oh, I want a Pepsi Coke. Like, what? <laughs> 
It just seems so weird. Like obviously that's what they're they're used to, but from somebody who calls Coke a Coke and Pepsi a Pepsi, like I don't call Pepsi a Pepsi Coke or whatever. So I don't know. Seems weird. Uh, I have just slightly less than 2,500 hours in SnowRunner. I think I'm pretty close to you, Vlad. I think I have like 3,000-ish. I'm not really sure. I have... Because I have a lot of hours on PTS, and then I have a lot of hours on the normal version on Epic. Then I also have a lot of hours on Steam, and then I also have hours on Xbox before I bought it on, on either of them. Is this season worth getting? Uh, kind of depends, but uh, for most people I would say yes. Probably just for the truck, if nothing else. This truck is probably one of the best in the game. I would say top four. Uh, between 605R, the Mastodon, the uh, Kenworth 963, and this one, I would say those are like the top four trucks. So if you're just getting it for trucks even, probably worth it, yeah. But also, it's one of the bigger regions. It actually has the most uh, contracts in the game. Or not contracts. Uh, most total, I guess, stuff to do. Missions or whatever you want to say. At 108. Amir had 107. And uh, Glades had 103. So it's, it's the longest season as far as total things to do goes. Um... I don't know, it just sounds bleh. What damn it's good, that's funny. Um, now put the peanuts in the coke, mind blown, that's funny. You guys are crazy. Uh, wait, uh, I kind of don't want a spoiler, but I kind of do, so JJ, give it to me. What did the 49X truck turn into? It turned into thin air, zing. Absolute nothing, there's nothing there. The first map is very shortcuttable. All the towers I need to unlock. Towers, it's my way. Uh, not gonna rush to the new truck. Gotcha. Yeah, play it your way. Don't don't worry about what other people say. <laughs> Said that a few times. If you don't want to rush to the truck, don't rush to the truck. All right, what do we got here? This is the rock grinder drop location. There we go. Mission complete with that. Um, should I get this or Season 9? Ooh, that's a tough one. Honestly, I really like Season 9. But, well, I guess... the So the price is like $5 higher, which is quite a bit. You could get two seasons for the price of... You know, close to the price of this one. But you're getting one of the better trucks here. You're also getting a good truck in Season 9 with the, uh, the Dairy Special. That one gives you a really good truck. I mean, if you care about being up to date, this would probably be the one to play because everybody's going to be playing it right now. But if you don't really care about doing that, then... Yeah, it's very tough. It's a good question. Um, I was in... Shoot, I lost that one. Alright. Well, I was in NH, and I ordered a Coke, and I got a Coke, and I was like, no, a Pepsi. <laughs> what is NH? New Hampshire? NH. NH. Cola Boss equals a rocket ship. That's funny. What is your favorite console? PlayStation or Xbox? Uh, well, this DLC is top tier. I know it's tough, yeah. Sigh, I was relying on a bonus truck on my save. Well, there, zing, there is a truck over here, a Don 71 though, so it's a small little truck, but right here. I think you get a CK1500 on the second map. New Hampshire, okay. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? I thought I had to go around for some reason. Um, that's fine. When I say we send the modded collab to space, yeah, we could do that at the end, Venom. That's what we did last time, didn't we? The end of the stream. That was good, good fun. Do I, actually, I don't even know if I have it on 
here anyway. I keep forgetting if I sell them, because usually I sell the mods to get the money to buy the trucks. But then I'll, I'll sell a couple of trucks and buy it back. Alright, so last time this thing turned into a frozen brick on PTS. So I'm going to take this out for now. And I'm going to take this out because I don't want it to be stuck in my truck and then I can't move. So let's get this out of the truck. Yeah, you got that on early on. Is there a CK-1500 on the second map? Have you done that? I think there is, but I'm not 100%. Okay, let's pull this through here. Actually, let's do this. Attach to the front of our truck and pull it. Alright, here's the mission for the rock grinder, guys. There we go, 10,000 for that one. Oops, there we go. Uh, restore crane. It's funny that the rock grinder is just sitting there. Let's see if this thing's solid. Oh yeah, it's, it's a solid brick, so it's stuck there. That's exactly why I didn't want to leave it in my truck, because or else my truck would have been immovable after that. Rednick, what happened? I heard the Mac defense. Is, wait. I had the Mac defense and they took it away from me. The trailer hasn't disappeared. Yeah, that one's stuck there. It did the same thing on PTS, which was uh, kind of annoying because I brought it in the trailer just like this. And then my truck was stuck there. It couldn't move. Alright. Rock grinder, come here. Try and flip it back over. Map Runner says there's a CK-1500 task, but there's a Scout 800. Really? They might have changed the truck then. So the only free hauler is the Fem. Yeah, you might be right. There we go. Alright, let's go... That's the fem we're in. Okay, we have to jump back to... Flatlands. Sorry, the Navstar military truck, they took it away from me. Okay. What do you need the industrial boil boiler for in Season 12? Where is the industrial boiler? Is that... Is that this right... Here? Is that this one, this trailer? I don't remember what it's called. But it has to go to the reactive zone in this corner, to this big structure here. But yeah, they, they had a truck here, but they took it away. So it didn't turn into anything, sadly. But also, I think over here, Hopeless Romantic, let me check. Oh wait, I did start it, didn't I? I thought I just saw it. Oh yeah, you don't you don't get a truck anymore. You used to get a CK fifteen hundred from this one. They took it out. Do you know if there's a trailer store in Reactive Zone? Uh, there is not. There's only tr two trailer stores in the entire region, and they're Pipeline Bay and Flatland. And the one in Flatland, you have to build it, which is actually what we're working on right now, right up here. So let's go back and do that. Oops. Yeah, dude, where's my trailer? We gotta go get some stuff. So we need, I gotta see if it's a, uh, nope, we brought it all, we just need the vehicle spare parts, which we can get from over, oh, it's not there anymore. Oh, it's over here, okay. I couldn't remember, there's one over here, I think it's cement we can get over there. Hey, how's the season so far? Doing pretty good, Jesse, how are you? Hey JJ, do they put the tire on my new truck? I don't have to do it. Uh, what tire? You anticipate more water mission deliveries. Yeah, there's at least one. I remember seeing one of them. I haven't looked too much, so I don't remember... ...what other ones they had, but yeah. There's at least one water delivery mission here.
Uh, reactive zone and its cargo, sorry. A little behind in the chat, guys. And I bought the game day one, I should have had that truck. Oh yeah, I own the Navistar on Xbox and on Steam, but I don't own it here because they won't let you buy it. Which is kind of dumb. Like, there should be some way that I can transfer, transfer it. Uh, is there farming as well? I saw it in the overview trailer. I don't think so. I, I mean, there's there's quite a bit of uh, farm fields, but I don't believe there's any farming at all. But yeah, like off to my right, right through here, I'll actually go there. Actually, it's probably faster this way anyways. I did this on PTS, there's farm fields over here. So, basically a straight shot there if you go through the fields. So here we go. Bunch of fields here, random stuff. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be, to be honest. But here it looks like we got some corn, maybe? No, is that? That does not look like corn, though. I don't know what that is, sunflowers or something? Not yet bloomed. Got some hay bales over here. You haven't been there yet? There is, a there is according to Map Runner, there's a task that gives you a Scout 800 in the garage in Flatlands. Really? Oh, west of the garage in Flatlands. So it must be out over here, huh? Oh, yeah, there's one on a mountain over here. I didn't know that one actually gives you the Scout 800. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's like falling off a cliff over there. Maybe I should go do that. <laughs> Remember, I left my truck this morning, got a flat tire, the MH9500. Uh, the tire guide left the tire owners and the, of the property, put it in my truck, I don't have to do it. Oh, nice, they put it on your truck? Yeah, I do remember that now. Sorry, it's been a pretty crazy day. Hello, William. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, William? So here we got a little uh, field of um, hay, or wheat, or I don't know, hay bales, I guess. But yeah, it's a much faster way just to go straight up through these farm fields, guys. Hopefully the farmers don't mind. So we need two vehicle spare parts for this. I think the next one we need two service spare parts. And then we need like four cement, something like that. There's a trailer back off over here. I don't remember where this has to go exactly. We'll, we'll come back to that at some point. 74 likes, 51 watching. Nice. We still got 12 more likes before we uh, before we beat the record, but we did hit like 61 watching earlier, I think. Um, it might have even been higher than that, but I wasn't watching, but 61, that's a new record for me. 59 was the previous one, so we did beat that. Michael, hello. I just got my Season 12 on console and downloaded it, and they just announced Season 4 for next year. That's correct. You can actually uh, buy Season 4 oops, in the uh, content library here. Year 4 pass, you get four new uh, skins for the ANK MK38 Civilian, the International Pay Star 5070, Caterpillar CT681, and the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. So you get four new skins right off the bat, which is nice. All right, quickly, I gotta check what we need, uh, vehicle spare parts. Oh, crap. Do you wanna destroy, refuse? Okay, which do I need for the trailer store now? Or this one? Okay, service spare parts, we need two. And I don't think we have that here, right? We have one service spare part. That's a bummer. 
I think we can get those at the north part though. Let me check. Yeah, we can. We can get them up there. Okay, we're good. Uh, 11 more. Yeah, we need 11 more. Oh, wait, 74. Oh, 11 more uh, people at one time, I think you're saying? Oops, time to get a $25 gift card for Xbox again. Nice. Just got my entire suspension, three-fourths of my gas tank taken out by a single rock. Ouch. That hurts. The rock got you good. Wait, where am I going? I'm turning off too early. My game has been acting strange and it forgets I did some tasks or unlocked some maps. Wow, that's very weird. I've never seen... Oh my goodness. Never seen that before. Got a dairy special stranded in Cherno with the map still blacked out and unavailable. What the heck? Yeah, I've never seen that before. I've seen a lot of issues, but I've never seen that one. Like I haven't been there. That's very weird. Yeah, the guy that owns the property, he put the tire on and say, uh, to say thank you for all the work I do for him for free. Well, that was very nice. Man, it brings me back to when season four and eight were released. Yeah, this one looks a lot like eight with the fields to me. Like, I know they're different, but it's a lot of fields. So yeah, the most people I think we've had concurrent at one time is 61. I believe that's it. I, that's the highest that I've seen. So we're about five away, and then, yeah, the most likes I've had was 83 on a stream before, so. Or while I was still live, 83. Obviously, after I've ended it, it's gotten... Oh, nope. More than that. Oof, that was close. Different, but good times. Yeah, I was like, WTF, I have five dairy specials. I can only count four, and then I remembered. Wow, that's so weird. Did you, like, mess with the game files or something, Vlad? That could have screwed something up. They have some issues with the Xbox first season 12. 58, 59, yeah, we might get there, hopefully. Fingers crossed, right? 74 likes, nice. Thank you, William. Yeah, that's very weird, Vlad. Very, very weird. I've never seen that before. Man, my suspension's about to go. I gotta stop hitting stuff. I mean, who doesn't want to see the Femme just driving off-road, though? Driving wherever it wants. I think I gotta go right up here to the right. The road should come out somewhere around here. If I remember right. Which I probably do not. Actually, I think just down to my right's the swamp, right? Okay, yeah, this is basically where I came up last time. Fair enough. Can't really see where we're going, but... Going in the right direction, so there's that. Okay. Oh, oh no, almost lost it. As I was going down there, I was like, I probably should have picked a little better path, but I'm like, yeah, screw it. We'll just go. I'm so excited. I haven't really watched any Season 12 content, and I'm glad it'll be more of a surprise. Yeah, I'm the same way as you, William. I like to play it and find out for myself before I, I hear from other people. Uh, I usually play for like three or four days on PTS before I like really look at anything, because I want to just experience it all for the first time myself. Find all the upgrades, find the trucks, find everything. Usually I don't mess with the game files because I play GeForce, now Cloud Gaming. Okay.
All right, so we gotta drop two off uh, at the trailer store. You should get 100% like. That would be crazy, Michael. That would be insane. We'd be at like 900 likes almost. 850, I guess. Oops, I was looking at the chat. Oh no. Bummer. All right. Yeah, no, JJ, you have to find the hidden cabin. Hi, JJ. Hello, Steven. How are you doing? That's like super early for you. What is it, like 1 o'clock, Steven, or something? a.m. I mean rip yeah I was looking right at you guys' chat and I was like oh god screwed that up went right into the guardrail it was a good time for it though right next to the garage couldn't ask for a better one here okay, I gotta go grab a tr oh shoot ah, I went to the wrong map um, if you're on later I'll be back dinner prep and cooking time sounds good lessons I'll probably be getting off shortly actually let's go back to the other map why are those back oh it's 7 a.m. wow okay never mind uh, just wondering if anyone had any issues downloading season 12 on ps4 I can't seem to download it oh no uh, Steven I heard that Japan has to wait like a month for season 12 I know you're not in Japan but possibly some oh it's 1am where you are Vlad gotta go to sleep don't feel so great you have a cold as well oh, that's a bummer I hope you feel better uh, Vlad hopefully you get better soon have a good rest of your night Vlad and I'm sure I'll see you around uh, lessons you as well hopefully see you again later I don't, I'm probably not going to be on too much later so probably not tonight but some other time um, why are those back? What are you talking about? Why is what back? And no, not the bushes, just stay connected to the winch and deconnect it from the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bushes pull out of the ground. That's not fun. Thanks. You're welcome, Vlad. Okay, let's drop that. trucks and let's pack restore the crane all right here we go yeah I don't know I don't know where I heard it um, if you're in Japan whoop. if you're in Japan you can't use a VPN I think you probably could uh, William Yeah, we have a crane in the other one, Michael. We have uh, a three-slot one with a crane, and this one's a four-slot one. But I think you could probably use a VPN and get it, but I don't know if it's just Japan. I'm not sure who even told me that. Somebody in the chat, like, two, three, four hours ago, whatever it was, told me that Japan has to wait a month. But I don't know. I don't know why that is either. What? Not even pizzas? Not sure what you're talking about. I'm a little bit lost. Mango nectar. Oh, here we go. No one can talk about food because Pavo is not here. I don't think Japan is as strict as North Korea with internet access. No, definitely not. I don't know why. That's just something that somebody told me in the chat. I don't know if anyone wants to look it up and see if see if there's some news as to why I have no idea but uh, Steven aren't you you're from Singapore right no I told you I always get them mixed up Singapore and what's the other one uh, what's the big city that's in China that's like on the coast south southeast coast part anybody know Hong Kong yeah that's the two I get mixed up dang it I got it wrong I don't know why I always mix those two up Singapore and Hong Kong dang it 
Uh, not sure all the others have been able to, uh, at the same time, play as everyone else. I don't know what's happening. Honestly, I don't know either. Um, that was just what I heard. That's the first time I've really heard anybody had to wait. I mean, I knew the Switch had to wait for, like, the tires, but... That was just the Switch platform, not like a, a region in the world. So I don't know why they would have to wait. Maybe, I don't know, some sort of uh, like clearing logistics or something. Shanghai? No, he, he, Hong Kong. Hong Kong was the one. I don't know why I get Hong Kong and Singapore mixed up. They're not even really that close on a map, but for some reason I get them mixed up. Where is the Fem Unlocked at? Just what map? It's on the third map. I have to think about the names. So it would be Orville Hills. Actually, it's on the third map no matter which way you go. You can go east and go to Orville Hills, or you can go south and go to Orville Hills. But either way, there's a map in between it. Uh, service spare parts. There we go. Yeah, you're welcome, William. All right. Let's see, what are we at? Oh, we're at 8% now. We are flying. <laughs> I just think it's going really slow. It's a lot of driving there. The, the maps are pretty spread out. Although I feel like we got a really good start. We got uh, the two main bridges, the ferry, the garage, and now we're getting all of our garage functions, the trailer store. Should be good to go. I think after this, because we already got the rock grinder now as well. You're at zero. I think after this we'll probably just start clearing some random rock slides and clear up the map a little bit more. Oh, hello, Telemetis. How did your stream go? Uh, so far, doing pretty good. I was asking earlier what your uh, percentage was at, because uh, Lessons was in both of our chats. So I was, I was asking him, I told him to tell you if he needed a bump in the back end, but I guess he never relayed the message. Oh, Vlad, you're still here. <laughs> Uh, hello, Bryce or Pearl? Probably Bryce. It went really good. Awesome. How's yours? So far, so good. Well, shoot, you do where did everyone else go? I I don't know. Oh, I'm at eight percent as well. So we're tied. Eight percent is really good for how long were you on? Six and a half hours, I think, right? Seven, seven hours. Something like that. Oh shoot, no, I gotta go the other way first. Noise. Yeah. Um, I've, I got the most amount of viewers I've ever had concurrently at 61 earlier, which is cool. We're still, still getting close on the likes. I think somebody said 74 earlier. So I think we're uh, nine away from the highest, uh, highest amount of likes I've gotten in the live stream. Six and a half, but I had a lot of doozies. Oh no. That's no good. I mean, I'm sure it made for a, a good viewing experience though. Like for, for anybody watching, you know, it makes it more interesting when you're falling over. 81 now, okay, we only need two more likes and we'll, uh, we'll pass the record. Well, two more to tie it, three more would pass it. Smash that like button. Well, I'm glad to hear your stream went very well. I heard you went and got the fem right away. I was I was hearing from from people who were watching both streams. <laughs> kind of funny. I'm pretty sure it was season 11 where they did, but the highway feels better. 
I think season 11 they just got rid of some rocks. Like, they got rid of rocks and sticks for the most part. Look at how clear this, this road is. Do you guys know how often there's sticks and rocks in the road? They got rid of a lot of them. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was about season 11 where they kind of stopped doing the, the rocks and sticks crap. Or at least less. Alright, there we go. But Vulcan, after you left the chat... Wait. After you left chat, wanted to ask... Oh, chat wanted to ask you a question. Okay, got it. It was fun, but that 770 trailer can burn in hell. Yeah, that trailer was, was tough. What did you use to haul it? What is the highest low saddle? To be honest, I'm not sure. I've never checked low saddle. I tried for a while there, I was thinking about creating a list, but I talked to Nathan and SD1, and they said there wasn't any list. I thought there was, but apparently there's not. But, uh, no, I used the Mac Defense, and that was, it was pretty slow, but it worked pretty well. If I had to guess, it would probably be the Mastodon for the highest low saddle. I'm not sure. Oh, you used the 47X, but the Kenworth came to the rescue. Yeah, I used the the Mac this time. I used the Azov 7 last time, and the Mac did way better than the, Ma that and the Azov did. It was far, far better. Oh, I didn't do any research on this for that. Um, not that I even saw something on this on Reddit. Oh, okay. It needs to be changed to a high saddle, like a boat trailer, yeah. Because it was a saddle low, which was kind of a bummer. We used the Mastodon Saber Spade. How did that go? The mech is so good, it's a shame mine is stuck in a mirror. Oh, yeah, that's right, you have half your truck stuck in a mirror. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, I used, I used the Mac and it did really, really well. I mean, it was still slow and it was dragging and got caught in a few places and stuff, but overall it was really good. Kenworth W990 has one of the highest low saddles in the game. Wow, I didn't, didn't know that. When I tried attaching the blue flatbed, it was actually hanging in the air, ruining the steering wheels, not touching the ground. Wow. All right, let's switch to this. We need, dude, where's my trailer? Switch the time quick. Never saw anything like that with other trucks. Neither have I. That's very interesting. All right, there we go. We got the trailer store done. Oh yeah, the. The 990 is way better now, Telemenis. I don't know if you've tried it or not, but it's it's a much better truck. Honestly, I would say after the Tuz, the, the 420, it's probably got the best tires in the game. But maybe that's just my opinion, but... With the ratings they got, they got a 3.4. 3.5 is the, the best after the Tuz. So it's slightly worse in the mud, but the rating in the dirt is 3.1, I believe. And that is very high. Usually if it has a, a 3.5, it's about a 2.5 in the mud. Or, a, excuse me, dirt and rock, sorry. So 3.5 mud and snow, 2.5 dirt and rock. It's interesting drawing. Uh, but this, the 990 is 3.4 and then 3.1. So it's really, really good tires. It's really light. Really powerful engine, good tires. Who cares about all the drive? Yeah, it's pretty good actually. JJ, I talked to the guy about the MH9500. I'm gonna buy it tomorrow, nice. But overall good. Oops, missed my turn, right? Hang on, I gotta track this one again. Pimp my ride. Oh, it's in here to the left, okay. Uh, Telemenis, I don't know if you've been to the fourth map yet, but here's the fuel station on the fourth map. Just, uh, heads up. Right over here. All 
All right, now we can grab four cement. Off topic question. My snow order is via Epic Games. If I reinstall Epic Games, do I lose my snow order progress? That I'm not sure about, but if I were you, I would just create a backup. Just take out the save file and uninstall and reinstall it if that's the route you want to go. The truck did great. The trailer got hung up on a tiny bit. But that's what the winch is for. Okay, so it sounds like you had a little better time than even I had. Yeah, that is a cool, cool little trailer, or a uh, cool little fuel station over there. It just, it sounds like, or seems like a, a very remote, small town, like... Oh, we only have two, two gas pumps, you know? Um... I care for all the drive telly, that's funny. According to my table, the biggest trucks with the low saddle would be the 612H, the Dairy Longhorn 3194, and the W990. Okay. Um, and the 3194. Yeah, the Dairy. Do you have your Dairy in uh, Amir as well, Telemenis? Because I know you like to use that thing. I would not have guessed the W990, but the Dairy I can see, and I can also see the 612H. That makes sense. Hey, Van. Van, you drive inside. On PS5, the fem is very slow. Can you drive inside? Oh, like first person view? Can you drive inside? Yeah. The Dan is also quite high, but it's kind of too long for the saddle duty. Dairy's in a mirror. Oh, man. Do you own the W990 on your hard mode telemedicine or no? Because I know your Mastodon's there, your Mac is there, your Dairy's there. It seems weird because it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of muted the sound when you're inside. I don't normally drive inside. I think this is actually the first time I've even looked in here. Interesting. Thanks, yeah, you're welcome. The gauges are pretty, uh, pretty plain, aren't they? Also, JJ, be in first person and look inside. Look in the side mirror in the fem. Huh? While steering the fem is equals tripping balls. Yeah, that that would be very trippy for sure. On PS5, the fem max drive or fem drive max twenty. Oh, that's why you wanted to see inside. Gotcha. All right, there we go. Will you stream tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be streaming tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be doing um, hard mode or more season 12, but probably season 12 for the next couple of days. Hello, Richard. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? All right, we officially have all of our garage functions back now. So what should we do now? We got some random stuff here. We could do that. That's in reactive zone. Let's try and find something here. Reactive zone. Pipeline bay. Here we go. Wooden planks. We got some here. And one spare part. Alright, let's go there. Let's, uh, let's grab the 990. Ah, crap. I did the same thing. Went to the wrong map again. Oh, we got 61, so we're, we're currently tied at the highest I've ever had. Finally playing Season 12 McDonald's Worker. Yeah, that's right, you said it had... Um, we, we gotta jump back to the other map, though. Flatlands Garage. You said it had 11 and a half hours, 6 hours ago. 
I have to put my phone on the charger? As soon as I saw your chat, Brandon, I remember you said how far you were, uh, percentage-wise, but now I forgot. Oh wait, highway... here we go. Get that seismic vibrator module off here. There we go. Should be good to go. 62, nice. I didn't see the 62, I only saw it at 61, but I'll take 62. I will certainly take it. But yeah, this thing is a beast now. Sixty-two people watching, that's awesome. Eighty-four likes, nice, we, we beat both records then. That is awesome. Well, both personal records, obviously. But yeah, I won't use the winch just so we can see how the truck actually drives by itself. No, no all-wheel drive, but diff lock and amazing tires. Although it seems like we've already hit the engine quite a few times on some bumps, which isn't good. So it just propels right through it. Wait for me, it shows 74. Wait, what? Oh, you probably have to refresh your uh, your browser for... Uh, more than likely, William, you're watching on a phone, right? The phones, for some reason, don't update. Or at least mine didn't. If you're on a PC, it shows the likes going up in real time, but... On a phone, for some reason, it didn't when I was doing it, so... Maybe it's just mine, I don't know. JJ, question. Is... In the setup... When you attach the W990... Sorry, I'm trying to read and drive. When you attach trailer to the W990, it have enough steering on or bed and trailer too close. I'm not sure. Uh, I can take it to the trailer store right after this and we'll, we'll find out. I've never used a trailer with it, so... I haven't driven the 990 in 11 days. 990 is long, it can do saddle, crane... or crane, bed, and saddle, no problem. Wait, so... When you attach trailer to the W990, does it have enough steering or bed in trailer too close? So you're, you're talking about, uh, like, crane-bed-trailer combo, right? Not just, uh, crane and trailer? It's very old and crusty. By the way, its tires are still 0.1 worse than the P512's 3.4 to 3.5 in the mud. Yep. That is correct, and P16 as well. But I think I'll take the 0.1 loss because the uh, the gain you get in the dirt and rock. I think the point, point 0.1 loss is worth it, if you ask me. Because what do they gain? Point, point, no, point 0.6 in the dirt and rock? Something like that? It's like 2.5 to 3.1, I think? Glad collect, correct me if I'm wrong. The uh, P512 is 2.5 dirt and rock, and the W990 is 3.1. Crane bed and trailer? I thought menace meant semi trailers. I, that's what I'm asking him. I'm not sure. Oops, sorry, I attached the winch there. I'm not sure if you meant semi trailers or just like this. Anyways, it has enough space. That's funny. Alright, let's go this way. Hey guys, does anybody have the same bug? I lose engine sound of the car. I don't know what to do. Uh, I have had that before Rio, and for me, all I did was shut off the system and turn it back on, and it worked fine. So, and actually there was a person in here earlier today uh, who also had that problem, so maybe, maybe they introduced a new bug. Well, maybe not introduced, but uh, a few more more often or something? I'm not sure. But yeah, we're gonna go... We'll, we'll run to the trailer store right after this, tell us. We'll see how it turns. We can try, because the trailer store is fairly close to here. But we'll do the, uh, crane, 
crane bed trailer combo, and then we can just switch it to uh, a saddle if you want, because it's still not too far off. Now we got the 15 and 6 combo. Ooh, and then we doubled it and got the 30-12 combo. Nice. A few people have said it. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, it's more prominent today than, than it's been. I had it about two weeks ago on my, my hard mode save. Alright, wood. Spare parts. Go into a tower out there. Your record is 78 people. Oh geez, we have 66 concurrent. That that beats the old one as well. Nice. On Nathan's stream, several people had Xbox trouble. Ooh, that's no good. I'm actually not sure how to get out to this island. I don't know if this goes there or what. I guess we'll find out. This is the first time I've been out out here, so. We'll see how bad the terrain is, I guess. But Vlad, would you mind checking the uh, the tires? I'm pretty sure the P512s are two and a half in the dirt and rock, and W990 are 3.1, right? I just want to see if my memory serves me correct. I don't even know where this road goes. My goodness, I'm going all over the place. Oh, the Pacifics have 3.0. Okay, so they are even in, in the total number. It's just, uh, yeah, potato, potato. 3 to 3.5, or 3.1 and 3.4. So I misremember the uh, Pacific's dirt and rock ratings, apparently. For some reason I was thinking they were 2.5. It looks like we can get out there from here. This looks like it's pretty deep in here, though. Wow. So I'm not winching just to see how the truck does here for a little bit. And it's not, not moving very well, is it? JJ, there's two Hummers in this map. Do I get to keep any? Um, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't play far enough to figure that out. But somebody said you get to keep a Scout 800 on this map. But I also haven't done that one. There's there's a mission. Um, it's right over here. I remember seeing it on PTS. There's a, a Scout 800 that's like hanging on off on the hills over here somewhere. It's like falling off these cliffs. And apparently you get that one. But I don't believe you get any Hummers. W990 used to have two and a half before season 12. Or even two, I don't remember. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's where I got mixed up. Maybe I'm remembering the old value. Yeah, I bet you that's it. W990 looks like a show truck. You'd hate to get it dirty. Well, look at how it's just flying through here without the deep mud. When it gets to the deep mud where I'm, I'm holding it down a little bit too much, then it kind of stalls, but... In the, the less shallow mud, this thing is flying. But I don't believe you do, Telemenis. Um, somebody else told me that you only get a Scout 800. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was what I was told, so... As far as I know, you get the Rock Grinder, the Femme, a Dawn 71, and this Scout 800. So, four trucks, I believe. I mean, maybe I can run around and accept all the tasks and find out after a little bit, but I haven't done that. I certainly could, because there used to be a task on PTS where you'd get a Chevy CK1500, but I checked on here and it's not there anymore. Or, the task is still there, 
but you don't get the CK-1500 anymore. It's not a reward. And also, there used to be a... Um, a Western Star 49X that you got on the second map. But that one is no longer there. They took that one out completely. There's no truck. I thought they would replace it like they did in Season 9. But they just totally took it out. 10 more likes to 100? Oh my goodness. That would be crazy. The most I've ever had was 83, so now it's 90 it sounds like. That's awesome. 67 concurrent. You guys are nuts. Uh, I came in late. Did anyone say anything about the roof rack drag fix? No, I forgot about that, actually. I totally forgot that that was supposed to be a thing. So yeah, if you have a truck with a roof rack, um, it's supposed to be much improved on driving. It's supposed to have less drag. So I haven't really noticed it, but I've also been using big trucks. So if you're using scouts, you probably notice it quite a bit more. Oh, this is a watchtower? I didn't even know that. Okay. Well, apparently we got one of the watchtowers then. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. And there we go. Empty garage discovered. Okay, let's check out what that one is. Oh, okay. Over here. Let's see. That looks like a, a lodestar, I think. Oh, good. You gotta set speed records in my H2. Oh yeah, the roof rack is fixed? Nice. That's awesome. Alright, let me quick recover this. Let's go to the trailer store for Telemannus quickly. I think he's still here, right? Oh, somebody else said they saw they had the bug. Where was it? I, sorry, I read it and didn't say it out loud. Um, oh, it must have been RJ that said it. Yeah, I have the engine sound bug on PS5, so... Apparently it's it's more prominent now. You're still here? Okay, I'm running to the trailer store now. I love the new trails, they're fun to scout. That's awesome. It's fun, Wee. Do I need to reinstall the game? For me, when I had the problem two weeks ago, all I did was close out of the game and go back in and it was fixed. So I don't know if that's the fix for all systems, but that's what it worked for PC anyways. I've had the problem before in the past as well, and it's closing out of the game has always worked for me, so that would be what I would try. Close the game, if that doesn't work, maybe restart the console and try that. Oh wait, I just noticed that the uh, the mission we're tracking actually has us going going to the, uh, the trailer store anyway, so apparently this works out. We gotta go there and get a generator for something. That was totally random that I am starting this task, I guess, but whatever works. Bye, JJ. It will probably be like 20 minutes. Okay. Sounds good, Bryce. Or Pearl. I think it's Bryce. I will see you soon, Bryce. Well, maybe if I'm still streaming. I think I'm gonna... Normally I'm eating right now, but... Oh, no! Rip. All right. Hey Rex, welcome back to the stream. Uh, what's up with constant road repairs in new regions? There are no tasks to finish them and use the roads. Oh goodness, I'm driving all over again. Got the 15 and 6 combo twice. Oh no. Alright. Slows you down, Speedy. Yeah. That'll teach him a lesson. The funny thing is, uh, the corner before, I slowed down, like, really, really slow, and I was like, okay, I slowed down too much on that corner, so I gotta go a little faster this time. And it, it bit. You turning it in? Have a nice rest of your stream. Thank you, Patrick. I know it's pretty late over there in Europe, so... Appreciate you spending some time. 
Have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you again soon. Work wow. You gotta go to work, Steven? Sounds good. I know you said it was like 7 a.m. earlier, so probably around 8 now. Thanks, see you guys. Sounds good. Hello, Dustin, how are you doing? Yeah, that's a big ripperoni on that one, Menace. I like that word. What's up, what's up everyone from Rex again? Yeah, I don't know. But the, uh, the, the roads being broken and stuff. I want to play tomorrow a whole day. I just don't know what to say to my boss. Maybe that I need to go to the dentist. Uh, I would say the dentist is a bad excuse. Because that'll only get you out like two hours. Unless you come up with like some, like, I don't know, some big... I don't even know, like you need to get uh, put under or something. Like you're having your wisdom teeth removed and be on some drugs or something. Otherwise, I would say that's probably not a great excuse. I'd say you gotta come up with something. I mean, just saying you're sick would probably be better than that. Hello, David. How are you doing, David? Welcome to the stream. You're just getting in, Dustin. Sounds good. A root canal? That would work, yeah. Tell me you got a root canal. It can't just be like a normal uh, normal dentist appointment, though. It's got to be something bigger, you know? Alright. So you have a kidney stone. Yeah, that would hurt. Alright. So let's see what this looks like with some trailers on it. Uh, I, for I always forget I have some mods installed and I, and I always forget to turn them off. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of room to turn. I mean, you I'm turning it as hard as I can. Seems like the trailer isn't inhibiting it, but it's about right at that spot where it might. Oh, jeez. That was a big bump. Alright, not that you'd probably use a fuel trailer anyways, but we'll check uh, the sideboard. We'll get there eventually. That one looks like it might might inhibit. Oh no, there's a little bit of space. We're turning as sharp as we can and it's not touching. So, you should be good on this one. Yeah, you can whip full circles without it touching. Okay, let's get rid of that trailer. Beautiful. 70 viewers, that's crazy. I've never had that many people ever on a stream before. And 91 likes, you guys are also smashing the like button more than more than I've ever had. Don't worry, you don't make money. Wait, what? Are you talking about calling in sick, you won't make money? All right, where on earth is this thing going? Oh, right there. Fair enough. Actually, I don't know why I marked it. I don't need the mark. I know where I'm going. Uh, bridging the gap. Finally done. Took you two hours. Yeah, bridging the gap is a pretty, pretty rough one. Like uh, Delamina said, that trailer can go to hell. That's a, that's a rough one. All right, we'll follow the main road most of the way there. Thanks, JJ. You're welcome. Uh, I lay down on on your bed, face up, with your head hanging off for a few minutes, and then call in. Say your sinuses will move up, and you'll sound like you're sick. That's funny. 
Why does it feel like you guys are speedrunning NC? <laughs> I just like to keep moving. I don't know. I, I always feel like if I'm sitting still, I'm boring people. What percentage are you at? I think we're probably about 9. 11? Wow. We jumped up. Can you fix the big bridge on the third map? Oh, haven't unlocked the contracts yet. Uh, no. No, William, you cannot. It took me a second to figure out which one you're talking about, but no, you can't fix that bridge. Yeah, I, I am a speed demon. Definitely like to speed around. And normally it's not too bad, but sometimes it does bite me in the butt. Try and get up this hill a little bit here. Yeah, it would be nice if you could fix that part, William. There's also a part on the first map, which would be really nice if you could fix. Just to have that bridge all the way, but yeah, you can't do that either. This part up here will get probably a little bit sketchy with uh, the rocks, but yeah, well, only one way to find out. Oof. Got to get the bridge module, I guess. Yeah, Rex, Rex, the bridge builder here can help you out with that one. He'll be back in a bit. Sounds good. Um, just say the new season dropped in SnowRunner, and you have to explore it. They'll believe you. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's true. If you told them SnowRunner just dropped and you, you had to play it, they'd be like, okay, he's 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 not lying. This is the reason I hate pulling trailers, as many of you guys know. The added uh, resistance is... It kills my speed. You guys know I'm a speed demon. It kills my speed. I can't handle it. I don't like driving slow. Anybody else have uh, any more questions? I know, like Telemena said about the, uh, the truck and the trailer's turning radius. Does anybody have any anything they're wondering? I know Telemena also asked about the Hummers on this map, which I don't believe that you get. Um, there's one off to my right. I don't even know where the second one is, to be honest. Blood Vulcan, was W990, uh, W990 always classed as a highway truck, or did they change it? Yep, Season 12 update, they changed it. It was in the heavy, yeah. Vlad got it. Of course, you can count on Vlad to know that. Yeah, Highway fits it much better. Actually, if you were to play like an all-highway truck like class playthrough now, you'd have some pretty capable trucks. The W990, You'd have the uh, 57X, the the um, GMC MH9500, you know, the base truck, but that one's got all-wheel drive and diff lock. A little bit tippy, but... And then you got the Transtar and the Ford. So, overall, not a bad group of trucks. To unlock the Femme, you must do a mission, because it says... I must deliver it. Yeah, that is correct. You have to do a mission. I think it's... I already forget the name. Abandoned Giant, I want to say it's called. I know they had Abandoned Titan in Season 5, so Abandoned Giant would make sense. Uh, and the Jat DLC. Sorry, I missed one of your other ones then. Oh, I guess I'll have to buy the W990. Actually, the W990 cools is better with its stock tires. These are stock. These tires got like a really big boost. So these tires, you don't even, you don't need the jet pack for these. These are its stock tires, they're really good. Actually, they're the best tire for it. I hope in year four we get more Max and Kenworths, that'd be cool. 
9,500 and 800. How is towing? Oh, oh god, I gotta slow down here. I'm speeding. I'm trying to read and speed. Speed read. Uh, no, I lost it. How is towing that with a rear wheel drive vehicle? Seems fine. It's been working out so far. That worked. Talk to you later. Sounds good, cools. Plant. Uh, yep, has to go to the nuclear power plant. Yep. I didn't know exactly what it was called, but something like that, yeah. It's on the second map. So basically, the gateway you came through, you'll probably just go right back through that, and then as soon as you get into the other one, you'll take a left and follow that across. It's funny because somebody, when I was playing on PTS, they told me that this ship over here, it says like, oh my, or something in Spanish. Like a, a bad mistake or something. I don't know. I actually forget what this ship up here. I don't remember what it says, but they said it said something like that via the translation. But yeah, like, this... You know, keep in mind, this truck doesn't have all-wheel drive, but I would say it's driving pretty dang good. We don't have any weight in the back either, but it's doing pretty good if you ask me. It's it's so much better than it was before. To the minutes I barely use it. It's too light, very unstable, tips over all the time. Also, or I also hate that it can have a crane and saddle separately, but not together. Which one is that? Oh, 57X. Got you. Now I need the P12 and Wolves go to Highway 2. Ah, gotcha. GMC 9500 is king. Or the king, my bad. All right, yeah, we're all caught up on the chat. Nice. Just in time to get out of the mud. That sideboard and a crane do add weight. That's true. Yeah. I was talking about, like, cargo. Wait, why is there... Why is that sitting there? Is that something I can grab? Or is that just for decoration? I think that's just for, uh... Oh, you can actually grab it. What the heck? What is it for? It must be for some mission. Whatever. Alright, the generator's gotta go just off to the side here. Is there a contractor task to repair the bridge after you do the contract to bring the bridge down? Um, there's, there's one called Jumbo Bridge, which is the one that brings the bridge down, the lift bridge. Then there is another one that... Oh hey, just started tracking this mission that I was just wondering if was actually a mission or not. There's another one called, uh, Bridging the Gap. That is a bridge just to the north of the other one. So that might be the bridge that you're talking about. So you don't... I wouldn't say it brings... er... I'm not sure if that's the bridge you're talking about repairing or not, but that might be the one. Gotta go a little closer here. Try one. There we go. Uh, the W990 was decent even before the buff. But I use it for seismic vibration missions in Tamir, Ontario, Scandinavia, and even Amir. Cherno, not Northern Ages installation. Why not 10? Who's limiting you? Wait, what? That should pack. And restore crane. Where on earth is this going? Way up there. Science field camp. Okay, on the island. Let's go up and around, I guess. Because we don't want to go the same way we just came. 
Well, the MH9500 is the king because tomorrow I'll own two of them in real life. That's right. So Redneck Panda has a MH9500, and he's going to buy a second one tomorrow. So he's pulling a snowrunner. He's going he's gonna to double up on a truck. Uh, do you have to do the bridges in any certain order? Nope. You can do you can do bridging the gap first if you want. The only thing is bridging the gap needs to be done before you can open the ferry. So I would suggest doing that one very early. And then obviously Jumbo Bridge is the, the gap that goes across the islands that you actually want. So both of those bridges are pretty important. This is the broken road. Oh, you're talking IRL. Yeah, he's talking about real life. He actually owns two, well, tomorrow he'll own two. Right now he owns one MH9500. Oh, that's what the two is for. Got it. Um, is, this is the broken road after you pass the bridge going left. After you pass the bridge going left. Oh, no, that one does not repair. Nope. That one is just stuck being broken. Sorry. Yeah, I understand which one you're talking about now. There's... There's actually two port, two points just like that. Somebody else just asked recently uh, if you can fix the one on the third map. Same thing, that one does not fix. As far as I know, unless they changed it, but I looked all through PTS and there was no contracts or tasks that would fix those bridges. Or not bridges, but lifted highway sections, I guess. So those are just out. They're broken. How do you get around it? Uh, as soon as you come through the gateway, you take a right and you go down around. Here, I'll show you quick. Um, or wait, sorry, I'm, you're talking about the first map, right here. So you just go down this way and around and then back up on it. This part is just forever broken. Same with the third map. As soon as you come in, you take a right and then you take a left and go up this way and then you can go back up onto the road. But this is broken as well. So neither of those can be fixed, as far as I know. Is it actually called the MH9500, or is it just the 9500? Google only finds the game truck when I search for the letters. That's a good question, Vlad. I hate stay being broken bridges. Yeah, when well, they're just forever broke. I want them to become rich. My friend has a Regator 8000, that's pretty cool. He's making a custom truck out of it. Nice. Oh, they're just called M8 or 9500, okay. The coolest roar of the diesel engine is the DD71 series, 71TA, and DD92 series and 92TA. I have no idea what any of that is. Oh, it sucks. Looks like a good place to use bridge mods. Yeah. Okay, got it. Do you know where there's... If there's a charge for the ferry? Yeah, it's 750. Same as season 10. 750. Uh, sort of a way around it. Not around it, but to save you a little bit of money, if you winch two trucks together and then use the gateway, it's just like you would uh, going through tunnels from one map to another. You can get two trucks excuse me, two trucks across for the same price. So you can get two trucks across for 750 if you have to go multiple trucks across. Panda, which engine do you have in the 9500? If there aren't any invisible walls, Saber loves them. Uh, there is a Mudrunner mod map where you have to fix bridges plank by plank. Wow. So do you gotta, like, bring bring wood there, or is there, like, a actual plank cargo? Yours is not stock. 60, 71. Oh, yeah, the screaming Jimmy. Well, that's really good to know about the ferry. Yep. Yeah, if you winch two trucks, like if you have to go, if you want to go across, 
and you have like other missions you want to do over there anyways, like just bring a second truck and winch it together and save yourself some money. Might not be much, but I mean, 750 a time can add up pretty quick. Switch it back here, make it a little bit brighter. This place looks great with the lights, doesn't it? It just looks so bright. How does the W990 feel? It feels good. It's fast. <laughs> I mean, it always was fast on the highways, but... Uh, with the tires and the all-wheel drive always, or diff lock always on, it's, I would say, much improved. Hello, Lonnie. For an auto transmission to mate to Screaming Jimmy. Oh, hey, they still have the 49X here. That's interesting. Do you get this one? Nope. Okay. Wait. Why did he put generators back to make stuff? Uh, yeah, you gotta craft some stuff. Crafting cabins, crafting metal beams, not sure what else. You're back. Welcome back, Bryce. Wait, diff lock is always on now? Yes, that is correct. They put diff lock always on and buff the tires. So it's, it's far better than it was before. What is this? Service spare parts? Uh, well, didn't bring any of those with me, sorry. I think I got drilling spare parts in here. Yeah, we got drilling spare parts. 97 likes? Wow. That is crazy. Oh, you know what's funny? You can actually drive right up this hill. I shouldn't say it's funny, but I actually did this on PTS. I was like, screw that, I don't want to drive all the way around. And I drove right up the hill, it's pretty easy. I probably say that and I'm gonna flip. Yep. Nice. Bad spot. I think this was the spot over here. Bummer. Alright, let's go Dan, maybe? 99. We do have to do some logging eventually. Let's go. Triple digit likes, that would be insane. Rip, yeah. Skill issue. Yep. I did the same thing on PTS, but I went right up there, but I'm like, crap, I went into this turn a little bit too hot. I went too too high up the hill. Yeah, there's gotta be someone who wants to be the triple triple uh the person who sent it into triple digits, right? Me. <laughs> You know where the other trailer stores are on the first map, and why did they stick it there? Uh, no, there's there's only two trailer stores throughout the entire region, John. One of them is here, which is right here, up north, sort of by the, by the gateway back to Pipeline Bay. And the other one is on the first map of Pipeline Bay, and it's in the bottom right, sort of in the town area. Oh, 102, who's counting, right? Maybe I'll get my dad's account. You're funny. Woohoo! 100 likes. 
You guys are awesome. That's crazy. 17 more likes than the previous one. That's a lot. Menace, how many likes did you get on yours? I mean, who's counting, but curious, because I know you started before I did. You did about six hours. I'm at 646 right now, so roughly the same. I'm going to say 80. That's my guess, if you know what yours is at. You think 80? Oh, nice, I nailed it. That's awesome. Wait, I was gonna be the 100th like. Nah, doesn't matter. I was just kidding, William. Of course, it's, it, it's nice. But I was kind of joking, like, ah, who's counting anyways, but... The Cat 745C is a speed demon for its class. Heavy truck, yeah, it's powerful speed demon for sure. Hey, you got a flatbed semi-trailer right here. That's a good one for you, Telemenis. It's a flatbed, though, so it's cargo can fall out, but... Free flatbed trailer, you don't have to buy one. I don't think I've gotten more than 15 likes on a stream on anything I do, honestly. Yeah, I, I remember being there, Rex. I know what you mean. 103 from Bryce, nice. Yeah, not counting the twin steer. The twin steers. Ooh, that was deep. The twin steer is an absolute speed demon. 104 now? Nice. Rex, I try to like all your streams, says Redneck. That's nice. Taking notes? <laughs> What is the uh, the Dodge Hellcat? What is it called? There's a demon, and then there's like a demon demon Hellcat. No, yeah, I think that might be. I think that might even be it. Dodge Demon Hellcat. I think it's like an even faster version. Or no, the Hellcat Red Eye. That's what it is. Something like that. So you got you got the Dodge Demon, then you got the Dodge Demon Red Eye Hellcat or whatever. Something like that. I don't know. Somebody else in here could probably correct me. Uh, Rex makes construction simulator and snowrunner content, so kind of the same as what I do, to be honest. On the third map, you build the trailer store. Am I correct? That is wrong, John. Sorry. Uh, there is no trailer store on the third map. There's one on the first and fourth, as far as I know. I do not believe there is any trailer stores anywhere else. Demon has over a hundred and se er, Demon 170 has over a thousand horsepower. But they just released another one? Oh, okay. So the, the fastest one is now the Dodge Demon 170, I guess? And he will be doing expeditions when it comes out. And Jurassic's, or Jurassic Park Survival whenever that comes out. Fourth map, sorry. Yep, fourth map. It's very easy, actually. Uh, what is it? Four cement, two vehicle spare parts, and two metal rolls, I think. I feel like that's not right. No. One metal beam, two metal rolls, four cement was for... The other one, I'm pretty sure. I'll just check. Actually, let me down contracts. Um, four, no, two metal rolls, one metal beam, and two vehicle spare parts. And you can get all of those on this map. So 
Not too bad. All right, let's make a quick pit stop, get some fuel here. Oh, really? Someone plays consume? Let's refuel. I got it and it's just so boring solo. I struggle to find company and it's not cross-platform. What do you play it on, Vlad? I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Rex plays it on PC, right, Rex? I know I have two viewers who play it on PS5. I'm not sure what Rex plays on. Garage on fourth map? Yep, there's a garage on the fourth map. Yep. The garage also has to have all of its functions restored. PC Steam, okay. You're on PC as well, Rex. Well, you guys might have to team up. PC for everything, oh, okay. Nice, we need to get along, Rex, that's funny. You play it on the Switch, okay. Do they have Construction Simulator on the Switch? I don't know if they, I didn't know if they did. Your Xbox Next Gen, nice. Uh, he does have Discord, yes, Vlad. For sure, I'm, you're down to build it? Someone last night was talking about whoop, using big excavators. I wish we could haul them to job sites. Yeah, I think I said that yesterday as well. Like if we could haul like excavators or bulldozers, like just throw some more equipment on there. Like for the digging dirt or God, they, they messed up the names for me on the uh, on the next seasons. But the dig one, you know, maybe you could put an excavator and haul that around or the dirt one bulldozer or something? I don't know, like, haul some heavy equipment around would be kind of fun. How long are you playing? To be honest, I'm not sure. I I said like a half hour ago, I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming for, but... Yeah, it's not the same as the PC version, but still? Okay, I didn't know they had it. That would be cool. Oh, I thought you were talking about SnowRunner. Uh, well, it's kind of switched over to Construction Simulator because Rex and Vlad both play it. Get the excavators off the map, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Pick them all up and drive them somewhere. Drive them to like a... some vehicle junkyard or something. So this is probably going to be everybody's least played map. This is Orville Hills. This is the longest I've been in a stream. How long is that? I don't know how long you've been here, but you've been here for a long time as well. JJ's going to stream for 24 hours today, guys. I could probably do 12, but I gotta go eat pretty soon. You play Construction Sim 2, great game. I think that's that's a different game than than the Construction Simulator that they're playing, I'm pretty sure, right? They're playing Construction Sim 2022, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it's called. Two and, c two and three are the same, but different countries, so okay. They are a pain to go around, and if you don't, you take damage. Yeah, especially when the arms kind of stick out, and you like, tr you think you're around it, and then you smack something, you're like, god dang it. Like the hitbox or whatever is a little bit further out, the collision. Kind of stinks, but, yeah. 
105 likes, thank you. He joined an hour after I started. Okay, so you've been here for almost six hours. JJ Gunsim, two and three are mobile. Okay, we played them both for Android. Gotcha. Thanks for clearing that up, Vlad. I know there's some other con construction simulator games, but I know they're older, so I was like, I don't know if that's the same thing. Oh man, I already went here earlier. I was about to say, what is this task? But no, it's a contest. And... Wait. What the heck? There's a little bridge here. Where does this go? Just down to the beach? Oh, and then it goes over here, into the store. Really? Kind of looks like it anyways. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go get some logs. Oh, you play on PC as well? Very nice. Have fun. I think I'm gonna play... After I get something to eat, 510. Okay, sounds good, John. Uh, what time zone are you in, John? Are you... Oh, you're at 510 p.m. right now, so you must be... An hour to the east... No, hour west of me, which would be... Mountain time. At least that's what we call it in the U.S. I think they call it different in, uh, in Canada. Rex, you're gonna head out? Sounds good, Rex. Gotta finish up my work, set up my stream. Have a good night, JJ. Peace and love, everyone. Thank you, Rex, for stopping in. Have a good night, and I'm sure I'll see you again later. Yeah, the, the log station on the, these maps are like as far away as possible. I'm not even kidding. You basically have to drive all the way across two full maps just to get to this log station. Oh, you're in Utah? Okay. The way back to the store. I think there's there's multiple log stations over here, but they're they're all really really far away. I should say multiple log stations on this third map, but I don't believe there's log stations on any other map if I'm not mistaken. Hello thy marble, what's up? What time is it for me? It is 6.12 p.m. I am central time, I live in Minnesota, so... I mean, it's a fairly big time zone, but just south of Ontario, um, east of North Dakota, South Dakota, west of Wisconsin, and north of Iowa. <laughs> All right. We should be getting pretty close, because that's the uh, there's a little island out there. Okay, so I need to go. Bye, chat. See you all around. Yep. Bye, Vlad. I think it's like 2 a.m. for Vlad, so have a good rest of your night, Vlad. I'm sure I'll see you around as well. Be right back, says William. Sounds good, William. Uh, we do have the Jat tires on here, if anybody was curious. These are the new, well, sort of new tires. Been out for, what, a month and a half now? It's, no, two months now. What maps are second, third, and fourth? Uh, well, so... It, it's kind of... Pipeline Bay is the first map, but if you look at this map, this bridge is blocked. Right? There's no way across here without the bridge. This whole area is all too deep. It's all water way too deep all the way around. I have tried to cross right here and it's too deep as well. So this this little section right here is all cut off. So you could go down and consider this flatland the second map, but either way you go, Orville Hills is the third one. So you got Pipeline Bay Reactive Zone in Orville Hills or Pipeline Bay Flatland Orville Hills. But uh, yeah, 
I, I say Pipeline Bay, Reactive Zone's number two, Orville Hills is three, Flatland is four. Because that's the order you would go if you were to just start out the game, basically. Oh no. Um, I got the Fem and now I can scout the maps. <laughs> You're scouting the maps with a Fem? My goodness, that's a huge scout. One of my favorite trucks stops in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a there's a big truck stop near me, Clearwater Truck Plaza. That's uh, not too far. You're in the middle of farm country, pretty much. Oh, I took the long way around. I've never actually gone up this route. Okay. Hi, chat. Okay, it's been day for me, so I'm gonna head out. Have a good rest. Ah. Have a good rest of your stream, JJ. Thank you, Telemenis. Have a good rest of your night as well. And I'll see you again soon. Well, I just got the Femme, but now I'm scouting with the Burlaka. Okay. I was like, dang, that's gotta be the biggest scout ever. It's like scouting with the 6900 Twin Steer. But yeah, here's the log station. Oh no, not that. Not the loading platform. I'm gonna delete that log just because I don't want it to be sitting there. Alright, whatever. It didn't want it wouldn't let me move the uh the point. Look at this bridge up here though, isn't this a cool looking bridge guys? You just bought the DLC and you're scouting it with a renegade, nice. This is a cool bridge. Definitely new. Haven't seen that before. Those bridges up there have a really good view. There's two of them, one, one to the left that goes to the island and then one on the right that goes back to like the mainland. Sorry, I was gone for a bit. Holy crap, we had 105 likes. Congrats, dude. Thank you, Tank Baby. We're trucking along. Pun intended. I like the, uh, the Wrangler a little better than the Renegade because I like to use the... Um, the crawler suspension for it, so you can crawl up the rocks a little bit. That's fun. All right. I went to the rock breaker and flipped, so it will be 23% for you today. Well, still, that's that's pretty crazy, Mr. Spoon. 23% in a day is really, really good. We're at 12. So, your iPad died. Ah, oh, bummer. Kind of bouncing around in here. We're taking a different route back. But yeah, this, this uh, logging station's got to be the farthest thing away, man. Like, you need them all the way back on the first map to open up a warehouse. And, yeah, it's, like, as far as possible. It's all the way on the third map. So, like I said, no matter which way you go, you can go to Flatlands, or you can go to uh, Reactive Zone. But then either way, Orville Hills is the one in the middle of those two. So, no matter which way you go, it's a long, long way. And then, the two gateways, one is in the, the top. So you gotta drive all the way to the bottom of the map to get the, the logs. And the other one is in the left, left side of the map. And you gotta drive all the way across to the right. So, like, they make you go, like, literally as far as possible.
23% though, that's pretty good. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'd have to do a lot of little things to get there. Stream for 24 hours. I could probably do like 12. I did 12 last time and... Yeah, that got pretty, uh... Pretty brutal. Towards the end. Well, also, I wake up really late and I had to wake up early for that, so I was like super tired by the end. But... I didn't really wake up too early for this. I woke up like two hours earlier than normal, which is, you know, I mean, it's early, but it's not like five hours early or seven hours early. So what, it's not, doesn't feel, I'm not nearly as tired as I was last time, but also we're, we're only at seven hours in, so we'd still have to go for another five hours if we did like 12. Twenty four hours would be crazy. I would be absolutely dead tired. Yellow Jello. Holy cow, JJ, you're still streaming? I had a long day today and I had a ch just had a chance to check in. Well hello Pablo, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're usually done by like an hour, hour and a half ago, but we started early and streaming late today. Also, you nailed the intro, Pablo. Gotta give you that one. Credit where credit's due. Yellow jellos. So, yeah, we're bringing logs back, but like I said, it's literally as far as possible away. And, come on. Having troubles climbing the hill? Oh boy, now we can talk about food. Yellow Jello. Alrighty, well, catch me up. What have I missed? Well, we started off. We went and got the femme. That was the first thing we did. Uh, then we went straight for the upgrades for the femme. So we went to get the uh, R2. I forget the rest of the numbers. Like SB6... R2, something like that, uh, engine. So we got the top engine. I was tired of playing and just sent it. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then after getting the upgrades, we started on... There's two, two main bridges you want to fix in the phase. Uh, one's called Jumbo Bridge, and the other one's called Bridging the Gap. So we did both of those. And after doing that, we went to... Well, actually, I'm not sure which... We did Jumbo Bridge, then we did Bridging the Gap. Actually, we did a, a task first, too. We uh, fixed a rock slide on our way. And then we did Vice Light Grip. Not directly after, but one of the things we did. We did Vice Light Grip, which is getting the rock grinder truck. And then we fixed up our garage. So we fixed the trailer store. We got... The Pimp My Ride one done, and there's one more I, for some reason, can't remember the name of it. Um, I think that's all we've done. I'm trying to think if we did anything random. I'm sure we probably did, but yeah, I think that's really all we've done. Now we're bringing back some logs to the first map. We need like three, three sets of medium logs. There's two medium logs on the first map. So if we could bring this there. Uh, this is North Carolina. It's out now. I haven't opened my SnowRunner. Yeah, that is correct, Pabo. And there's also a Year 4 Pass out now. Thank you, Clyde, for being as excited about food as I am. What did you have for dinner? Pabo, we were talking about food. Yeah, earlier we were talking about food and we are like, where's Pabo? He's not talking about food. <laughs> like, we were like four or five hours in and someone was like, nobody's mentioned food yet because Pabo's not here. <laughs> Kind of funny. But yeah, I think after this we'll go back to the Femme and do some more haul and I don't know what we'll haul. Maybe I'll go back and fix the, uh, what was it? Actually, I probably should go back and fix the W990 just because I also probably forget that it was out there. 
or forget what it was doing, one of the two. So let's probably go rescue that. I can bring a spare part out there for one of the missions. I could bring a spare part out and then rescue it at the same time. Oh, actually I did, I brought a generator up, or down from the trailer store. I remember I did that mission. I was busy driving a cube truck. Deliveries for 13 hours straight. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. But, gotta pay your bills somehow, right? So, understandable. Alright, we are getting close to the gateway of this map, but we still got a ways to go. I can see the broken road up there, so we're, we're towards the north part of the map, but yeah, we still got, still got a ways to go just to get to the gateway, and then once we do get there, we still got some other stuff a long way to drive from there. Yes sir, gotta pay, pay the bills somehow. Uh, we hit we hit two new records this stream so far, Pabo, with uh, the most amount of concurrent viewers. We had up to like 60, no, 70, I think. We had 70 at one time. And then my previous record was, I think, 59, 61, something like that. Definitely never hit in the 70s. And we got into the 70s. And then we also have like 105 likes, I think someone said last. I'll go relax, JJ, have fun. Sounds good, Spoon. Go relax. I know you've been playing all day, so you're 12 hours in. <laughs> Gotta save up for your 98 Geo Metro. Nice. Seventy viewers, that is great. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Seventy people at one time. But what do you think of the map so far, Pablo? I know you haven't really seen too much of it, but... What does it look like to you? Geometros are good, though. Oops, one more. There we go. It's kind of a bummer that, that the FEM doesn't have uh, any logging attachments. Kind of a bummer, but... I would have to disagree with that statement, Panda. <laughs> the map looks easy. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not too terribly hard. It's got a lot of mud. Like, if you see this, this whole area, you know, it's just mud. We have one of the more capable trucks driving through it, so it does look pretty easy, but there is a lot of mud. If you're using other less capable trucks, it might take you a while. Okay, they are a lot more reliable than other current vehicles, or than current vehicles, eh? You may be right on that one. Hello, everyone. How's the new truck? What kind of food are we getting into? Oh, no. She knows Pablo's here. <laughs> Uh, the new truck is good. Pearl, doing pretty good. We got the got the two upgrades that count. The, the uh, I was gonna say diff lock, but or all wheel drive, and I was like, wait, is that right? Yeah, diff lock and the R2 engine. As soon as we deliver these logs, or maybe not even deliver, but get close, we're gonna switch back to it. I do have to remember to go get one of my trucks that I flipped over, otherwise I'll probably forget by next time what what it was doing. 
And maybe I'll grab the cargo all over again, so I don't want to do that. An accident. Thinking about heating up some pizza with pepperonis, beef, bacon, jalapenos, and banana peppers. Huh. I don't know if I've ever had banana peppers, but jalapenos, beef, bacon, and pepperoni all sound good to me. Alright, here we go. Tankalicious by accident. What? Jeez, look at all these things we still got to do. We did make some pretty good progress in that one, though. Yeah, we'll eventually do that one. Bye, bye, bye. You like the, uh, what is it? Backstreet Boys? Bye, bye, bye. Or is that NSYNC? I don't remember. Not on accident, by accident. Oh, okay. Pablo's having a seizure. <laughs> That's funny. I did it on top of an accident, Pabo. So it wasn't by. You're incorrect. Um, Brandon, if you're still here, there's Brandon's house, everybody. Brandon lives in North Carolina, so we gave him that house. He loved banana peppers. I don't think I've ever had them, so it's something I'll have to try. I like hot foods, and peppers, obviously, jalapenos, stuff like that are hot, so I feel like I'd probably like them. Wait, no, aren't banana peppers more tame? They're kind of like a more mild pepper, right? I think I have had them. Defib over here, please. You do something by accident, and you do something on purpose. Sounds awesome, Tank. Making grilled salmon tacos. We've got the salmon on the fire now. I can't say I've ever had salmon tacos, but I love salmon and I love tacos. So I feel like that would that would be pretty good. Maybe high gear. They're like wit. I'm gonna go off-road for a little bit here. We'll dodge some of this mud, we'll just go through the fields. This actually seems really slow going over at these, these bumps here. Well, I need to get to bed at 3 a.m. early. Or arrives early. Sounds good, Pabo. Thanks for stopping by, smashing that like button, getting a couple more views. Well, one more, but appreciate it. Happy streaming, happy jelloing, yellow jelloing, and uh, happy food talk. Sounds good, Pabo. I'll see you later, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if you'll be busy again, but. I'm sure I'll see you around. Have a good rest of your night, Pabo. Sleep well. Banana peppers, pickles, and olives for president. I don't like olives, so I'll have to pass. You have 300 pounds of salmon to eat? Oh my goodness. That's craziness. We're back to our map, or our garage, on the map of Reactive Zone. So let's stop here, get some fuel with the big fuel tank they left us. Very nice of them. It's 
be honest, I don't really need to go here. There's a there's a fuel station just across the road, so I don't know. Whatever. I'll take free fuel, I guess. It's good for hard mode. Definitely good for hard mode. You can't stand mushy pickles. Yeah, they gotta have a little bit of crunch, right? If not, they're just weird. It's gotta have crunch. There's a Chevy that has to go right here. Okay. What about sweet pickles? I think they're so gross. Yeah, I had a lot of the pickles that like I said, I like hot food, so I like hot pickles. A lot of them are like sweet and and spicy. Like that's you know, and it's like no, I don't like the sweet at all. I just want hot. Also, spears are by far the best shape of pickles. I'm fine with like whole pickles or spears or uh, whatever you want to call it, just the the cut ones, just like a little circular, whatever. But yeah, I don't like sweet and hot. It's like, no, I just want the hot. The sweet makes it taste weird. I don't like it. So I'm, I'm with you on that one, Pearl. You love small sweet pickles? They have a good crunch. I just don't like sweet pickles. I, I like small pickles or spicy pickles, but not the sweet ones. Why is there like butterflies flying around my truck? Oh, maybe they're just there. It looked like they were flying around my truck for a second. I was like, what is going on? Oh man, I barely dodged that stump. Actually, there's a lumber mill just up here to our left. I wonder if we have to bring any stuff here to craft. I've never really paid attention. I don't think there is anything to craft in here, but maybe you have to bring some logs here to craft some planks later. It doesn't look like there's any kind of a crafting zone. I've rolled through here like three times already this stream, but now I gotta pay attention. I don't see. Oh, wait, there is a pickup zone. So there might be. Oh, you know what? I bet you I have to unlock it. I bet I have to open the warehouse somehow. JJ the machine over here. I had dinner and a nap and he's still at it. We're doing pretty good, Zing. We're at uh, 12%. So far, so good. I think after this, we'll probably go, go back to the fourth map, uh, Flatland. And there's a Scout 800 I, I heard you can get over there. And I gotta rescue my W990. The tasks that need metal beams. Okay, thank you, David. I did not know that. So it takes some metal beams to open, it sounds like. Just try dill pickles that are a mixture of sweet and hot, but mainly the dill itself. So good, especially kosher dill. I just, I don't like the sweet at all. I just like the hot. Like, if you could just put a bunch of peppers in there and, you know, put it with the brine or whatever, that's that's all I need. Hot pickles. Did you find the scout? Um, there's supposedly a scout right over there, but you don't get it anymore. On PTS, there was a mission right here with a CK-1500 and as a reward you got the truck but now you don't get the truck anymore you just bring it back and that's it damn girl likes pickles, that's funny
Oh lord. All this food talk is making me hungry. I'll be back in 15. Uh, whoa. That's funny. Alright, so yeah, here's the water trailer. I know you guys, uh, or Vlad earlier, if you guys have been here for a while, was saying there's... He had a feeling there was some water contracts, which there is. At least one. There's a water trailer here. A water pickup point right there. I think some of you guys who, who've been here for like the last half hour or so are starting to realize how far away this uh, pickup point is for logs. This thing is ridiculous. Wait, JJ, are you going to complete Season 12 in this video? <laughs> that would be crazy. But no, definitely won't be completing it in this one. I mean, we're making as much progress as we can. Some of these ones, like this one right here that we're doing with the, the logs, like... The percentages, like if I if I go get all the upgrades and all the watchtowers, we'd be up at like 20%. And that's not that's not very hard to do. But I don't like to do that for the simple fact that it really inflates your percentage. And then there's missions like this that take you like an hour, like a half hour drive all the way down to get logs and a half hour drive all the way back. So I prefer to do some of these ones every once in a while, just to kind of even out that percentage so it actually is even you know based on how much time they take not really how many you've completed um i put pizza in the oven because of you guys <laughs> well pizza sounds pretty good it's a main mission called running dry thank you david i appreciate that all right let's stop here refuel uh, from there to there, we're good. So, running dry one is water. All boarded up. Nope. Electricity in the air? Nope. Why does it keep backing out? Six solar panels. Cement metal beams. Large scout trailer. Here we go, four medium logs. So we have one, there's two more medium logs on this map. Actually, now I'm kind of curious what this warehouse gives you. Because if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't have a clue. This is one I never opened up on PTS, so I literally have zero clue what it gives you. Um, how many regions are there? There's four different maps. There is Pipeline Bay, the first map that we're on right now. There's Reactive Zone, the second map, which is where we just were. There's the third map, which is called Oroville Hills. And then there's the fourth map, which is called Flatland. What contracts do you need to do to get the MTB 8106 for Rock Grinder? That would be Bridging the Gap and vice-like grip. Although it would be recommended that you also do eastbound ferry and westbound ferry. Otherwise you gotta do a lot more driving. I'm making a habanero reaper pepper pico for salmon tacos. Pico means like a salsa or something, right? Like a... Some kind of a mix or something? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Bryce. And it's on Re Reactive Zone map. Reactive Zone... Okay, a second map. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Percentage. You know, or, or a watchtower. Something that's super easy. I probably should go get all the rock grinder upgrades. 
No way, there's fairies in this season? Ah, uh, there's one fairy, yeah. It's actually just stopped behind us through all the trees over here. I don't think you can see it on the map. Yeah, it's like right behind this. I can see it if I go close to the water, which actually I'm going to use the ferry right now. I'm planning on taking these logs across the ferry. So you're about to see it, but it's going to be another 10 minutes probably before I go all the way down get another log trailer. And then drive both of those back to the ferry and then go through it. Uh, Pearl and Bryce, are you both playing it? Sounds like Bryce is because he's asking about the, uh, the rock grinder. Oops, let's bring that back up. We gotta take a right here. Wait, actually, no. Yeah, I still wanna take a right, actually. <laughs> Had to think about it. I'm like, wait, no. Yeah, I do. So there's two... Um, Wait, I, I didn't take a right after I was just saying I got distracted. There's two uh, trailers out here. When do I think we're going to end the stream? Mm. Maybe an hour. I plan on doing this and then I want to go... Um, I want to pick up the uh, W990 that I flipped over. And then probably get the Scout 800. I think there's a free vehicle out there. I want to see if it is free. I heard it. I want to go confirm it, I guess. So, yeah. That's the plan. Probably an hour. Which means we'd be streaming for about eight and a half hours. Pretty good. I haven't played, except Bryce let me... He's been hounding the switch all day. I'm currently making a tail. Making a tail? Okay. So Bryce is hogging the switch. <laughs> That's funny. Do you guys only have one? I thought you had two switches. Planning to play tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, we're going to run down and grab one of these two log trailers. All I want to do is really winch it through the gateway. I just hope I don't tip it over. Which I, I might. Because if I tip it over, then i got to come down and pick it up, which is whatever. It's still going to be saving me tons of time. Hey, William, welcome back. So the current mission is four medium logs, which is kind of crazy for how far away they are. We do, but the one I play on is the same one. I just have my hard mode save on the Switch 2. We got that one pretty recently, so all the good stuff is on the one. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you do have two medium sets of logs on the first map, but you gotta go and get two more. Well, that's funny, I haven't even discovered it yet. Did 
Don't roll off too far. All right, there we go. Nice. The tail is for a cosplay. It's made out of yarn, currently brushing it out. No animals were harmed. Oh, I, I was just like, a tail? Like, did I read that right? But okay, yeah, that makes sense. slow down here. This trailer's getting a little wiggly back there. Got a lot of rocks. Oh, it took you that long to discover a trailer of all things? Well, I knew it was there, but I just didn't drive up close enough to it. I, I can't attached to it with the cat, but I'm hoping to take it through this gateway here, across the ferry, and then attach to it with another vehicle to deliver it. So as long as I get it to the other side, then I don't have to drive all the way back. So yeah, here is the ferry. It's just out in front of there. It's, uh, can't quite see it again. Oh, there it is. I just saw it quickly. Alright, there you can see it now. Looks exactly the same as the Season 10 Ferry. So let's go use the ferry. This should work, winching the trailer through. It's just like winching through a, a tunnel. And here's the cutscene. And voila! Yep, the logs went through just fine. So yeah, we'll go deliver this. This will be... Like I said, I don't even know what this warehouse has. But... I'll leave this here. Try and be nice to my other vehicles so I don't damage them all up. Now making orange and lime coleslaw for the salmon tacos. God, these are going to be so good. Oh, so you don't actually wait and go on it. Kind of boring to be honest. Yeah, you don't actually wait or do anything. It just it takes you right across. It'd be kind of fun if you could, like, get pulled up to shore and you drove on it or something, or, you know, maybe that a cutscene of your vehicle driving onto it, but pretty low effort, just, uh, yeah, stays there. All right, here we go. One is done. Let's go get the fem quickly. Let's restore the crane. Let's back up to this trailer. And... Can I not attack? Oh, too far away, maybe? Maybe I can't attach a trailer with a crane. Yeah, it looks like I cannot. So you can have a four-slot bed in, in a trailer, but you cannot have a three-slot bed in a crane in a trailer. That's interesting. Well, I guess we'll leave that there, then. Taking the Femme to Cola help with the plane contract. William, that's probably got to be so helpful. Uh, let's go back to Flatland. That has got to be super helpful because that thing is a beast. Okay, let's use something that can have a crane. I could use that. Pacific? 
Maybe the Azov. Let's change the tires. Let's raise up the suspension. The plane contract went from being difficult to easy. Yeah, that's got to make it so much easier. You could just pick it up and put it on your truck and clamp the crane down on it, probably. And then just drive with it. Like, you can clip through almost all the all the trees. It, it'll clip, it'll hit these poles, but it won't, uh... I mean, just dodge them a little bit, but yeah. Alright, I gotta go get a service spare part. I gotta find out where I gotta get that at. Which one was it called? Fish aren't biting? Way up there, okay. So we're gonna go up and get a service spare part, and then we're gonna go and rescue the W990. And then we're gonna go back to the FEM. Actually, I could even use the FEM right now if I really wanted. Where is the island bridge located? Uh, which bridge? Bridging the gap? Oh, the island bridge. Oh, this one? Right here? This is the island right here I'm guessing you're talking about. This is the bridging the gap bridge right here. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. First map? Yeah, it's on the first map. It's on the southeast corner. Or southwest, my bad. Southwest corner. So you kind of got to drive all the way around to go get it, to get onto that island. Yep. Okay. I thought you were trying to say, like, the bridge is called Island Bridge, and I'm like, Island Bridge? I don't remember that. And then I thought about it, I'm like, oh, the island. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're welcome, Bryce. Yeah, we should be able to knock out two with this. We'll collect the parts, flip our truck back over, collect those parts. Is there a task that uses one concrete slab? I just unlocked the fem. Um, I'm not sure if there is Artem. I'm sure there's there's multiple that could use the slabs, but I don't know if there's any that need one. Um, you need two for the ferry, uh, to open the ferry, so... Maybe, if you want, you could drop it as soon as you come back through the gateway to the first map. And then you could pick it back up and drive south with it later if you wanted. I'm not really sure if there's any other tasks that could use it. JJ, you seem to be reading chat super fast. The delay is only a few seconds. Wow, that's cool. Usually it's like 20. I'm trying to read them as soon as they pop up. Alright, here we go. Oh, dang it. Just missed it. It popped onto the other platform. Oops. Just counted it was eight to nine seconds. Wow, that's pretty good. That's like half the time it usually does. Why does it not allow me to switch? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Half the time of normal. I'll take it.
Hi, this is Rachel from Oakland, California, and I watch your show all the time. Well, hello, Rachel. Thanks for tuning in. Oakland, California. I was there back in 2009. Back when I was in California. I didn't ever, like, stay there, but I had a vacation there, and... Went to San Francisco and Oakland, San Diego, LA. Let's test that theory, Marco. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that one right away. I saw it for a couple of seconds. Okay, let's let's try it, try it again. Send send another one. Let's see how long the delay is. Okay, did the 73210 Bruce Serm TP get a speed boost? I don't think so. I don't think anything was changed on it. I think it's just a really nice road. Look at how flat this road is. Like there's there's no holes, there's no sticks, there's no rocks. Like this is just flat. Well now we got now we got some sticks, but just a these roads are really, really nice, just smooth. LA sucks. There. How long was that one? That one, I, I got that one as soon as it popped up. I was watching it. Bruce seems faster today. Good old Brucey. Look at that nice looking dam though. And those cooling towers over there? Looking prime time. That's cool, I play your videos every night. I go to sleep to them, that's funny. Why does LA suck? That's funny. Yeah, it's just uh, a lot of homelessness. People are really uh, flaky, from what I've heard, anyways. Like they're all they're all self-involved, like uh, self-centered or whatever. Like they're worried about their own career and their own life and whatever. And so it's I don't know. This is the first time catching you live. Yeah, I don't think I've ever streamed at this time, actually. Uh, I've streamed... I've streamed from, like, 5 a.m. to about... maybe 6.30? Probably was, was the latest I've ever streamed, and then I've started at, like, 8, 8.30 before, so... This time, I don't think I've ever actually been streaming. Uh, the traffic, the people... The filth, if you drive a big truck, you can't go anywhere. Fair enough, yeah. If you guys ever reheat pizza in an air fryer, put it at 400 for 6 minutes, tastes fresh out of the oven. Nice. Uh, Tank Baby, you know Pablo left though, you don't gotta talk about food anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love it because you don't cuss, so I just played it because you miss your games be so long and... Whoa, we're driving off the road. Um, and I can really enjoy them. By the time I get to the end of it, I'll be asleep. Very nice. Yeah, I don't usually cuss. I do every once in a while, but... Try not to. I shouldn't say I try not to, but... Eh, maybe I do. I don't know. I don't usually swear, so... Um, for pizza, you put it in a pan with ice and you put it on top of very fresh pizza. Oh, so the moisture goes, goes into it? Interesting. I know, but it's just good. It's just too good not to share. I know, I'm just teasing you, man. Does it make it all soggy? Or soggy at all? I put Miguel's Junior Burrito in the air fryer all the time. They're so good. JJ, when are you going to get back to driving American trucks in the game? That's a good question. I haven't I haven't touched it in like two months probably. Same with construction simulator. I just haven't touched them. 
probably pretty soon here. I don't know, maybe... Maybe sometime next week, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to just make... I think I'll just have to make a day for it. So here's where I flipped. Oh wait, here's where I gotta deliver the parts. Let's do that first. Marco! I think you guys are expecting me to say P-O-L-O, -O, but I haven't. I played this game too, but I'm just on the first one. I'm learning from you how to drive through all the mud and stuff. Oh, nice. Yikes, 26 seconds. So we're back down to normal time now, huh? Hello! Fabian, you're planning on playing tomorrow? Nice. Actually, I don't even need the truck, I just, just need the cargo, to be honest, so... Yeah, 26 seconds, okay. So, 26 second delay in the chat. Oh, that's so weird, because, like, you just said, you know, 30 seconds, or a couple minutes ago, you're lagging, JJ. Well, you just said, like, a couple minutes ago, it was, uh... It was like 10 seconds, so how it goes from 10 to like 30 in a matter of 5 minutes, I don't know. Am I on the truck or what is... Let me switch quick. I'm not sure if I'm grabbing the truck or not. Oops. There we go. Got the cargo for sure that time. Rachel, if that was rear-wheel drive vehicles or all-wheel drive vehicles, sorry. Uh, let's get this to go down. There we go. And restore the crane. I can't see a dang thing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure last time I came up... It must have been this gap. Or maybe it was over here. I don't know. Don't really know. Um... If I fall asleep to Rex's sweet, sultry, bridge-building voice. <laughs> That's funny. But you gotta remember to whisper sweet nothings into the like button's ear for Rex. Hello, JJ and everyone. Hello, Fabian. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream as well. Do you get season number one on your page? Um, I do, but not very much. Because when Season 1 came out, I wasn't recording YouTube videos at the time. Same with 2 and 3. Um, and actually 4 as well. I didn't really start posting YouTube videos until about halfway through 6. So, I have gone back and replayed them all. So I've, I've replayed all of 1, or all the main game, 1, 2, 3, and I'm replaying 4 right now. So probably the one you'll find the least amount of content is, is number f uh, season 5. 4 or 5? Pro well, probably 4. Cause, well, I'm replaying 4 right now, but... So there's a good amount of 4. Between 4 and 5, because 6 I have like half. 4 I'm... I don't know, 10% in or whatever it is. Oh wait, how on... Earth did I miss that road? 
Okay, I guess I gotta go into the power plant to go get that. Uh, but yeah, if I have a... If you go to my hard mode videos that I post pretty much daily, there's a... Hard mode Cola Peninsula episode 1... Or season 1 episode 1, season 1 episode 2. I think it goes up to like 8, something like that. So, not a super, super long region, but... Uh, if you guys play your cards right, you can get fuel for free for all of Michigan, or at least if you're on hard mode. Um, all of Michigan, all of Alaska, all of Tamir, and all of Kola Peninsula. Because that's what I did. I was trying to see how long I could go without doing it. So I know for sure you can at least get through those four. I think we will switch it back to the Fem, and then go and rescue the Scout 800 now. Well, once we get this dropped. Kind of looks weird with like a red, a red colored front and then a blue crane. I don't know why. I don't know that I've ever been down this road though. I think this is the first. First time ever. Seven three two and zero is a good truck. Jack of all trades truck. Well, you know what the, the the saying is like Jack of all trades, but a master of none, something like that. So he's get a little little bit good at everything, but not great at any one thing, something like that. Dustin, do you live in LA? That's a good question. I, I don't think... I thought Dustin was from, like, Canada? Somewhere? If I remember right. Canada or East Coast US? I don't remember. Alright, here we go. Another one down. Let's go back to the Femme. Let's just recover this one. We're going to throw a crane on it because I know we have to get, uh... Wait, where was it? Here. And here. Because we're going to try and go get the, uh, the Scout 800 somewhere. Wait. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to go up this road over here to get it. Unless it, this road goes up somewhere, I don't know. We'll find out. Why would I want to live in... What, wait, wait, why would I want you visit that dump valid LA cesspool? I don't know exactly what I uh, what that said, but tried to read it as best I could. I barely made that. I live in Ontario, Canada. Okay, that's what I thought. I was pretty sure it was Canada, but I was like, maybe it was West Co or East Coast US. I can't quite remember. All right. I've also never been up here before, so this is all new. San Francisco, Sacramento, LA, San Diego, all suck. Well, what about them 49ers? They're in the Super Bowl. They can't suck that much. Well, the Chargers still can, though. They're not in the Super Bowl. Where are the metal beams on the first map? Um... There's two metal beams, but they're they're sort of stuck. Let me show you quickly. They are over here, Bryce. There's only two. After that, if you want more, you have to bring a generator and then craft them with fuel. So if I were you, 
I would go to the second map and go right here. They have three metal beams here. And also if you unlock the Fem, you get another metal beam in the truck. So here's where you can get fuel for the jumbo bridge. And then here's where you can get the metal beams for the other bridge. Uh, what did I miss? What about Night City, AKA Marrow Bay? I've never heard of that, or Marrow Bay. And what did you ask? If Ask what LA, if you already knew the truth, that's funny. Honestly, Brock Party and Bosa are pretty good, but the rest are meh, or just meh. Are you saying that Christian McCaffrey is no good? He's a meh running back? Is that what I heard? I'm just kidding. What about Fred Warner? Anyways, I just threw that out there because he said San Francisco, so... Okay, there's supposed to be a Scout 800 around here somewhere. Let's go... Er yeah, I think it's off the cliff to the left more. I remember seeing it on the map on PTS, but I never went up here. So let's go find it. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Forgot about McCaffrey, but he's up there too, yeah. I delivered a load in South LA. A guy ran into my truck, got out, or got out his car in Rando. Oh, got out of his car, car and ran? Down the street last time? Ugh, oh, that sounds sounds bad. Okay, I'm looking around for it. It was oh here we go. Oh my gosh, I almost marked right on it. Look at that. That was a pretty good guess. Apparently my my memory serves me correctly from where it was on PTS. That's awesome. What is more fangorious, LA drivers or Skid Row? Anything of day, especially after dark. Or any, any time of day, I think. Oh, here it is. I think, right? Looks like there's a task here. There it is. Yeah, there's a Scout 800. Okay. Let's see if we get it. Somebody said we get this truck. We do. Okay. So there's a free Scout 800 over here. The only time I liked the pandemic lockdown was being able to go places in LA that would normally take like two hours and 30 minutes. Jeez. Come on, you can do it. Actually, I don't even know what we're, what we're supposed to do with this. Deliver to the island? Island house. Wait, is this... Is this the house that has the upgrade at it? I think it is. Let's restore. Pack. Let's check. Is it the house? It is. Nice. So we gotta go this way anyways to go get an upgrade at some point, so... I guess well, why not do it now? I feel like that, that could be a path down, right? But is it a path we want to take? It doesn't look too terribly bad. We'll try it. Why not? Oh, jeez, my truck is turning right. I want you to turn left. Turn the other way.
It's stuck because there's a little hill on the right. So it, it can't go left. This is why the articulation kind of makes it hard. Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Alright, we're down. COVID was great, no traffic. Oop, almost lost it. Not sure why, but the Femme looks like an international trans star that's got heavy redo. Got his back wheels ripped off, took off the back of the Kenworth 963 and put on a really annoying joint in the middle. Skid Row has two major problems. Affordable place to live and too many drugs and booze addicts. Yeah. And what was the last one? Now I need to find the trailer store in North Carolina. There's two trailer stores. One of them you gotta build and one of them you can find. I mean, this the Scout 800 in here looks so funny. I don't know why. It's such a huge truck and it's all, you know, massive tires and... Like, just my truck is taller than that thing, even sitting in my bed. Well, with the roof rack it is anyways. Just kind of funny looking. Where will season 13 be? Uh, we don't know yet, yeah. We probably won't know any details for another month and a half. Probably, something like that. Maybe two months. Everywhere you go, there's a skid row. No, but it has, a. Uh, Either, jeez, took some damage there. Either dig and dig and drill or oil and dirt. I think I forget which one. I kind of get those ones mixed up. To me, it should be, it should be dig and dirt, and oil and drill. You drill for oil and you dig dirt. I don't know. Maybe call me crazy, but it just makes sense. At least Amsterdam had the red light district. That's true. They kind of had it contained, right? Uh-oh. It's never good when the sign sticks with you. It means you could, could have your truck go flying. Oof, that was rough. Don't those cooling towers look awesome though? Oh no, you're getting stuck on the left side. I think that the people had a problem with their keyboard and memory. Did I have a flat tire or something? My tire was being weird. Whoa, camera's going whack too. We have a red light district, it's called Vegas. That's true, we contained it into one state instead of uh, one little part of a city. <laughs> Our drop point has popped up. Fat thumb. 
Okay, let's see. The best way to get around to that would be... No, actually, probably turn turn right there where we just were. Go down that road and turn. Okay. Fat thumb and... I don't know what that is. Tuck keyboard? Touch keyboard leans to spelling... Or leads to spelling errors. I just say fat fingers. <laughs> fat fingers and autocorrect are most of the errors. Like, you, you might fat finger something and then you hit the wrong key and then it auto corrects into something weird so between the two of them all right let's see here we do have to bring the 49x truck somewhere as well I think it has to go to the factory across the river. Oh, nope. Do not do that, no. No. Stop. Oh, my controller is dying. Nice. Time to switch batteries. Okay. And we are back. Does the second map have a trailer store? Uh, no. I mean, depending on which map you call the second map, but no. Uh, Reactive Zone does not have a trailer store, and Oroville Hills does not have a trailer store. The only one that has, well, the only two that have a trailer store are the first one, which now I'm forgetting the name. Why am I forgetting the name? Uh, well, anyways, in the fourth one, uh, Flatland. Rex is about to stream. Nice. Hey, yes, we got that ASMR battery change. Yeah. Just what you all wanted, right? Hearing uh, rechargeable batteries popped out and pop back in. Alright, you guys want an upgrade for the... Uh uh, rock grinder truck? There's one right here on this island. I'll show you when we get up there, but it's right up in front of this house on the right side for where we are right now. Actually, let's see if we can throw up a drone. Oops, wrong way. And let's turn off this. Oh, we, it's just behind the trees there. Dang it. I need to move it down a little bit more. Probably like right here could get it. Can't quite see. The anticipation. Guess I'll break up my radar truck. Uh, what was that for, Voss? I remember you, you said something earlier. Now I can't remember. Oh, trailer store. You were also asking it. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Okay, well, the upgrade is right here. Yeah, I gotta turn this this aperture. I hate that it's on. Unless they moved it. Oh, wait, no, it's there. See the car right here? It's really small. There's an upgrade right there. Rachel was talking a lot, then dipped. I wonder if I could flip this truck over up here. Put a J in the chat for JJ. What does the J stand for? Jump? Jump out of the way? JJ's truck's just dipped, yeah. My truck said, get me out of here. Oh, shoot. I hate when it does this. It shows up that it's close enough. But when you, when you attach it... 
Nothing happens. It's like, come on, you set him close enough. Like, what are you doing? Okay, I guess we're going right down into it. <laughs> I'm hitting my nose on stuff. When's Mrs. JJ gonna stream with Mr. JJ? Probably never. She doesn't really... She's not really into video games. Oh my goodness, I looked away for just a second. What did I hit? I can't see anything because my internet and old laptop. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't thought about that. Maybe an S for sorry? Forget it. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. Like a, an F in the chat for a fail or a, an L in the chat for a loss or... Maybe a P in the, in the chat for got punked. The place just beat me up. Oh, the car rolled down into the river. Hello, welcome back, Wild Fox. How's it going? And let's grab this. Actually, I don't know if this truck is going to be very easy to flip. Let's find out. Not too bad. Okay, let's turn it on. Roll it up the hill a little bit. There we go, that seems like a stable spot. Alright, here we go. Do we have a Voron AE? Um, I I think I have one. I think I have one of every vehicle at least, but Azov is hard to flip. There we go. Yeah, it's a pretty good truck. Pretty good truck. I like how I got the water line on there. That's nice. All right, let's steal, steal the fuel. Oh, and restore the crane, pack the truck. Why do most women hate video games? I don't know. That's a good question. I was going down into it, plan B. <laughs> Maybe ATS could be Mr. JJ's into driving stream with her Mrs. JJ into it with Mr. JJ. Uh, she's played SnowRunner before, but she's just like, I don't know what to do. Uh, just, you know, like all flustered and like, I don't want to play this. I'm like, okay, well, that didn't go very well. <laughs> so there we go. We got the Scout 800 as our truck now, and here is the upgrade, guys. So let's unpack this just to see. Change trucks. Yay! Got a little Scout 800. Nice. So there we go. We got the G-Force 4V11.0T, which is the top engine for the Rock Grinder. Or at least I believe it's the top engine. I guess I'm not entirely sure. Just found the Paystar 57, or 5070, with the repair station. Very nice. Alright. Well guys, I think that's where we're gonna end this one. About eight and a half hours in. Not too bad. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if there's any anybody has any questions quick that I can answer. We're gonna know where something is or something. I don't know. Got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to do. What what percentage did we get to? Fourteen. Got one vehicle found, two watchtowers, three upgrades. Uh, fifteen total missions complete. How many free scout on hundreds do you get now? Yeah, I don't know. You get one here. Um, you get one in season nine. You get one in what other seasons? Obviously, the first one. That might be it. Maybe three. Why do you like Facebook so much? I mean, you just read stuff. Don't get me wrong. I like to read, but I don't get anything done. <laughs> Free scout truck sold, yeah. Alright, well, looks like no questions. So, that'll be it for today, guys. I will uh, stream again tomorrow. Probably some more Season 12. Might be hard mode in a mirror. I'm not sure, but... Probably a couple of days of this first. Now you all gotta go to Rex's stream. That's right, let's do a let's do a raid on Rex. So everybody look for uh Wild Fox, can you post Rex's link for me? Post post Rex's link in here. Cause you you're the only mod that I have. Everybody go join Rex's stream. Rex is gonna be streaming season twelve. I'll be over there too, but not right away. Can you hook it up, Wild Fox? Plug in Rex's, uh... Rex's, uh, stream? Thank you. Go to Rex! Thanks, JJ, for the stream. You're welcome, Bryce. Bye, JJ. Have a good night. Rest your poor eyes. I'll probably see you soon, yeah. See you soon, Pearl. You guys should all go over to Rex's stream, though. Make his night. Go say hi to Rex. Wranglosaurus Rex. Tell him JJ sent you. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Wild Fox got it. You guys all go join Rex's stream. Let's just let's just raid Rex. What's his name? Uh, Wild Fox just posted it. Everybody click on the link and go watch Rex. He just started streaming. Bye Saber, bye Clyde, bye Panda, Tank Baby, Dustin, uh, Bryce, Wild Fox, Artem, many more people that stopped in. We had 1,200 viewers over the course of the eight hours, so lots of people. Everybody go check out Rex's stream. Bye for now, have a good night, and I will see you all soon.